What's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Fit Podcast After Hours Edition. Today, we got a lot to talk about. We got our special guest, Solo TV 84 in, in the, the house. building. Yeah. Shout out to Solo. What up, what up, what up? All right, let's get into it, guys. We are back. Welcome to the Fresh Fit Podcast After Hours Edition. We got Solo TV 84 in the house. Thank you for coming by all the way from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Thank you for uh, having again. me. Appreciate quick, that. Don DeMarco. Quick announcements, guys. Uh, okay, patreon.com slash freshfit where you guys can see all the exclusive behind the scenes stuff of, you know, Frank Castle's, you know, um, uh, coaching sessions. We kick have outs. our Zoom calls, kickouts, all that stuff. Yeah. And the ratchetness that goes on behind the scenes. Um, and you could, you guys could also like see some of our like older stuff, like when we used to do actually do like double dates, double dates and, and stuff like we, that. Yeah, yeah, back when me and Fresh actually used to like have social. We should time. do some more of those, man. We should, but it, we don't have time. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which sucks, but uh, it is what it is, man. We do what we got to do for you guys. It's all about growth right now. Yep. So okay, guys, we're also on Spotify, Google, and Apple Podcasts. Every single platform that you listen to podcasts, we are on. Make sure to listen to us there. Just make sure you wear headphones so you don't get in trouble. You might get fired. You might get fired, facts <laughs> or canceled. And then also, guys, uh, get the merch. merch uh, you can get the Frank Castle Punisher. t-shirts like this. Uh, Punish bad behavior. For example, like, ninja like shirts, shirts, you know, all that stuff. <laughs> and new shirts are coming on the way. Also, we got another YouTube channel called Fresh and Fit Clips. clips. If you guys want to see the best and brightest, six to ten minute clips uh, on there. If you don't have two hours to watch the full show, it's fine. You can go ahead and watch us on there. Bunch of great stuff on there. Channel's growing very quickly. And we're on Twitch, man. Shout out to Twitch. Yo, y'all got us to 1,500 subs. That was awesome. Thank you so much. Helps get a 2K of subs, and yeah. Help us grow, guys. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Fresh and Fit Podcast. Now, quick announcement, guys. Um, the, the feminist from the other day, guys, uh, please don't send her crazy threats and stuff like that, man. Yeah, man. Like, man. Don't do it, man. Come on, guys. You know what I'm saying? It, it, we got to roast her with facts, not feelings, guys. Yeah, so man. sending her like crazy stuff like that and making her feel, uh, uh, I guess, Worried. threatened is not good, man. Look, like, we you can agree to disagree, but yeah. she's also If you want to tell her that she's bro, stupid, you feel that's me? one thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, your, your claims are stupid. But if you're going to go in and say <laughs> some other weird stuff and be a crazy nigga, like, don't do that, bro. Do not do that, guys. Um... But what else? Um, and then we got, you know, we'll do it when we introduce, right? So introduce yeah. you. So because we got Lauren on the panel, welcome oh, to the show, man. by the way. Another a fellow uh, Twitch, Twitch content creator. Streamer, yeah. Um, so uh, we got some new members: Alan Tetchford Jr. Thank you so much, and then Elijah Bryant. Yep. And then welcome. is that it? No, uh, oh, the new ones, right? Yep. The new Thank ones. you guys so much. And then we got some super chats too. I'll read these real quick. Then we'll read. get into the show. Um, okay, we're pulling the up right now, guys. All Thank right. you so much for all the support, man. All this money will be made. Uh, will be used to go get uh, hookers and cocaine. So 699 Robert Sananas. I'm still trying to recover the brain cells I lost listening to that girl two nights ago. <laughs> yeah, bro. Uh, get the likes up, Ninja Watchers. Meyer needs the fuel to properly combat the cap, and Fresh needs a reason to not show his foot. Get the likes over 9,000. Well Let's said. begin the cap and defense force facts. Uh, $5 from Timius Maximus, all the way from Australia. Thank you so much. Mom Rizzle, $10. Shout out to y'all dudes. Shout out to Solo Motherfucking TV, 84, one of the funniest dudes on YouTube, and the reason why I discovered this channel. That episode with Goofy and Solo is a classic fact. There you go, man. And then uh, two ninety nine from can I get it? Stupid? Jack. Yep, of course you can. Stupid. And then uh, Bitcoin Bobby, shout out to Solo TV eighty four, the OG Don DeMarco. Congrats, fellas, on two hundred K plus subs. When y'all hit five hundred K, I'll be there for the party. Best podcast in the world. Thank, Thank you, brother. you so much. And then the one guy legit five hours. Well, the first. The first people here, let's not be ninjas. I get Naruto's goaded, but we're regular, bros. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate <laughs> that support. And uh, cool. any others that came in? Yeah. Oh, we got some more here. Okay, and then all right, $5, Elijah Bryant. Try to respect the ladies, guys. Yeah. Yep. Uh, actually, the panel, a lot of ladies uh, here are back, guys. Yep, so back. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, show some love. Um, Versi, $10. No one here messaged that crazy <laughs> B. I know, I know none of you guys did. I know nobody here in the chat did, but... Some of you other guys be on some weird shit, man. Yeah. Uh, two hours, Kenzari. Uh, been here since Danny Banks. Fresh fit. Damn, you've hey, been here for a minute. You Thank go. you. Shout out Danny Banks. Icon, I Icon, five bucks. All the ladies looking nice. Who's getting on the pole tonight? Hey. Girl, oh. Go next to Fresh. His wife material. Bianca in the house. Oh, there you go. There you go. Fresh has to look like, wait, what? Okay. Uh, two dollars from Parker Todd. Because of you, I've had a model of how to hold a mask and frame. My baby mama and my mom have been more respectful to my dad and me because of you. You don't even know the ways you change in culture and society. Thank God for you. That's yeah, crazy. Let's get to a point now, bro, where people recognize. We went to the restaurant earlier. A couple guys Three walked people. up to us. 
and then I was walking by with, back with Trey, and somebody like stopped the car. I was like, "Yo, I love your podcast," and kept going. I was like, "Damn, man, we really are uh, helping a lot of guys out." So, guys, That's thank crazy, you so much man. for the support. It means a lot. Uh, that wage, Bianca, feet swinging like a wild, like a little kid. Come back though. Welcome back. Though. <laughs> <laughs> they can see your feet. Yeah. And then Nathan Mensa, ten hour super sticker. Thank you so much. Oh, Shout out to Nate. He's here. Thank you, hey, hey, bro. I appreciate that. Thanks, and then Jaquan man. Jacobs, uh, sending love from Atlanta. Ladies, you all look beautiful tonight. Best podcast in the world. Thank you so much. Hey, Don't the ladies. Don't light it, Jacobs. Him. Jaquan. Oh, it's a woman. Okay, yeah, that's a woman. <laughs> Thank Don't you, Jaquan. Him. And last one. Oh, she's a woman. Of course, you're gonna compliment them. And then uh, <laughs> Nolan Baptiste. Hey, fresh and fit. You heard about the rampage that Kwame Brown is on because he's going after people in the Breakfast Club because it's funny. We yeah. did an episode on him earlier on. Yeah, go ahead uh, and check so that check out, out, man. He just uh, the chickens have come to roost, man. So it is what it is. And then also, uh, there was got, something else. Um, last overdose. Last uh, overdose. Overdose. Do, do, okay. Shout Solo. Out to Solo was good. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Shout, shout out to, to overdose. Homie, man. Um, and shout out to everybody on Twitch. Twitch gang in the building. Twitch shout out to y'all, man. Yes. And if you yes. got to mucks and up, because we're at 1,800 live viewers. Cool. Yeah, already, yeah. So uh, let's right, introduce so a lot of the ladies in the house, man. So we'll ask for your name, your age, and what you do for a living. We'll start here. Welcome back. Thank you. Uh, I'm Bianca. I'm 27, and I just did nursing school, and now I'm working on my own brand. Awesome. Cool. Hey, what's up? I'm Lauren Turner, or at the Lauren Turner. I stream on Twitch, and I know you guys don't like girl gamers, but listen. <laughs> <laughs> I do more community-based games. Uh, I suck at FPS, but I try, and I'm also... We should admit it. Exactly. Whatever. <laughs> I'm honest. No cap. Uh, I'm opening up a smoke shop in a few weeks in the Wynwood area, so if you're into hypewear and smokeware... Hit me up. Okay. Cool. And, uh, and uh, oh, you wanna, Mar- you give oh. a little story. I'm 24. I think Lauren had something. Uh, Mar- no, oh. uh, Lauren. So you, so you know uh, the, the crazy listen, feminist. Listen, I see. Listen, we go way back. Me and Pink Shirt. We used to be best friends in college when I was young and dumb, right? Oh. But clearly, she showed no growth. Oh. We saw it the other day. But listen. I could go on forever, but she proved herself to be dumb on the internet herself. She did Stupid. what she needed to do. <laughs> you didn't have to say anything. It's okay. So she argues just to argue. Yeah. I pulled up. I felt it was like my duty as a woman to come up uh, to the podcast and prove that we're yeah. not bad shit crazy. That's I can learn through. some lessons. So. Much Sheesh. respect to you for coming, man, and yeah. uh, telling the it's people the truth behind the scenes. Because I was like, oh, yo, man. something's wrong with this it's chick. Like, she, w- I'm giving her the facts, and she keeps saying, well, how do you, I don't, I disagree. And I was like, it's arguing what? just to argue. You yeah. can't argue with stupid. I saw that a lot in the comments. Very oh. True. <laughs> Yeah. That's the bad. Hey, man, we argue facts here, guys, not feelings, man. It is what it is. And, uh, guys, don't harass the girl. Like, if you want to say she's dumb, that's one thing. But, like, you know, don't tell her, like, oh, I got Guys, don't even give her. She's had enough. Don't ever give her that attention, bro. She already gave us enough smoke, man. So it is what it is, man. Don't don't DM her. Free smoke. Free smoke. Uh, Thank you so much, Lauren, for coming on the show. Hi, everyone. I'm Sabrina for the I'm 23, and I work in marketing and social media. Hey. Welcome to the show. Thanks. I'm excited to be here. Hi, my oh, name. Oh no, is- she's back. Oh, she's back. <laughs> oh no, no. Hi, my name is Thailand. I'm 25, um, and I'm a lion tamer. Just kidding. I do bottles. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'd be cool though. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you want to? Do you want to shout out where? Possibly to get more. Oh yes, more. hi. Uh, I work at Tootsie's Cabaret. Come see me. Upstairs. Talking to my woman. Oh, oh she. I work at Tootsie's okay. Cabaret upstairs. Come see Pull me. Up and throw the some one money. that Drake talks about in his music videos. The one gets shoulder rubs. Yeah. Yes. Shoulder rubs. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa, last. Uh, hello, you last. Uh, yeah, we'll have Solo go last. Okay, Vanessa. Hi, I'm Vanessa. I'm 24. I'm an interior design freelancer, and I'm also in bottle service, but at Scarlet's Cabaret. So. Okay. Cool. Awesome. awesome. Ooh. Hi, I'm Red. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Welcome back, Red. Thank you. So happy to be here. Um, I'm 19, and I'm a freelance model. So, oh, yeah. baby girl. Cool. Baby. <laughs> here you go. Hi, I am Kelsey. I'm 26 years old, and I'm an event coordinator. Woo. All right. All right. Miss Pineapple. Welcome back. Hi, guys. Thank you for having me again. I'm 25 years old. I do OF. Um, she I means also- OnlyFans. <laughs> I can't say that on YouTube. Uh, you, you can, you can. Shamal yeah. <laughs> I also have a fitness um, company going on, and I have a jewelry business as well. Okay, yeah. cool, awesome. Oh. All right, welcome back to the show. Oh, well, come on, repeats, and then we got. <laughs> and one for me too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, the I guy that started the Don DeMarco, yeah. we got to give credit where it's due. And let me give a quick little yeah. preface, I, real quick. I got to say this about Solo, man. So, Solo TV before, right? Without him, we wouldn't be here today because this guy was on YouTube doing his thing. And I went on his show. We did a podcast together. You went on his show, did a podcast together. He said, hey, man, I know this guy. 
and Brickle, Myron Gaines, he's top of his, of his game. Go hit him up. I'm like, facts. All right, let me see what's up. Went in DMs, talked for like an hour on the phone, and man, that talk led to this whole podcast. So without that, without Solo me, uh, making that introduction, this, we, this wouldn't be here today. So shout out to you, Solo, for that. Yeah, Bro, I'm going to need my 10%. So before <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, shout out like, to you, man. And I want to say this real quick, too. I got my first 1,000 subscribers on this channel thanks to Solo TV 84 He was there and helped uh, push the channel. Mm -hmm. And now we're at 215 almost. We're like 214, if I'm not mistaken, right now as we speak. We've been yeah. growing at a crazy rate that I can't yeah. even like keep account of. And we got our first 1,000 thanks to this man right here. So we got to pay homage and pay it back to the people that helped this come up because a lot of people they climb the ladder and then they pull the ladder out and they don't let the they don't help they don't like put the yep. guys on that put them on. Yep. And that's not how we fucking operate here, man. We remember those that put us on and the ones that took a chance on us when, when they didn't have to. So solo, thank Facts. you so much for coming on the show. Woo! Keep it low, man. Hey, thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah. Like, I appreciate you guys just bringing me back on and you know I I had to bring my boy Nate out too. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? For sure. So that way you Speaking guys of. we can just you know. Keep this marinating sturdy. Shout yeah. out, shout out, tall guard, reviews, and Mr. Organic. Yeah, but you know, thank you. I'm, I'm humbled. And by the way, show them the Don DeMarco shirts y'all got. Man. Oh, oh yeah, uh, fire, yeah. Man. Chris, can you throw me yours real quick? Because I know you got it right yep, there. Right I hung mine up. Ready? Oh, yeah. Toss it over. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Like, so, uh, so yeah, yeah, guys. Uh, Solo actually got us all T-shirts. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Yeah. Hey, Don, Don DeMarco. DeMarco. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Hey, can I see that? Hey, Myron, I didn't know you was a large, bro. I, I, I thought you was an XL, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a small guy, man. Uh, it, it looks good on camera, but I'm actually tiny. So, thank you, Chris. Um, all right, so I guess uh, we'll... Uh, first question. Well, yeah, we'll start off with the first question for the so ladies. So, ladies, um, just to start this going at a good pace here. And, and guys, we got uh, almost uh, 3K watching, so oh, awesome. 20 and up. There you go. Yeah, 20 and up. Okay, like the video, guys, please. So, how's dating been, been for you so far um, oh, in your journey, and what is your current status? <laughs> I'm not dating. <laughs> uh, so, I'm single. Oh. Come on. Dating in Miami, really. I know. It's lame. Come on. We're not doing any uh, nothing. Let's all voice ourselves. Zero. It's so lame. That, okay. So, Come on. Okay, okay hold on, hold on, because I got to define it for the ladies, because yeah. they're going to, they're, when you say, are you dating, and what they mean is like, is someone taking me out to dinner once a week or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, we got to mm -hmm. define it. It means as in... Are you currently with and or seeing anyone in a romantic sense, even if it's Netflix and chill, which we know what that means, yeah. and <laughs> or uh, situations where you're banging a guy? It doesn't have to be where he's courting you necessarily because it's 2021 and things have changed. Yep. So that's what we mean. Are you basically, if we're going to, you know, bear it down, are you sexually involved with any guy right now? That's a hard no. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Oh, and it caps are writing. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, so only vibrators? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. That was a long time. Because I know you got a bunch I of offers after that. last time's show. Yeah, but no. No? I'm not trying to date right now. Okay. okay. All, right. All right. All right. Fellas, she's off market. Fair uh, enough. Yeah, unless the right guy uh, slides in. <laughs> Amen, baby. All right, Lauren? <laughs> I mean, no cap. There's two that are oh. options right now, I guess. It's just, I'm trying to find the best version of a man to do that. I have to be the best version on myself. Mm. So I've been taking Amen. a lot of personal inventory on myself, mm. trying to become, you know, the best version. Damn, okay. Love that. Okay. I love that. So I'm, I'm curious though, out of those two, yeah. right? Sure. What would make the, uh, one of them become number one? Ooh. Um, I think right now it's a distance thing. I like men that are spread around the country right now. Um, wait, wait, wait. Long, <laughs> long distance? <laughs> long distance. They need, they need to either bring you there or they need to come here. We can't blame you a little bit yeah. of travel I was plans. In, come on. So I was in a four-year relationship when I was uh, 17 going into college, and that was my co entire college experience in long distance. It just wasn't for me. Yeah. So yeah. now you do want long distance? No, I want them to come here if they want to be serious. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. So oh. they got to be here. Yeah. Oh, okay. wait. So oh. However, you... the only quality men I'm finding right now are all over the country. Yes. Wait, so what do you do when, when they're not here? You have to fly me to come, come see on. you. <laughs> you can imagine. Wait, hold on. It's a boy, Kofi <laughs> Tube in the house. <laughs> we got technology. We got technology. Come on, we don't need a man. All I'm saying is that don't cap. Anyhow. I didn't. It. I told you I got two and they're not here. No, no, but what do you do to please yourself when they're not here? <laughs> Think about Ourselves. them. Come on. Oh, you go. nigga, really? You can Come call on. them. Ah, what? Yeah. Yeah. Ourselves, absolutely. Yeah, of we course. don't need a man. What what you so, so, you're of course. So, so you're telling me you just stay at home, do Twitch, and think about them? Oh, yeah, after. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Mm. <laughs> well, you can right. call them. She's you can watch some nice videos. We got technology. Yeah. Got oh, so vibrators. spicy videos. Okay. Of course. They have long distance vibrators. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh so, yeah, they do. Technically. Yeah, they do have those. Yes. We have a true. lot of yeah. things going on in our minds for a reason. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's secretive oh. for a reason. All right, Miss okay. Social, okay. Social Media Hi. Um, I'm single, but I'm open. I have hey. been single for very long. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You know what? It's time. It's time I get myself out there, and you have to put in that effort. And when you do, you have to realize you're going to get hurt. But it's fine. It's I'm, part of the journey. It's part of the journey. And I'm ready for it. I need lessons. I need to know what I want, what I don't want. And I'm ready for it. Growth. Wait, yeah. what's your sign? Oh. I'm a Virgo. Virgo. Do men Me do y'all care about signs? Are y'all for real? It's I don't know what's going on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't, we don't, I don't no, believe. I don't no believe in it. But no. yeah, some some guys do though. Some guys do. Yeah. I mean, okay. Personally, I don't. Uh, Damn. Okay. Um. So you're you're I guess single then. Yes, but I'm on and hinge. So. You're on hinge. Okay. Cool. Yeah, oh, you're on hinge. I like, I like oh. hinge. I like the older men, more mature. I like um benefits. Like if they got benefits, make over one fifty. We're good. What about uh? Sugar Daddy. What about SA? Pardon? SA. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Seeking, seeking oh, like oh, so I did try that once, okay. and the guy got so mad at me because <laughs> I canceled plans. He FaceTimed me. I saw him. I was like, so, no, 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 no. It was a bit of a catfish. I'm not going to lie to you. He looked so hot in his profile. I was ready for it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna out. lie. We I'm were our that. roommate, and I recommended seeking arrangements. <laughs> we were oh, having trouble the paying rent ever. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. Bad. Cool, fun. Yeah. yeah. Recommended seeking arrangements. Yeah. Best you know roommate what? ever. Nice guy, but catfished for sure. Now, because okay. I, I feel, I feel like a lot of girls like it's a better option. Because think about this, right? Tinder. Bumble is yeah. kind of like low-hanging fruit for most girls, so they mm -hmm. want a higher perceived guy, so yeah, they go to sugar to sites, so it's fine. Okay, okay. fair okay. enough. Fair cool. Enough. I am single, um, and I I work at a club where people not to toot my own horn. Do you have a toot button? A what toot button? <laughs> no, <laughs> I, 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 I don't, uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, toot button? I think I have it. Hold on. Stupid. All right, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but but I mean I I do meet a lot of people, but it I just feel like nobody really has any substance. Mm. Oh. Like people can be really pretty, but then you talk to them for five minutes and you're like you, you're not even funny. Like mm. <laughs> and you're boring me. I'm falling asleep. Yeah. You try okay. to. Yeah, uh, you you tell <laughs> jokes. Do you have a, a joke to tell the people? Yeah, tell us a joke, please. I have a, but they're all terrible jokes. No, tell one. Tell one. One. <laughs> one. Point. one. Okay, okay, okay. Tell one. Go all ahead. right, I'll tell my favorite joke. Mm -hmm. What did Fifty Cent? Say to his grandma, who made him a sweater. Uh, tell us. That's the one. Gee, you knit. So, so Fifty Cent is a is a rapper. Right. Who yeah. was a part of a? I feel like I feel so yeah. weird. <laughs> so oh no, we know. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't know. Oh. But she doesn't oh. So G Unit is his like. G Unit is his is his group. Oh, okay. <laughs> his grandma, ma his grandma <laughs> made him a sweater. She knitted it. So it's like G letter G oh. grandma. Oh my god. Oh, I guess there's somebody. I guess there's somebody else in like the chat that it doesn't flowed. understand. I'm glad. All right. Well. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, Okay, so I want your opinion, man. So you're in Minneapolis, right? You're in Minnesota. Yes, sir. How's dating over there for you and your current status? Um, you know, it, it depends, bro. It's literally like a week by week basis. Like there could be like times where it's dry, dried in like Sahara Desert, and then <laughs> yeah. next week is like okay, like I'm juggling four different girls that might want to meet. So it really depends on like the time, bro. Like real talk, I forgot, but there was like a steady done a while ago. Mm -hmm that when women are on their periods, right, they tend to go for softer face men. And those are the type of women that I've seemed to be kind of meeting. So I'm trying to grow this out, but it's not really working. Wow. <laughs> okay. Fair That's enough. amazing. That's tough. Interesting insight. Oh it's, it's, it's tough out here, man. It's tough out here, man. It's tough out here. Shout out to our boy Goofy. He knows what time it is. It's, it's tough, tough out here. Out here. Okay. So, uh, Miss uh, Interior Decorator? <laughs> Miss Scarlett? Designer. Designer. I got my Designer. master's. Oh, so. shit. Oh, okay. shit. A PhD. little more respect. I'm She's a PhD. PhD in the building. <laughs> yeah, PhD. Look at her glow. <laughs> um, I just got back from New York. I'm kind of... It's complicated. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. But in New York, they were trash. They only want to see you at night. They never wanted to take me out for a date. And I was like... Booty clapping sounds too. If yeah. you're not paying <laughs> to see me, you're not seeing me. 
it may not be like them paying me directly, but if you're not paying for dinner, you're not paying to take me out to a movie or something like that, then you don't need to see me. So were you in like an entanglement? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> so so I'm just curious though. So you were in New York, right? Mm -hmm. So you're saying you never went to anybody directly without having to go on a date? I did go on one date. Um, he was Asian, so. Oh, what is but, that? Oh, <laughs> shrimp, <laughs> shrimp baroni. Okay. But we went out and Aww. we got um, what is it, boba? Oh, boba tea. But didn't even offer to pay. He just went up, ordered, and then like stepped to the side. <laughs> the red flag. My man's Boy, around G. He's around G. Mafia man. <laughs> so, okay. I gave him a second chance, and we continued to like talk and meet each other, talk mm -hmm. a little bit. We ended up at some Japanese place, and in the middle of dinner, I just looked at him. I was like, "So you're paying, right?" Ooh. That's bold. Because if no. not, I'm gonna leave right now. Oh. What do you say? So, he was, your bad he was confused. I guess he's never had somebody confrontational like that. So he was like, "Of course. <laughs> what do you mean? Why are you asking me that?" All right. Like, so I need to know. Oh. Did he smash? Um. A little tongue action, but when I saw it, I, I lift. Oh shit! Oh. It was two shrimp baroni. Oh. Damn. Oh, okay. Let me ask you, last question. Are you a night rider? Am I what? A night rider. <laughs> I don't understand. Do you like black guys? Look next to you. Oh. <laughs> uh, my taste is all over the place, so. I love that. Okay. Okay. So I just have a question. So, so he didn't want to pay the first time. And then he paid the second time, and then you guys hung out, and then you you kissed him, but you didn't have sex with him. No, I'm talking tongue action. Mm -hmm. Like tongue. Oh, like kind of like oh, oh, yeah, oh, tongue. Oh, <laughs> oh, he gave you the tongue action. Yeah. Did you give him the tongue action back? I did, but it was. It wasn't good. It was like sucking on a lollipop. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. I was okay. like, what is this? Damn. <laughs> and then and then, and then you guys went, so you guys went that far, and you guys didn't like you know do the full on. No. No. <laughs> You didn't get to Baku Buster. You found out it wasn't worth it. Damn. She ain't playing with these niggas. Yeah. Damn. God damn. I hope he's not watching. So I, I, I guess my last question is, um, do you consider yourself like a traditional woman? What is traditional to you? Uh, because I do expect for my days to be paid for. Uh-huh. But I'm not the wife who's going to sit at home and cook you dinner every night and clean. Like, we need to split it because okay. I'm going to be out there making my own money. Okay. okay. So is it fair to say that you want a traditional man, whereas you're not necessarily a traditional woman? Because a man paying for a date is traditional. Mm -hmm. That is basically chivalry right there. Well, if it's fancy stuff, I would like for you to pay. Okay. Um, but when it comes to, like, casual, like, if we went out for boba, we could split it, buy our own shit. Um, as far as presents go, like I don't mind buying you stuff that you. If you're buying me stuff, like mm -hmm. I spoil if I'm spoiled. You know what I mean? Is that only convenient for you though? I mean, I spoil back. So, okay. is that your love language? Because like, that is a love language. Um, gifts. right now, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, let's continue on. Wait, wait, um, wait. I'm just curious. Oh. How, how do you spoil a bag? Um, well, like if I'm taking a trip and I'm thinking about you and I know what you like, I'm going to buy you mm -hmm. some of that shit. Um, if you're going to buy me like a nice fancy pair of shoes, then I'll buy you a nice watch. Like, okay. Tip for tat. Okay. All right, cool. fair enough. Um, yeah. Okay. No, I just I just uh, wanted to kind of get an idea of that. So, okay, let's continue on. Um, we don't want to grill her too much, man. The interview just, just started. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Red. So, okay. Yeah, Red, yes. go ahead. Hi. Um, my answer hasn't changed since the last time. I'm single and not interested. Nobody has enough <laughs> substance. Oh, shit. Oh, and, shit. Here we go. Um, That's twice now. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else? No, yeah, that's all. That's it? Damn, yeah. too okay. hard, not. Cool. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> all right. Are we still introducing ourselves? <laughs> <laughs> My name is no. Kelsey. I am 26 years old, and I'm an event coordinator. But what's your relationship status? You, did, you said that. Oh, <laughs> that was the oh last. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> all right. <laughs> wow. What's the question? So, how is dating for you right now? And what's the current status? <laughs> dating is... <laughs> Absent, clearly, because <laughs> it cannot register my mind. Come on. Okay. Yeah. So, not. you don't talk to anybody? 
Uh, I mean, you know, come on, here and there. Come on. Miami's like a come and go thing. So, so you so, so, so you touch and go? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know what you mean by touch and go. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> awesome. So, so I'm assuming that you're single then, right? Yes, absolutely. Cool. Okay, yeah. cool. All right. But day, day in here and there, basically casually. Absolutely. All right, cool. All right, fair enough. Uh, right, Miss Pineapple? So I have a boyfriend. I've been in a relationship for a year and a half now. I moved to Miami, and four weeks later, I had a boyfriend. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. They got okay. you quick. Cool. Where did you find this boyfriend? <laughs> yeah. He, yeah. Said, he right said he <laughs> saved me from the streets. Oh, oh. Wow. that's a red flag. <laughs> that's a red flag. God damn. <laughs> and Super Chats. Are okay, super let's, okay. Uh, let's go over to Super Chats. Super Chats. <laughs> um, if Pride. you're going to smash on the first or second date, do you bring her back to your actual crib or get a hotel? I, I bring her back to my spot, crib, man. But, crib. Yeah, but I mean. If you can't do better than a hotel. Yeah, if you live with your mom, then it's, that's even worse. <laughs> yeah. Uh, $100 from JB84. Thank you so Thank much. You, brother. Dropping this hundo for the three dudes I met through Donovan Sharp. Salute to the OG Don DeMarco, a.k.a. the Snow Bunny Slayer Solo TV84. As a side note, Lauren is looking right over there for your boy. Hashtag hey, not Hey, Lauren. <laughs> Blue yeah. eyes, there that's rule number one. Our Instagram. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then we got uh, AAL, $30. Fellas, let me put you on game. Get on Twitch. You'll be able to see all the lovely ladies. Fresh his feet and see Myron lose hair live on real 1080p HP. 1080p. Shout out to the Fresh Fit gang, Trey and Chris. We appreciate y'all too. Hashtag Twitch gang. Love, Thank man. You so love, man. Yeah, Twitch guys, the, the the stream is better quality, but your choice. You want to do on YouTube or on uh, Twitch? Kevin uh, Strum, twenty dollars super sticker. Epic Thank you so Phil. much. And then uh, we got uh, Black Wolf Mafia, fifty dollars. Would you guys ever consider? Um, Shah 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 Shahazar, fuck, I forget having how to... Having Shahzarda Ali, Ali on, on the, the show. show with all black girls as guests. Uh, who, who the hell is that? I don't know. I, I, I know who it is. Uh, <laughs> we'll think about it, man. Um, RP Mike, shout out to the greatest motherfucking podcast in the world. This show is going to be lit. Not even going to cap. Solo already has his snow bunny targets acquired. <laughs> Hats off to Solo TV, <laughs> former of the OGs of the Manosphere and the uh, master of bringing smoke to the Cloud Chasers. Facts. Free smoke. Free and then smoke. we got uh, yes, Turner's Galen Graham. Blue top again, visual and vibe. She's exactly what envisioned for a yeah. wife. Best advice, get out that nightlife ASAP. Shout out to my mm. favorite hey, podcast. Hey, uh, hey, hey, hey. Uh, hey, hey. Hey, hey. And then $20, Mark Martin, $20. Guys, you always discuss men and women being in platonic relationships as friends, but can you ask all the ladies what their opinion on being a friend with benefits or F buddy? Okay, yeah. we could, we might be able to do that. And then oh. YouTube oh, channel, thirty dollars. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's like a ninja YouTube channel. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, I'm 19 years old. Been watching you guys for about a month. I was lazy in the house, playing video games all day. Y'all inspired me to do something with my life. Now I'm an in independent contractor, making 20 an hour. Excellent, awesome, bro. Awesome. That's awesome. Amazing. Good job. Good I love job. hearing that. Good job, man. Good job. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, playing video games all day uh, and not getting paid for we it is uh, foolish. Oh, Randy Booker in the house. Hey, shout out to Randy, Randy Booker. Booker, man. Shout out to my bro SLO TV 84 and Fresh and Fit 100. Thank you so much. You sent me his channel, right? Yeah, yeah. You guys got to check him out. Shout out to Randy Booker, cool. man. He's got over 300,000 subscribers. He does social commentary. He talks about basketball and, of course, dating. Uh, all these ladies probably might slide in his DMs because he his Instagram pictures are crazy. He's always showing his apps and shit like that. So, okay. cool. shout out to Randy, man. Uh, Black Wolf Inc. Go ahead, friend. 20 bucks. <laughs> to the Asian girls next to Solo, you better strap in for a long night. You clearly have cap syndrome all over you. It's going to be taken care of. Stop the cap before it's too late. Asian? Well, <laughs> Don, Don DeMarco Wait, Oh, because you went on a date with Puerto Rican No, Puerto Rican? I'm Portuguese Thank you Oh, there you go Get it right before cool. you come um, Alex right. Jones Oh, are you kidding me? The only answer to that pink shirt clown from the other night is 1776. <laughs> what does that mean? 1776? Oh, oh uh, independence, I'm assuming. <laughs> oh, oh, my uh, God. Roger O'Neill, 100, 100 bucks. You boys, savage. Keep on the grind. Hey, Thank you so much. Aww. Thank you, brother. And, uh, awesome. All right. So we will turn it to the ladies to ask us a question and or yes. solo. Do you have some? So, so you, got, you got a question for the ladies? I mean, do you want the easy one or the hard one? Hard like, one, man. No, one. Come on, bro. Hit us with the hard one. one. Come on. Let's go. Just All right. Okay. Okay. All right, so, so go ahead. Y'all you, you sure you're ready for this? Okay. So, ladies, I need y'all to... Damn. Myron, give them that memory back in time. Oh, yeah. I got that. Okay. I got you. Like, I need y'all to think back. <laughs> did you think about this before the show? <laughs> Actually, I did. No, I <laughs> so, go back to your last relationship. And why it ended, and be name three reasons that are brutally honest that mm -hmm. you contributed mm -hmm. to that last relationship dissolving. Ooh. We'll oh, start oh. with pineapple over here. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we go we go. go this way, then there back that go. way. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so I've only had two boyfriends in my life, and they've okay. both been long term. Okay. So the one before my my current one, I think I was just too young to be in a relationship. I was only eighteen, mm -hmm. and I just did really didn't know how to be in a relationship. And he liked to play video games all day, mm -hmm. and that was just a no. Okay. Okay. That's why I ended. Okay. Cool. Reasonably so. All right. You. <laughs> Um, you forgot a question? What was the question? Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have three questions. I have one question. Okay. I, but say it again. Point. So he said basically. So, mm -hmm. so your last, last relationship, relationship, name three brutally honest reasons right. that you contributed to that dissolving. Okay. So I don't have three reasons, but you know, so. men mature way later than women. Oh, yeah. And I do agree that women are ready before men then. So we have absolutely. to sit around and wait around mm -hmm. for a few years. And it's absolutely pathetic for men to like hop on their chair and say, you know, this I'm is ready. it. This is what I want. So, you know, I do think that uh, females get beyond tired of it. Absolutely. Okay. Amen to that. <laughs> but that, that. But you still didn't give a reason as to what you contributed for it dissolving, though. You know, well, what I, the thing is, is that I, d I don't think men are ready. I, I think I'm ready before they are. And so that's the issue is that I'm like, I don't want to like be cocky, but I think I'm a little bit more mature than they are. It's, like, to be <laughs> brutally honest, I do. So, so basically, in, in your last relationship, there was nothing you did wrong then. That's what you're saying. I mean, come on. We all have stuff to blame for. I right. do think. And that was the question. I, like, I, I do think I am more mature <laughs> than okay. the other men I have dated. Absolutely, I've done things wrong. Come on. Were you, you know? Come on. Come on. Right. Come I was on. just looking for three no things. Give it to me. It. Give it to me. I was just looking for like but, three but things. But you know what I mean? Like, right. it is one and it takes one. So you know what I mean? Like, I can't put full forth and all if, if one does not give forth one and all. You know? So hmm. it takes Good both. Way to put it. What? Good way to put it. <laughs> Wait, no, no. I thought you said, where do you put it? I'm like, no. <laughs> no, you need direction? Maybe you're like, you I got you. You the question, though. Uh, uh, okay. Lay it on me. <laughs> just, just say, okay. okay. Not, I'm making it super, super simple. Come on. Name one thing you did mm -hmm. wrong in that relationship that, that might have made it end early, you would say. Did you forget questions? Just one thing. Maybe, 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 you, you know what? Maybe he forgot his birthday. <laughs> maybe he forgot where he, where he lived. I don't know. Maybe you thought he was a boyfriend. There's always two sides. There's got to be one thing. Absolutely not. Uh, I'm an angel. <laughs> no, no, I'm an angel. All come right, on, come on, guys. Come but on, you said obviously. Guys. We're not downing it. We're okay. not, okay. We're not right. downing it. So you're an angel. I, I agree. I think, you know, it takes two to tango. So, <laughs> something in so oh, where did you, where did you miss it? Okay. However, however, <laughs> however okay. I think males. Oh my. I'm a trigger. <laughs> she said, I think not that male. I probably <laughs> need some work. Come on, come on. I come need some more water. Come on, come on. Need some work. I'm getting, I'm getting dehydrated. Okay, okay. we're going to move on to the last person. That was that was really painful. That was, <laughs> that was like person. Dory. Holy uh, smoke. Red, uh, Red, Red, your go. Can you uh, tell us uh, some things that may have led to the end of a relationship that maybe you were at fault for? Yes. Um, I'd say I was young. And so I've only really been in like one serious relationship, to okay. be honest. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so I was young and he was young as well. And he liked spending time more with his friends. So I'd say I was a little clingy okay. just because I wasn't getting the same attention in return that I put into him. Okay. Um, yeah. Right. I think just the clinginess, maybe. Okay. But it's right. just a matter of learning, you know. Let's keep it real. Boundaries yeah. and shit, too. Let's keep it real. Thank okay. you for the introspection. Awesome. Um, uh, Miss Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> um, I could definitely say it was pretty much all my fault. <laughs> Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Did you just admit? Did you just That's accountability. Yo, she's a winner. <laughs> just for that. Um, I just seriously like. Okay. Yeah, seriously. Go ahead. So what, what, what happened? It was my first serious relationship. Um, mm -hmm. We were on and off. But since I was so young, I had just got to college. And I was like, oh, you know, all these cute guys, like. Why am I in a serious relationship? So I did fuck up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and I cheated on him in the beginning. 
Mm. So it was that. It was, um, I think I wasn't the mature one because I kind of wanted to go out and party and he was more about staying home and like having his shit together. And he didn't really like going out with me. So that was a tug in personalities. Mm -hmm. Did he catch you or did you like, <laughs> uh, like how did, like how did you, um, how did you find out? No, it happened while I was away. So as soon as I got back, I like broke it off. I couldn't deal with the guilt and stuff. So oh. I just told him. And I left him. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. And yeah, I was. What's, what's he doing now? Um, he works in HR. So okay. <laughs> HR. Yeah. Four okay. Dollar. So he's doing well for himself now, or? Um, he still has to finish his master's. He's okay. gonna do AO psychology. So oh, so you've been keeping in touch. You know a lot, huh? <laughs> yeah, we're still friends. Like friends. Oh, that's great. Mm. Mm. Platonically or? Friends with, with Benedict. <laughs> <Benedict. laughs> <laughs> so, in other words, in other words, when they, when whenever it's my they hang out, yeah, they have sex whenever he's in town. All right, fair yeah. enough. That makes sense. Amen. That makes sense. It looks okay. like he went he went out there. But at least she's she's honest though. Yeah. I, I like that. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Thank you for being honest. Solo. We'll pass him with her. <laughs> um, I I do I, I feel like my last relationship ended, mostly because of my job. I think it takes a certain kind of personality to be able to handle someone that works at the place that I do. Mm -hmm. um, I'm super outgoing. No man like no man likes friendly women. I'm very friendly. I've just always been that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're very friendly. Not outwardly, I wouldn't say like inappropriate, but friendly to too, everybody, too, always, all the time. Too friendly. <laughs> like men who feel that way, I feel like are a little insecure because if my, my boyfriend I'm not. worked, <laughs> if my boyfriend worked somewhere and had to be friendly, I wouldn't take it personally because it's part of the job. It's nightlife. It's... Um, like if you work at any bar, you have to have that personality. So, mm -hmm. but it was just something that always frustrated him, and I knew it always got to him. Although he wouldn't make me feel bad for it, um, that's why. That's definitely why. Accountability. Do you do you uh, do you find it? I guess, and I guess we can have a discussion on this. But um, I think it's perfectly normal and okay for a man to have a problem with his girl being too friendly because that opens avenues for infidelity. But. Um, it's just that most guys don't want to say that because they get hit with the shaming language such as like you're insecure You know what I'm saying? How dare you? But Why do you make me feel bad about just who I am as a person? Why should I change my entire personality of just being joyful outgoing like a Sandwin just because you're like Oh, well if you are nice to this person, they're gonna think you want to fuck them. They can think whatever they want I'm not going to we are together. They should be secure in that relationship We, mm -hmm. we, we get that hundred percent and I actually like that you said that however just because you don't think that doesn't mean they won't try. And they can. Am I like not a? Am I not like a person that can operate on their own? Mm. Should yes. I be afraid that they're going to attack me or something? I'm not going. I to I can do also park wrong. my Lamborghini in the hood and know that it has the best locking mechanisms possible mm. and it can't get stolen. But uh, am I going to allow? people to try to break into the car knowing that putting my car in that position is going to lead to it but i have a great alarm system like it's not the fact that like you can control yourself which you obviously can you're an, you're an adult a, a conscious being but why are you going to open yourself up to liability when you don't have to mm -hmm. this is why I'm, you, that's you like gotta, saying just never let the spouse go out ever it's not because that. anytime i go out regardless of where i go mm -hmm. i am hit on so it's like would you never let me leave the house well, there's ways to mitigate that, but um, you know what I'm saying. The, well, but, the, I think a lot of females in Miami feel the same way, though. I, yeah, I, I cannot go should, out without yeah. being hit on. Come it's on, just, it's just one of those things that it, it's but always bothered me. But he probably can't either. So. I've tried to real, of, of course, and true, that's just yeah. something you have to accept. That's just Very life. True. Yeah, you walk out, you're attractive. You're gonna get hit on. It's a, it's that's, a part that's of That's true, but there's there's ways to mitigate that that a lot of women aren't necessarily gonna want to adhere to, and. From the male perspective, it's that men know how other men think, and yeah. and the, whether women want to accept it or not, men look at women as when a man is d dealing with you romantically, he's whether you guys want to accept it or not, men are very territorial with their women, of okay, course. and, and they, they should be men men don't mm -hmm. like to share, and that's just that's just the way it is. So, and I think that's completely okay and acceptable because there's a bunch of reasons for that. But women also have to take some accountability that they dress a certain way, they put themselves in certain situations to get attention from the opposite gender because women love attention and thrive on attention and validation from the opposite gender, yeah. even if it compromises the integrity of their own relationship. And the beauty with women is that now we live in a politically correct society that tells men, hey, don't, t don't check your woman on her bad behavior that's conducive to cheating. That's insecure. You're a misogynist. But... We're saying what a lot of guys want to say, which is like, listen, if you're in a relationship with me, 
you need to have the respect to dress a certain way, be modest, and quite frankly, not have hoe behavior that's not conducive to a long-term relationship. And if you don't want to do that, that's fine, but you're not going to be elevated to anything serious. You're going to continue to just be a slam piece. And my thing is this. Mm -hmm. If women want the security and provisioning of a relationship from a higher status man that's about something, you got to follow his program, not the other way around. You can't sit here and play the field and, you know, mark your sexuality and put a for sale sign on your neck when, quite frankly, someone has already purchased a car. It's just that a lot of guys aren't going to say this because for fear of reprisal, being called a misogynist, whatever, or... Something I've always believed so, yeah. is that men only respect other men. For example, if I get hit on, the way that I reject a man is not by saying no. I say I have a boyfriend mm -hmm. because they respect that man, that imaginary man, more than just me saying no. Mm -hmm. um, so, it, I mean, I just, it just... It, it's such an irritating subject. It's because there's nothing that... Well, let me tell you the I truth. Could, I could dress as modest as I want. I'll, I'll tell you this. It's still going to I'll be tell you this. an issue. Women, I'm not going to lie to you guys. On a, uh, If a man meets you off of rip, he probably ain't going to respect you. You're coming from a deficit. Yeah. You are. Mm -hmm. But, 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 you definitely control how bad the deficit is. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is if you're dressed a certain way, you convey yourself a certain way, that respect level is either going to go up or down. I hate to say it, man. You want to dress a certain way, you want to be sexy, you want to be hot, whatever, the respect goes down along with it, okay? But if you dress a certain way where you're a little bit more modest, you're, uh, you know, you're covering up, you're conveying yourself a certain way, men are going to respect you more. So, yes, you will probably start with a deficit when it comes to mm -hmm. male respect, but you can absolutely influence it and at least get it to homeostasis where he's not going to treat you like an object. You know right. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But the more scantily clad you're dressed, there's repercussions to that. Because we live in a world now... That tells women all the pluses of their bad decisions, but never tells them the consequences of those decisions. <laughs> right. You want to be sexy. You want to be liberated. You want to be uh, flaunt your good looks. You want to put ass pictures on the internet. Cool. I'm not telling you guys can't do it. Mm -hmm. But what I'm telling you is that <clears throat> there's negatives to that. Men aren't going to respect you, and they're going to objectify you and look at you as an object. This is why since the beginning of time, religions, older society, they, they did everything they can to, how do I say this, to hold back female sexuality because they know the carnal uh, negativity that comes from it from the male side. You know what I mean? This is why in Islam they make the woman cover up. Christianity, everything like that because they know that a woman's modesty is very important to her getting respect. So, again, I didn't make the rules. It sucks that women aren't taken seriously when they dress a certain way. It's, it's fucked up. All yeah. I can do is report the facts of how men think. And yeah. that's how it is. But see, I understand your personality type and I get it, right? Because, for example, girls from New York, they're to totally the opposite to you. Completely they have opposite. a bitch face on and have an attitude. So most niggas, they go approach them and like, oh, hell no. But that's not who you are. So I think you, your uh, frustration is where this is who you are as a person and guys can't handle it. However, I'll yeah, say Or they always take it as me, yeah. like... Yeah, yes, unfortunately. But, but, yeah. And it but, sucks. But I'll say this, though. Fucking if you really sucks. want to keep a guy, right, I would say at least try, at least if you really want to keep him. Because what happens is he'll keep it as a side piece. They never mm -hmm. take you seriously. And at that point, you realize, you know what? Was it worth it me just try, trying to like play play a part? Because I, I get it. Your personality is, is who you are, but for, for most guys, they want a girl that's going to be like kind of hard to approach. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. I but I, that's that's what I've been told. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I mm -hmm. and I've tried, like, mm -hmm. but I just have a very approachable face. Like, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you're just going to walk right up and be like, oh, she's I agree, nice. I could yeah. ask her for directions. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so okay. yeah, and that, and that's hey man, it, it sucks, but that, yeah. that's just how it is. You know. All right. Next. Well, I'm from New York. Do you think I have a bit resting bitch face? <laughs> I heard that comment. I just want to add in on that. Let me see. I don't know. Just from what it's you've seen natural. so far. I'm from New York. I don't, nah, you, you smile I, too much. I can't agree with that <laughs> yeah. statement, but I will say I'm from outside New York City. I'm oh. from the suburbs. The so. ones in the city, though. Oh, yeah. the city oh, people. Same. All right, that's different. The Bronx. Gotcha. <laughs> Brooklyn. Oh, yeah. 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 No, I'm not from there. Um, so I just want to make this a, a point that it's okay to say that you've never been in a relationship because that's me. I've never been in one and that's okay. I feel like at some age, it's okay to say it. I know a lot of girls are like, oh, I can't say that. They're going to think there's something wrong with me and that I've never been in a relationship. I've never been in one, but I have been in a situationship where me and him never were labeled, but I definitely could say I was very insecure and I thought that my worth was found in him. And that was my first mistake. Mm -hmm. Because when you get into a relationship, I think that you need to be 100% with yourself. Because it's not the man's job to make you feel beautiful. It's not the man's job to, him to make you feel secure. 
You need to do that on your own. And that was my problem. I was young. I didn't know that. And I wish I can go back, but I learned so much from that. He took advantage of me. He was a douche. He literally was so insecure. And I'm going to use that word because if a man puts down a woman, that speaks volumes to me. The fact that you need to go out of your way to put me down to make yourself look bigger, you're insecure. Wait, Sorry. I'm just curious. How did he take advantage of you? Um, He would make it seem like he really liked me to get in my pants. Oh, yeah. That is horrible. So like, and oh, man. How, how, how dare he? <laughs> I know. <laughs> but black bastard. You know what? Also, Never I been heard young. of before. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Come on. But I was young, and he was the first guy to give me attention. I loved it. It was so, mm. it was like a high that I can't explain. Mm. And he was just my type. Like, But he was just, you know, compare me to other girls. That's fine. But he yeah. would compare me to my own sister. And that's the point. I'm like, how could you do that? That's my sister. Compare me to any other bitch in the world, but my own flesh and blood, and make me feel less than my own sibling. You're out. What would he tell you? Would he tell you like your sister's hotter than you or some shit like that? Yeah, he'd be like, oh, I saw oh, your damn. sister at the gym. Like, why don't you dye your hair brown? I'm like, Ugh. how old is she? How old is your sister? Damn. Two years older than me. Oh, Did he ever no, like? No. Try Yo. Did he ever? No, my sister's beautiful, and I. They look not... a lot alike. Yeah, we look a lot alike, but she is older. She's beautiful. I can't put her down anyway, but it was hurtful. It's like, oh my god, that's my flesh and blood. I that, nigga, that nigga's a savage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. absolutely. But don't yeah, worry, sorry. his payback happened, so it's all good. Oh, oh damn! Right. <laughs> Not for me, you know. She's that's karma. Gone, that's how the world works. Oh but yeah. Okay. I'm happy. I learned a lot from that, and that's why I'm out there again. Because I think when you get hurt, you learn more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Get back All up. right. Yeah. Fair enough. So, sure. I, okay. so I guess you're, you're saying your mistake, because ladies remember this is about what your mistake was. Yeah. <laughs> I love it how they deflect it back on the guy. So yours is just, yes. I guess, confiding too much in him and trusting it in. Of course. And, yeah. And not okay. Okay. Yeah. Being being, I guess, a little naive. Cool. Absolutely. Naive. Fair yep. enough. There it uh, is. Super chats, real quick, Chris, or no? Uh, yeah, we can. We got a quick. lot. Okay, we got a lot. All right, let's catch him up and then Wait. Uh, we'll move on to Lauren. What's up, Chris? From now on, fifties, okay. Fifties and up. Uh, okay. How many? We're at five thousand. We're already at five thousand. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, for here on out, what do you think? Okay, yeah, we could, I can read these yeah. real quick. Uh, guys, from this point forward, though, after these, it's going to be 15 up because we already got 5,000 live viewers. And we got a reaction to do as well. Yeah, that's video. true. Black Wolf Inc., $20. To the Asian girl sitting next to Solo, you better strap in for... Oh, no, we, we read that already, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's not in. It's Puerto Rican. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, in uh, Portuguese. Come yeah. on. Um, Let's and see. then uh, 20... Okay, homegirl said she's so mature yet can't even answer a simple mature question. <laughs> it takes <laughs> maturity <laughs> to admit your faults and flaws. <laughs> Stop the cap. <laughs> JT, yeah. thank you, That was painful. Forever We're strong. Twenty hours. The chick next to pineapple is so entitled she can't hold herself accountable for anything. It's gonna be a good night to watch. Oh, uh, that shots wage. fired. Ow. Uh, the wage. Twenty hours. The girl Pretty next young. to pineapple has no accountability and laughs way too much. Oh shit. And then Joe Blow. Twenty hours. The ultimate cap is when they call guys immature, but they act like children themselves. A hundred emotional tantrums. Zero percent accountability. Damn. Jim Joe. Uh, Twenty hours. Question for the one next to pineapple. Oh, you got a lot of fans now. A lot of fans. <laughs> I you know, being it. part of mature is being able to take accountability. If absolutely no accountability was a clip, it's this one that is pretty funny, actually. All right, man. <laughs> uh, Shane Jane, 500 Indian oh, rupees. Yeah. Male needs some work. Says the bimbo who suggested seeking arrangements because they couldn't pay rent. Have some self respect. Is that me? Come on. Uh, Come on, guys. You got something to say back to I feel him. targeted. Him. Wait, no, tell I, tell I don't know. think I arranged that, but Wait, you know I what? Think that was to me. To Didn't each I his know? own. If you want no, to fulfill, oh, if you want to fulfill your life, if on seeking arrangement, go ahead and fucking do it, baby girl. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Come on. Okay. All right. Randy Booker, five dollars. Shout out to my bro, Solo TV, and for it. Fresh and fit gang. Let's link in the future. 100. Thank you so much. Um, and then uh, that 20, wage. Uh, that, that no, no. wage, 20 hours. Oh, no, no, no. no. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. Joe Blow, 20 hours. The ultimate cap is when they call guys immature no. but act like children oh. themselves. 100% no. emotional. No. Yeah. Okay, go up. Go Chris, go come up. on, man. <laughs> well, I'll feed in the Can, uh, Blue roll tea. No, keep going. Yeah. I have. Okay. Uh, what are you uh, uh, Bell Keenan in the building. Keenan uh, <laughs> I'll take awesome. it. I'll uh, take Blue it. Blue Royalty, fifty dollars. It's my first time here. I just wanted to say thank you for all that you do and keep up the good work. Oh, thank that's you so, so much. Sweet. Elliot L -E -R, R, fifty bucks. To so judge these idiots is what the uh, oh, to so judge these thoughts is up to God, but to send them to him is <laughs> up to me. Pick up a Bible, ladies. Wow. Oh shit, L E R. Gabriel uh, Rosario, ladies. The question was what what you contributed to breaking your last relationship, but mostly you found a way to deflect some of the blame on the man. Own up to your mistakes. It'll help you grow. All right. Keep it up fresh and fit. Not all, but some. Yeah, did, yeah. Some. Okay, Drew Aker, twenty dollars. Uh, super sticker. Thank you so much. And then no rev limiter, twenty dollars. Dress how you want to be addressed. You don't get nearly as much attention when you dress modestly. Stop the cap. Very true. And then blue top. 
Uh, again, your vibe and beautiful is special, but men don't want their woman in a nightlife sexual type industry. And to top it off, you're friendly. That job would hold you back from LTR potential with a solid man. Hashtag how men think this is from uh, Kaylin Graham. Can you can you click on that picture? Can you zoom into that? Uh, you have to do that? It's yeah, probably an avatar. Recommendation. Mm. So mm. yeah. But, um, thank you. <laughs> I mean, yes. but no, no. I'm, I, but I understand thing. where you're coming from. What is here, LTR? Thing. Uh, uh, what he's saying basically long term oh. relationship. Yeah, long term. Oh. He's saying All that like he's saying that you're attractive, but like you being friendly and working in the nightlife industry would scare off potential men that would take you seriously what kind say. of me- what kind of men i've had offers for relationships <laughs> it's just the kind of people that I don't know, like, yeah i have a very certain type yeah 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 but what he's saying is that these higher the, like these these guys that you are probably attracted to aren't going to take you serious like ladies i gotta I, I, let, let's it's let's true. let's equate male winning versus female winning women tend to use the same lens as men thinking that they're winning just by getting a lot of attention by from men or sexual attention whatever or being able to get dates that is not winning for you guys. You guys get dick thrown at you every single day. That's why some of you guys actually have <laughs> the, the the privilege of saying, I don't want to date anybody right now. I'm taking some time off. That your win is when you get a ring from a man that you love and respect. That's when that's when you win. A man wins by having sexual abundance. Okay? So I hate when women say, Oh, I got a bunch of guys hitting me up, blah, blah, blah. And men make offers. That doesn't matter because men make offers to everyone. Mm. Are you getting offers and or a relationship commitment from a man that you actually love and trust and respect? That's the key difference. Can you keep a guy that you actually like after you fuck him? That's how women win. Men win by how many girl, girls can you attain? Women win by how many men can you retain after sex? So just so we know what the male and female equivalent is of winning. Uh, but okay, Lauren, uh, so to Solo's question, can you name one or two things? Oh, I can name multiple. But I'm going to start with, if you play video games out there, that is no shame. That means he's in the house doing his own thing and not cheating on you. So play oh, play as many okay. video games as you want. We play Smart. Yes. Exactly. You can see when he's online, too. So listen. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what's it called? Two. What was I going to mention? Um, oh, if uh, you're my type of guy and I see everything I want in you and I love you, I'll wear a paper bag outside if that's what it takes. So mm. don't, I'll just say, love oh, it. yeah, love that. unconditionally, that's fine, that. that's straight, whatever. But, but, but wait, what did you do? Oh, yeah. we're getting to that. Okay, okay so cool. number one, um, he was a fantastic guy, very respectable. He, he ticked all the boxes. However, I'm not just going to say I'm young. I'm going to hold myself accountable because I was in a relationship with him when I was 17 to 21. And I was leaving oh. college and about to move to Miami. So oh, I was shit. curious. I was curious at the time. I was, you know, a young, beautiful lady. And I saw the attention I got from these men that my man and his friends would idolize. And I saw that I could have a chance with these men. Mm-hmm. So distance plus my curiosity plus me being immature, um, it led to our fallout. I moved to Miami. Um, I got every man that I wanted. But as you spoke on, the longevity of a woman being able to do that does not last long. It deteriorates our value. Uh, God slapped me real hard when I tore my meniscus. I ended up gaining weight and losing the one crutch I had, which was my uh, beauty. And it forced me to really find myself and my soul and make sure my mind and body um, and spirit was connected before I was able to get my beauty back. So Wait, um, I just want to say, don't ever compare weight to beauty because you're beautiful oh, no it's matter okay, what weight but you are. A healthy Sorry. lifestyle. Yeah. There's no excuses for that, though. There's you no have to make sure you're I healthy. I get that. Yeah. I'm not going to, well, you know. Lauren, I will say that was very heartfelt. That was, yeah. And I understand 100%. You kept it real. That's, yeah. That's yeah. No he, did, yeah. he did nothing wrong to this day. I respect that man. It was all on me. So wow. I, have, I, wow. was, I was forced to learn, and now I'm a better person. Um, everything's aligned, and... I'm waiting for my dream man to walk into my life. This so. needs to be clipped. Yeah, that, is, <laughs> that's you heard that? that was beautiful. That was. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I will have to disrespectfully. I'm uh, sorry. Disagree. Respectfully disagree with you. Weight um, does matter. That weight absolutely does matter. If, if that's what I want in a man, the best version of a man, I have to be the best version of myself. Yeah. yeah. Like, Thank you. Like, yeah. Man. Let's be real. We look yeah. at looks first. No cap, people. Yeah. We do. Yeah. We. <laughs> Here's the thing. And, and I'm going to say this because uh, we have a bunch of ladies at the table, and I'm just going to say it, what men want to say, but they're scared to say. It is unacceptable if you're obese, no matter your gender. The difference Mm. is this. We have a bunch of social conventions in place to make women feel good for their bad decisions. If a woman's overweight, love your curves, girl. It's okay. There's plus-size swim models, blah, blah, fucking blah. If you're fat (laughs) as a dude, 
you get made fun of. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like, Solo was much fatter, and I used to tell him all the time, Solo, you're fat as fuck, you need to lose weight. Oh. Men hold each other accountable, yeah, big deal. I was still pulling, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, but that's yeah. the thing, like, that's men yeah. understand, yeah. like, that there is this, there is an invisible burden of performance for men. Mm. However, there is not an invisible burden of performance for women. Mm. If woman's overweight, we have all these conventions to make her feel better about her bad decisions. And I'm here to tell you, ladies, if you're fat, you do, and men don't want to date you because of it, it is what it is, and men have a preference too. It's just I that agree. when a man I says, that statement. "If yeah. when a man says, hey, I don't date fat girls,' he's immediately shamed. But if a woman says, "I don't date guys under six feet tall," you go, girl, know your worth. And I'm here to tell you, ladies, being fat is unacceptable. It's completely in your uh, in in your uh, it's in your control how much you weigh, but it's not in a man's control how tall he can be. I'm yeah. not sitting here to cry for men. Like if you're short, yeah. it is what it is. I tell all my I mean, short guys, you need to get in the fucking gym. You don't have a choice. But with women that are overweight. Nah, we don't have to fucking accept you for being fat, yeah. and that's retarded. I'm not no. gonna accept mm. the fat girl. And, and, and also, a lot of guys will also settle for girls that are a bit more, or, or have a little bit more weight because that's what they can get at the time. But they will keep you as a side piece until they can find yeah. what they really want. I, but they will never tell you that shit. Though. And that's not me, real quick. That's not me to yeah. Solo Solo because Solo lost yeah. a lot of weight, guys. He was yeah. way bigger. He lost a lot a of lot weight. Yeah. But that's the difference between men and women. Like we mm. we accept the reality that yo, we gotta lose weight. What the fuck? Sorry, go ahead. I don't think there's and I have any. A lot of crypto. I, I, I totally, I actually totally agree with you. Yeah. I don't think there's any issue in a man saying that he doesn't want to date a fat woman. Mm -hmm. What I do disagree with is fat men saying they don't want to date fat women. Oh yeah. I think that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard, sir. You're fat. How can you yes. be like upset that this woman is the same size as you? Well, here's the thing: well, you have have preferences, but at the same time, you can't body shame other people and not body shame yourself. Would that be if insecurity? that man is successful? No, no, I'm talking about a regular man. I've seen oh, this all man? the time. Because like these are regular men. They're successful and regular men. We're talking to people. Mm -hmm. So why is it that? And I have to ask because I've seen it. Why is it that heavy set men will be like, like sorry, like because. It's wow. well, you know what? Here's the thing. I don't. I've never understood. There's, 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 there's. Life isn't fair. You know what I'm saying? That's just, I hate to say it like yeah, that, ladies, no, but, yeah. but but life isn't fair. You know what I'm saying? Like every single one of you get DMs from dudes randomly without having to lift a finger. Whereas like us guys at the table, we have to work for any girl that we date or or court. You know what I mean? Like we had a, no offense to you, but like just using you as an example, a man took you out, but that wasn't enough. You had to pay and you had to do all these other things. So the point is this. Men have to work a lot more than women do to get attention from the opposite gender. But <laughs> since it's easy for you guys to get men, there's obviously going to be certain things that come on your side that don't come on our side. So men necessarily, we're not held to the same beauty standard that you guys are. You guys are considered the fairer sex. You know what I'm saying? That beauty that you guys have is your biggest weapon and you're also your biggest detriment. Because yes, uh, you're beautiful, but... With that beauty comes, a lot of guys aren't going to take you seriously in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? It comes at a cost every single time. Everything that has a benefit also has cons, right? So the negative is, is that men, since we're not the fair sex, we can make up with other things, such as money, social status, clout, whatever. There's right. a bunch of ugly fat dudes that right. get a bunch of girls Hell that yeah, are outside absolutely. of their league. I can name a few. That, you know I, won't. I, say, I won't either. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But I'll tell you this. Yeah. I don't know no NBA player or, or, or high value no. man that's out with no. a fat, ugly chick. Hell no. Nah. No matter how much money she has. Look at Oprah Winfrey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so so that's the difference. Like Money love. It sucks that um that some guys might say, Oh, well, I don't want no fat chicks when they're fat themselves, but if they have the money and the status to be able to do that, to exercise that option, some of them will. That makes yeah. sense. But for so average guys, can't be choosers. But here's the thing though, here's the other thing too. Average guys that are fat, like you're saying, that have this preference, let's keep it a stack. They're not gonna get the girls anyway. Yeah. I've, there's plenty of happy, heavy set couples that I've seen. But I've I like I know women that are heavy set that have heavy set male interests but they have been rejected for being fat that's yeah, the only yeah. reason i brought this up because i just i'm like is this like no, a normal it, thing here's the thing here's the thing it, we live in a world now where it's okay to be delusional as a woman but it's not okay <laughs> to be delusional as a man i'll give you an example if you're a delusional woman that says i'm not settling i'm holding out for the best society's going to tell you do that you go girl yeah. do it you deserve your worth but if you're a guy and you're fat and you're an average guy making fifty thousand dollars a year well, you being delusional is going to be met with some consequences. No bitches are going to take you serious. Like, they're going to look at you like, the fuck? You're not going to get girls. So there's there's going to be, like, negative reinforcements in reality to your bad choices as a man. Like, men can't afford to be delusional, but women can. Does that make sense? Yeah. At does. least sexually, wh when it comes to dating. Yeah. Yeah. You know? No, okay. I agree. Uh, so, Bianca. From the media. <clears throat> can you give yours? Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm, like, dreading this. Um... Just a little backstory. Uh, I was in a long-term relationship 
for six and a half years. Oh, shit. Whoa. Yes. Wow. And um, Time it, to blame him. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It was, it was just a, a mess. Um, so my most recent relationship was my first relationship since that relationship. Are we following? Yes. <laughs> okay, good. So, um, <laughs> wait, I'm confused. So, your first relationship was the first one since? No, <laughs> really, you could have. No, I'm. No. Uh, was, I was lost. Okay, wait, I was just giving a backstory. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, and I was with some, someone for six and a half years. Uh -huh. Um, but it was it it was just a mess. Okay. Um, so my most recent relationship was the first relationship since that one since that one okay 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 okay, okay. Right. um and it i it was probably both of our faults um i knew that he he wasn't ready to be in a relationship um and i would kind of confront him every now and then and just be like look if oh, you, you wanted really... a ring no 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 <laughs> uh we were only together for a year okay um but it was it was in a way he was he's an influencer or was is an influencer. Okay. okay. So he gets a lot of attention from females, uh -huh. um, especially females with you know that are gorgeous with a large following. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm very chill when mm -hmm. it comes down to a relationship, um, but I was sensing that he kind of wasn't ready to mm -hmm. settle down, um, and he still wanted to bring up his uh, build up his brand. Mm -hmm. Um, so when I would confront him about, you know, maybe he doesn't want something serious or, you know, it's okay. We could, I'm not going to say we could still be friends because you guys don't believe in friends. Um, but we could just go our separate ways and that's it. Mm -hmm. But, uh, he kept insisting that, no, that this was what he wanted. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, he would like on Instagram, on his comment section, he would flirt a lot with girls. Um, and he would post like girls with larger followings on his story like mm -hmm. he was doing a workout with them and he would ensure me that it was just business, business right mm -hmm. wink, wink. Mm -hmm. wink wink right and he's Remember, not hiding forget, anything Bianca, we still so need your what you, you did wrong yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is amazing <laughs> I know. Way of saying, this is, this no is, way <laughs> and, and, and again, this goes to show, question. like, and this isn't to knock it on you, Bianca, but like, this goes to show, like, the female psyche solo. You're you're a magician here, because yes. women. <laughs> I, I, I've, I've we said on this podcast a lot, man. And no offense to the ladies here, not to sound like a jerk, but women almost always, when that accountability punch comes, you guys are fucking like, you know, dodging all over the place, like Floyd Mayweather, there. man. I'm getting there. I okay. just, I just, uh, you know, it it was what led to me messing things up it, okay. you know it was that he had messed up mm -hmm. which caused me to mess up okay okay that that was the only thing um so but he messed so, up by 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 partnering with and doing things with female influencers partnering uh -huh. but it was a lot of flirting uh -huh. and you know he would tell me it was only for business which i caught him in you know a few of oh. the lies which made me very insecure uh -huh. Mm -hmm. um and jealous mm -hmm. and i think that ultimately that's what ended us especially being that this was my first relationship since a disastrous one mm -hmm. um i was really trying to like work on myself in that aspect but you know sometimes so what did just, you do that that yeah what did i you was both? just i was i was just um very jealous and you know we had gone into one argument um because he had messaged somebody on Instagram mm -hmm. and um, he was just like, you know what? You're right. Like, I'm not ready. And he's with that girl right now. Oh, oh shit. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Real uh, quick. And then, but, but what did you, so you were just jealous. That was, yeah, that was it. Cause I, I'm, I'm. And you left him? Um. Or he left you? After the argument, it was, it was a, dis it was um, an agreeable Mutual. Uh, mutual mutual um breakup so you didn't cheat I no i i never i am so against cheating um okay. i would never i will say this though and i'm glad you had that story bianca because I, I i have to tell women this all the time if you're going to deal with a guy that's pre-selected that's attractive that has a big following or whatever it is you're going to have to share them ladies like th th that's just how it is like you want a high status guy other girls are going to want him too and you're going to have to share him if you want a guy that's going to be monogamous to just you you're gonna have to deal with a more average man. Yeah. That's what it is. What's up, Lauren? Question: yeah. Do men cheat and step out just because they're dogs, or is, is it because of something that the girl did? I want to hear your opinion. Um. So, 
with 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 men like because and I already know this we're opening up Pandora's box here exactly but I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll tell you this and this is the thing I tell guys on this podcast all the time if a girl cheats on you you break up with her immediately yeah but if you cheat on her as a man it's not that big a deal and I know you're probably like what the fuck this is bullshit <laughs> oh the, no I want to hear you out the, the reason why is because um, when men have sex with other women it's not personal it doesn't it mean anything is. doesn't mean shit. You know what I'm saying? Men can have sex detached. Uh, you know, it's all about physicality. Mm. She was hot, whatever. You know, men are designed to spread their seed far and wide. We're literally biologically designed to have sex with a bunch of women, emotionless, to propagate the next generation of human beings. Women, however, it's not the same way. You guys have to get to a certain point emotionally to be able to have sex with someone. You know what I'm saying? Because here's the difference. If you walked into a nightclub, Bianca, you're a very young, attractive woman. You go Thank up you. and you tell any guy... Hey, I want to fuck. They're going to say yes. They're not going to have to know shit about you. They're going to say sure. But on the other way, let's say I'm a woman's type. I'm the most attractive guy. I have a, gar a fucking uh, you know, Lambo parked outside, whatever it may be. Tall, dark, handsome, whatever the hell. I'm, I'm the girl's type. I walk up to her. You want to smash? She's still going to be like, well, I need to go on a date first. You know what I'm saying? Like women need some kind of investment from you before they fuck you because women treat sex as a value loader exchange versus what men treat it as like equal value exchange. Yeah. So... It is what it is. That's why if a woman has sex with another man, it's unacceptable. You got to kick her to the curb immediately. Because real talk, the only way you guys show commitment is by not fucking other dudes. We show commitment to you by like supporting you, taking care of you, being willing to die for you, protect you, whatever. So what I say is that if you're going to deal with a man that is soft, sought after by a lot of women, you got to be comfortable sharing him sexually. That doesn't mean you got to share his love and everything else like that. If you're his main girl, you're his main girl. You're the one he's willing to die for. But... That's what comes with the territory when it when you're dealing with higher status men. Does it only apply, apply to higher status men? But if you're with an average guy, men are as faithful as their guys, options. Yeah. Okay. So average guy will cheat on you I too. Like that. If he can, uh, yeah. average guy will cheat on you too. Okay. If he can get away mm -hmm. with it. You so know? Because it means yeah. nothing to him. It's not because the girl did something wrong or just something. Wrong. Yeah, no. Nah, I mean, it could okay. be because you did something okay. wrong. It could be. Okay. But a lot of the times, most guys, if they're given the opportunity okay. to have sex without some kind of consequence of them getting caught. They're gonna do it. Okay. And you know what and, I'm saying. And by the way, uh, just so you know, black men don't cheat. So. I said all men. Cheat. So, <laughs> so I, I will say this because there's been a bunch of women that like watch our show and like they they took our advice and they're like, you know what? I shouldn't break this relationship off just because he had sex with another woman. Because at the end of the day, he still supports me. We have kids together, whatever it may be. And I think women need to look at the lens of um, infidelity through a different light. A lot of women tend to look at it like, well, I would never fuck another guy. This is unacceptable because in your, in a woman's mind, she has to get to a very dark place to be able to actually fuck another guy mm. when she's with a, with a man. Yeah. But men don't have to get to that same dark space to fuck a woman. You know what I'm saying? And I think when women use their female lens of infidelity to define a man's actions, that's when you really put yourself in a bad spot. Because... Uh, you got to almost, and it's tough to do this because you're not a man. You don't think uh, about sex all the time. You know, we have nine times as much testosterone as you guys do. We mm -hmm. have way, way higher sex drive. Even the horniest women aren't going to compare to some of the most, you know, least horny guys. Yeah, so, I'll never forget what yeah. Tom, Tom Lekas said. He said, men are like cars, right? You're going on a valley. There's gas stations. There's the Chevron, the Shell. There's the top level gas stations, whatever. Speedway. But guys <laughs> just want to stop and take a piss. That's like having sex with girls. Oh we don't God. we don't we don't want to marry a gas station. We just want to stop, take a piss, and that's it. Comparing so, women to gas great station. Insight. <laughs> I'm just saying, great insight. Example. Can so, I say that I, I have talked to hmm. my guy friends before? Now you friend zoned. <laughs> that want to smash you. <laughs> but go ahead. Whatever. Yes. <laughs> and they have told me that they they you know where they're in a relationship, they love their girl. They mm -hmm. love them yep. like that is the girl that they're gonna marry. Mm -hmm. Um, but they're gonna fuck other girls that's yeah. just how it is yeah but they still love their girl yeah and yeah. i was like wow okay well you what know this is how to? you think this is very interesting i'll tell you this ladies what it comes down to is just get the best guy that you can get that it, that you would not mind him having sex with other girls and i always say if you're high value enough a woman will share you the uh, problem is this women feel some type of way when it's a fucking bum or a guy on their level that's cheating on them. Because they're like, you fucking asshole, you should be happy that I'm with you and giving you a chance and you're cheating on me. But, but if it's a higher status guy, a multi-millionaire, very good looking guy, whatever it is, and he's smashing other chicks, just make sure the guy's worth it. Because he's going to cheat on you anyway if he gets the chance. Yes, son? What's his definition of love? Because what we see love is not him being with another woman. So that's surprising. He said, I love her. But he's gonna go inside somebody else. What? That, that that's not love. Well, I that's mean, lust. He doesn't that's see himself love. settling down with anybody else. Okay. Um, you know, I just don't know how that works. Yeah, that, that's such it's a very confusing. Well, it's, but no, a lot of men no, think I'll that way. Right it's common, no. in yes, it common in Miami. It's common in Miami. It's absolutely terrible. Ladies, honestly. ladies, no, it's not terrible.
It's oh realistic. <laughs> it's Men? realistic, it's but it's common in Miami, though. though. Okay. It's like, terrible to think about. When everywhere. You're... It's common everywhere. Like, here's the thing. Men love idealistically. Women love opportunistically. Mm -hmm. And that sounds fucked up to hear that. But men are basically loved on the, on the condition that they provide something. Security, resources, protection, whatever. Men, we don't really care about what you guys bring to the table outside of your looks. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like if a woman is successful, that might be a, a plus, but it's not the main <laughs> thing. You know what I'm saying? So especially, especially a guy that has his money together, the more money a man has and the more security he has, the less security he cares about a woman bringing to the table. You know what I'm saying? So he wouldn't care about a good mother to his own three. He that's, will, that, but yeah, that's I why will. he loves her. Very that's, true. That brings up the debate of monogamy, you know? It's a new thing that... Yeah, I mean, it's just like like like, like what what he what she was describing was men love idealistically. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Women love opportunistically. So for you guys, it's like, what does the man bring to the table? There's a reason why women have high standards of men. I want to be taller than me, make more money than me, confident, strong, etc. Like women have a whole laundry list of things because obviously for you guys, you know, to have sex and get pregnant, it's quite but quite a bit of investment, right? You're vulnerable for nine months, all this other shit. So you're gonna pick the best of the best, right? Women don't need uh, men don't need all the, all these filters for women. Are you hot and available? Done. That's why we can have sex with a bunch of girls and ain't a big deal. But the woman that you're going to invest in, a.k.a. have a child with, spend money on, be willing to die for, that's the woman you really love. So we love yeah. a lot differently, I think. And I think one yeah. of the biggest mistakes me women make is they, they tend to think that, like, they use this Disney fairy tale of love. Like, unconditional, all this other bullshit. Nah, love is always conditional. And I would argue that on the female side, it's, it's far more conditional than it is for men. Because a man can truly love a woman if she brings nothing to the table, if she's hot enough. And is a good yeah. mother to his children. Yo, I love that comment. Power Spin 2 says, Myron is like beers, fresh is like weeds. Yeah, thank you, man. <laughs> Yo, real quick. Yeah. Uh, Trey, um, I think uh, Sin for uh, Sin donated some subs er earlier on Twitch. Yeah, we had a couple of people donate subs, but I go stupid dumb donated 20 subs. Wow, thank you, brother. Hey, thank you so much. Donated Mark. five Cheers, subs. Mark. And Big Bald Head donated five subs as well. Thank you so much, man. And Thank then for Rent, he's been donating subs to whoever's been active in the chat. So if you're active in the chat, they will donate subs. So, but shout out to T Twitch Gang, everybody in there. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to yeah. Twitch Gang and Sin for Rent. So thank you. Thank you so okay. much for that, guys. Um, so we're going to do a quick video here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, do we need Super Chats or no? Yeah, yeah. We do. Super Chats, yeah. Okay, I'll, we'll, we'll do it solo, quick. you could also chip in as well. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, no, okay, real quick. Vitaly Rao, hello, love from India. Do you guys think that our society is moving to a point where the government will tax the bottom 70, 80% of men so that all women can have children with chats? I own. I get the yeah. fact that a high value man is desirable, pseudo husband, government. Uh, I don't think so, man. I don't think so. Red Pill Mike, uh, if I had a dollar for every time I was smashing a steady and, and said, your sister is fine, I could retire on my own island. Oh, a man's God. natural instincts are just part of biology facts. And then, uh, Rao again, I, I think eventually even high value true. men will have to pay high taxes and to eventually chat it's our own win in the end. This is already happening in some countries like Japan with a 0.8 birth rate where the government is subs subsidizing having babies. Okay. Society's doing, hey bro, uh, get out the black pill. Start yeah, watching dude. some more positive shit, my friend. Thanks. Kaylin Graham, $50. What Myron said is exactly my point and that's my real pick. You making spend you making spend tonight blue top LMAO. <laughs> okay. I and then uh, Shout to I go stupid dumb donate ten more subs. Shout to you, brother. And then Rao, what I'm what I mean is it only takes a matter of time before all the world governments realize that the ideal way to turn their country is to have the bottom male pay for Chad and Tyrone's babies. Do you guys think that this will happen? Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, bro. Chill out, bro. Yo, you might need to join Patreon. We need to have a discussion, my yeah, friend. Yeah, man. Sean Reed, a woman taking accountability, donating expeditiously. Thank there you so you much. Uh, 70 bucks. Um, uh, hey, Memo Lauren. James. Damn, Lauren. What's your IG? What's your Instagram? The Lauren hey. Turner. There you no, go. And she's on Twitch too, fellas. And she's on Twitch yeah. too. Also on Twitch. Uh, Galen Graham again. Oh, shit. Now, uh, oh, girl next to Fresh. He likes Slash Love probably just did want to come out and say, hey, I still want to fuck around, but you shouldn't. He, But he probably wanted you and tell him the truth would lose you Fresh Fit what y'all think. Uh, I, that, we just explained yeah, we just, that. Yeah. yeah, we just talked about yeah, that. Yeah, he probably did. You were the main, main one, but, yeah. you know, he just didn't want to tell you, like, oh, I want to fuck other girls. JB8450 bucks. Men have way more requirements for women to give them a relationship slash commitment. Just like women have way more requirements to have better room fun with, with a man. Yep. Yeah. Cool. It goes both ways. All right. So we got okay, a, cool. video real so quick we got a reaction here. video that we're going to play. Shout out to UDY once again coming through with another uh, video. So ladies, we want your opinion on, on this video. Oh. And it's about cheating in relationships, right? Oh, shit. So we want to uh -huh. see, you know, what, what your reaction is to this. And Solo, you can chime in as well. Let's hear it. What you think about this video. What's the title of the video? Gold Digger Tess. Okay, <laughs> Michael we have, and Chelsea. We haven't seen this video either, guys. Yeah, so you guys new. are gonna get it organic. We got 6,700 live viewers, by the way, guys. So do us a quick favor and like the video, comment, subscribe. And by the way, fellas, tag UDY so we can collab with them when we go to uh, uh, LA for No Jumper. Uh, so tag them everywhere. 
Yep, cool. All right, cool. We wanted to find out if Chelsea would be willing to trade her boyfriend, Michael, for a rich guy and a modeling career. <laughs> What's up, guys, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I am chilling here with the homie, Michael. And as you all know, later this week, we're gonna be placing his girlfriend, Chelsea, to the gold digger test. Michael, more than anyone, you know how this could all go down. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah. Meet the homie, Michael. So if Michael looks familiar to you guys, you guys probably remember him from a previous episode that we shot with him. The only difference is, is in that episode, we hired him to play the rich decoy. But in this episode, Michael will be testing his own girlfriend. Why do you want to play Chelsea to the test? So after the Bennett video, man, look, I really started to think about things. It made you question your like, yeah. relationship. Because, <laughs> because there's things when you look, when I look back at stuff, like it, it could fill a book. Uh -huh. So I'm just gonna say that. I could fill a book. Yeah. <laughs> it can be nothing, but at the same time, it's like you know. Yeah. I've had my share of just you know an honesty. Yeah. In life. Yeah. So I want to make sure. So this test spanned the course of two weeks, and we split it up into three phases. Phase number one took place in this studio apartment. It was Michael's job to bring Chelsea here. See, Chelsea actually models here and there as a side gig. So for this test, we wanted to see if she would be willing to trade Michael for someone who could help her make modeling her actual career. Well, that someone would be our friend Blake. Blake would be pretending to be a successful talent manager and would eventually tell Chelsea that he can help her make modeling her career if she accepts going on a date with him. Hello. Michael, what is good? Just making sure we're still good to go. Is everything going good? Everything's going good. Uh, just pick it up now after the probably like 30 minutes out. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Remember to go in through the front of the building because we're parked in the back. Okay, so remember to go in through the front of the building. All right. Okay, bye. So as I said, it was Michael's job to bring Chelsea here for phase number one. Michael did so by convincing Chelsea that Blake wanted to hire her for a photo shoot in his studio apartment. We had Michael tell Chelsea that <laughs> he Blake was the talent that manager and that right? she would be modeling some merch from a female influencer that Blake supposedly manages. In reality though, we simply got these t-shirts at Walmart for like five bucks each. <laughs> Anyways, to impress Chelsea, Blake would have her model the merch next to his supposed Tesla Model X, which we parked inside the studio. And to make the photo shoot just even more legit, we recruited the help of our very good friend and popular TikToker, Denzel Crispy. Denzel would be playing the role of the photographer. Together, these two would be executing phase number one and creating the perfect segue for phase number two. In order to hear exactly what is going on, I'm gonna be putting this phone right under there. So with our game plan ready to go and our hidden cameras rolling, all that was left to do was to head to the back parking lot in order to hide. Alrighty guys, so right now we are in the back of the building and Michael is going to be parking in the front of the building and then walk into the apartment and stuff. But that won't be for another 20 minutes or so, so for now we just chill. So Michael would be arriving with Chelsea within the next 20 Chris, minutes or Chris, so. Right, yo, Chris, Her, let's, uh, let's fast forward it. So okay, so you guys got the setup. So clearly, um, ladies, what are your thoughts so far? Is this fake? Yeah, this seems like a parody <laughs> of a video about <laughs> cheating. Honestly? <laughs> I don't know if it's fake. I, I can assume that, it's but the principle of the video is the, the, the principle. It's, it's a very okay. uh, undertone. So it's kind of like, okay, okay. You're, you're dating somebody. You don't know. They may have some, some traits that might say they might be cheating. Fair use. So you want to put it to, te to the test to see, okay, are they cheating or not? She's so cheating. fair, fair use. Um, if we're just it comes see. to this extent, so she, she, she's definitely. Yeah, oh my god, there's too much. There's too much ever put in. Just the... <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, she is so, um, yes. Yes. so she shows up at the spot now, and yeah. then we'll play a portion of this, and we'll, then we'll move forward and, and uh, yeah. continue. How are you feeling? I feel like an asshole. But it's like, dude, this guy he doesn't trust his girlfriend, whatever. But I have reasons. Yeah, but yeah. at the same time, it's like if nothing happens, then I look like the biggest fucking douchebag. On a scale of one to ten, how confident are you that there's this is gonna have a good positive turnout? Six. Six? Six out of ten? That's not bad. Sixty percent. It's like a D. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a uh, give a little bit of sit right here. Okay. <laughs> so what I would start off with you, we start off with small gigs. Like for example what what we're doing today. Then we we go on to the next step, which is the bigger gigs. We would line up film work. Photo shoots, you got the look, so yeah, but I'll definitely let you know. Yeah, no pressure, no rush. Like I said, I see potential in you. I would love to work with you, but I don't want to, like, you know, force this upon you. No, I don't feel like that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I will definitely let you know. Definitely, definitely. Let me get your number. Okay. It is. 
And just like that, our main objective for phase number one was complete. All that was left to do now was simply end this phase. All right, let's fast forward it. Like I said, that's it, guys. That's it for today. I'm just waiting yeah. up here and stuff, and uh, probably yes, quickly right, to go. Stop Someone will grab me if they don't. I don't think we need to. It's cheating. Yes. <laughs> Anybody? No. That's yes. So you think Wait, already at this cheat? point, him, sh her showing up is already cheating at I, this point. I, I'm positive that this is staged, and I know where the end is going to go. And at the end of this, yes, I'm sure she's going to be like, "Oh yeah, we can hang out." Like, like you know what I'm saying? If, if it was just like a business thing. I'm sure she would go home and tell him about it. And if the, in this video she doesn't tell her boyfriend, like, oh, I got this guy's number, I'm doing business with him, it's a great opportunity for me, then there's, like, room to, like, you know, be unsure, but... Finesse it. Mm -hmm. But I'm, pre I'm pretty sure I can see, like, where this is going. Yeah. So, so, so another thing that I do that I didn't mention is I do videography for fashion events, fashion shows, and whatnot, and... Um, there are a lot of like horny photographers out there, videographers mm, out there. Oh, yeah. and there are a lot of models out there that know that and they'll take advantage until they may deal with one guy and then until they can springboard that to another guy that's a higher level. Mm. You know, do the Camilla Harris thing where, you know, they just get <laughs> tossed around the town. You know what I'm saying? Allegedly, <laughs> according to jo Judge Joe Brown today. But um, <laughs> that is something that I've, I've seen. You know what I'm saying? Where girls will deal with different guys. In the fashion industry, so maybe that's what she's doing, just looking for a come up, and mm -hmm. she'll do whatever it takes to eat fries and steaks. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's, there's a line of respect. Once it passes professionalism, yeah. it's you're you're cheating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's like, a clear yeah. line. You, you can leave. You always have the choice to walk out the room. Yeah, exactly. and, and I want to ask this too. Uh, when Say they no. were uh, have uh, I guess with a show of hands, have any of you guys been like propositioned by a strange photographer and or a guy for some type of photo or shoot video? and or oh whatever? Yes. All the time. Yeah. 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 Look at the hotel. Most of I have yeah. actually yeah. done a show. Tell us, not even good photos, tell us like, on their page. one by one the most cringiest. Oh my uh, god! Thing that happens to you dealing with a photographer real quick. Okay. Yeah. So we'll start here, Nina. I know. I know you got some. Um. So this photographer told me that he wanted to shoot me, and it was at this you know, remote location somewhere Ooh. in Florida. Oh, sure. And I asked him if I could bring someone, of course, my boyfriend, because I didn't feel comfortable being my, there by myself. Yeah. That's kind of like rule of thumb. A girl should never, ever go to a photo shoot by herself, mm -hmm. especially with a stranger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he said, I can't bring anyone. So that was already a super red, red, red flag. flag. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I didn't go. Okay. Uh, where do you want to meet? The Everglades? Or? No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. okay. Somewhere Did you go there? for it? Cool. All right. That's Next. Scary. Did you go for it? No. Okay, red. Oh, sorry. No story. Okay. Um, there was this one time I was just starting off with modeling, and so I was collabing with a lot of photographers, mm -hmm. and they would um, hit me up on my DM, yeah. and I would meet up with them. Um, I had shot before at a hotel room, so I didn't think it was weird that he sent me the location to a hotel. Of course, like Pineapple said, um... <laughs> bring a friend always so i brought a friend when we show up it was like at least a 70 year old man who had bought clothes online from like shein or something oh and a 70 year old man 70 seven zero. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Damn. yeah and it was kind of uncomfortable to get out of that situation i was like i'll let you know like none of this fit me like that's crazy <laughs> yeah. oh my okay God. And, and and he was gonna shoot you for free yeah. For the free free. Okay. They're always the, trying to this, shoot you for free. Yes. Yeah. yeah. This is but the yeah. only opportunity. To build your portfolio. Yeah. But yeah. That that's they what it is for them. Is, that's what yeah. it is for them. But the, have you have you had one? I have been shot and I would say um, Oh, you got talking to look, the mic. Yeah, talking to the mic. Looking back, it was illegal. Abs absolutely. Someone took advantage of me and a couple other like youngins and they did things we should not have done. Like undress ourselves. Yeah. Yeah, oh, wow. it was it was it was not appropriate, absolutely not appropriate. That's crazy. I think for these photographers, this is the only opportunity that they get to be around girls because usually right. they're very weird guys that are and they get excited. Mm -hmm. They can get mm -hmm. excited. Gotcha. Okay, Miss Puerto Rico, <laughs> what about you? Um, nothing too crazy. Um, I finished a shoot. We were outside in New York, so I wasn't too scared to be by myself because it was in the streets but right after he went right up to me and was like can i take you to dinner i would really like to spend some time oh. <laughs> well, let's get I closer like, oh, no. and Good. you said no <laughs> yeah i made him pay me though <laughs> I was like, you're going to pay me the money, and I'm going to go home. Thank you. Well, there you go. You stand your ground. She's about her money. God damn. You don't play. <laughs> Damn, so. Don't offer to pay me and not show up, because 
then we're gonna have a real big problem because now you have photos that I don't have give you permission to keep oh. anymore. Okay. We agreed for you to pay me, and if you don't pay me, then delete the photos right in front of my face. Damn. Solo, tell us a story that you've seen behind the scenes that went down. Oh man, well, yo, yo Nate, can I tell the story? Oh, you know, geez. you know what? Okay, all right, all right. He said it's cool. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm not gonna mention any names, but Michael. <clears throat> Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> but there was a guy who was a, a pretty popular photographer in our city. Mm-hmm. And um, there were, like, allegations made that he had may, may have been inappropriate, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, basically, he had a big following on Instagram, and so he was using his clout to kind of, like, court here's the girls. Like, yo, wow. if you come through, wow. you know, you're going to have to do some booty clapping sounds, you know. Oh, and, shit. And then you, because the... The rate that he was charging, most girls couldn't afford it. It was like 1500 bucks an hour or something crazy like that. Oh, shit. You know, so long story short, um, basically, he got me to um, But for some reason, from what I recently heard, there weren't any charges filed. You know what I'm saying? So he basically, you know, he got off. And this goes to... And I want to say something. Like, to me personally, like... If there are allegations made, right, where girls are showing text messages and they're showing screenshots and stuff, why aren't charges being filed? Because here's the thing. Okay, you publicly embarrass him. He lost his job. But, and I'm not advocating for false allegations, but if if these are real allegations, shouldn't there be charges being filed? Absolutely. Now you got a point there. I think think certain people that have a certain status, Mm -hmm. and even people that have no status, have... And with like, imp- like young women, like young dumb women, no offense, you know, some, you know, nice. just, yeah, naive, yeah, naive women. I'm like dumb. What, what else? Mm-hmm. Um, it's easy to like put a fear in them that like they should just should not. It's like, all right, you got what you wanted, but don't do anything else. I'm not going to like jail for you. I don't think it's thing. dumb. So I think it's, we just do not know. We just do not know. You know what I mean? Like we are disciplined at a young age, but we just do not know what is okay and what is not okay you know what i mean and to for for males to um you know like to have a sense of control over you know what you know what i mean what the fuck? <laughs> I, all i'm saying is that i think fear tactics are used to stop people from pressing charges but but like so in, like okay. in that situation okay yeah. I have a and i will though. can i say something real yeah, quick yeah, yeah. but it that situation made it harder for other black photographers in my city you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and Which i always recommend if you you know you go out to a new photographer yeah, bring a friend. If you yeah. can't bring a friend, that should be a red flag. If he's saying, yo, you're going to be nude and you don't feel comfortable with that, Absolutely. that should be a red flag. But yeah. Yeah. I'm just, it just goes to show that, you know, I'm not saying he's guilty or nor innocent, but some of the girls, let's keep it real, they knew yeah. what it was because, you know, girls talk. Especially in the modeling industry locally. Yeah, yeah. Y'all got the Facebook groups. Y'all got yeah. the Telegram groups, mm-hmm. the Instagram groups. Girls talk. We know each other. So, yeah, exactly. So you know photographers that are legit or not. Yeah. Even in Minneapolis, I know for a fact there's a, a Facebook group where girls talk and say, hey, don't go to that guy because he's a sleazebag. Or mm. go to Solo because Solo will have milk and cookies. He'll fatten you up. But, you know, <laughs> make sure you eat, eat, eat the food thing. after, you know. But yeah. but I'm just saying, like, yeah. you know, people got to understand, like, and, and I'm, I understand, look, I'm not here victim shaming, but my thing is this. If you have allegedly 10 women out, then, then somebody should have pressed something. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. So I'm not, I'm not victim shaming, but it's kind of like, okay, so you, he got fired from his job. That's mm-hmm. it? That's all y'all wanted? Like, because if something really did happen, like. Right. They would have uh, taken. Believe it or not, 9% right. of men get raped by women. Probably because, you know, they met at a club maybe. Maybe he was too drunk. And, you know, he was off that molly. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? You said 9%? Not, yeah, it's about 9%. Mm-hmm. And, but is a man going to call the police and say, hey, I, I got raped by this girl? Yeah, they're going to be like, they're going to be so shameful. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's, wow. a sad, it's a sad reality. Okay. Miss, uh, and, and we got to call it grape, guys. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. Grape, my bad. My bad. Okay, yeah. Miss, grape. Miss, um, grape. <laughs> have you been in that scenario or no? Um, I got invited to. I, I'm not a model. I don't model or anything. Yeah. We're not. I think I have. Sure. <laughs> 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 um, but uh, yeah, I just. Um, I just. I'm not. I. I don't normally do that. But one of my friends had the opportunity to do that for this website, who won't be named, and asked me to come with them. So I went with them, 
and they were like, oh, well, like you should take some photos too, blah, blah, blah. Here's a bunch of clothes. Put some stuff on. We'll take some pictures. And it, you could clearly tell that these clothes had the labels ripped off. I'm like, this is H&M. <laughs> like, what is all this stuff? He's like, oh, it's for our new line. Like, blah, blah. I'm like, I've seen, like, this is so suspicious. They had me sign this release. I didn't sign it. And um, ended up, like, putting out, like, the... Like, it, it was not professional. It was not professionally done. It was done by just some girl in a hotel room. There was, like, two other people there. And they uploaded all these, like, really terrible photos to this Instagram page that I, like, have to untag myself from every time they retag me. Oh. Um, but it was just suspicious. Like, I think, it, I'm pretty sure it's, like, some kind of, like, scam or something. Cause... Damn. Fair enough. Okay, yeah. Miss Social Media, what about you? I wish I could share a story. I don't have any. No problem. Okay. Yeah. All right, Lauren. Sorry about that. Um, it was just really creepy. This one uh, agency reached out to me back uh, in Boca, and they offered me three grand to meet at a location that would be determined, and they would send me the clothing and looks for that what they were going to do. I was like, yeah, okay, right. A couple of days go by. They send me an address. I look at the address. It's a motel. <laughs> Safe to say, I didn't respond. I just blocked them. Yeah, but that's crazy. Don't go to a motel. Yeah, yeah at that point, it's like, uh, <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, no, no. Okay, Bianca, right. what about you? Yes, I have a very interesting story. <laughs> um, yes. so I, I had a, uh, actually gotten approached by. One of my sister's friends that went to the same gym that I went to, and he said that he had a friend that's trying to, like, um, build up his portfolio, portfolio. Um, for videography and stuff like that. And I was like, yeah, like, that works for me because I get content as well. Um, so we had actually gotten in contact with each other, and, well, you know, he reached out to me. And we had met at, like, a Starbucks, and we pretty much... Um, planned our shoot mm -hmm. um, because he said that he likes to have like a script for the shoot so we planned what the shoot was going to look like and you know the outfit that I, that I had in mind and stuff like that um, I always take somebody with me to the photo shoots mm -hmm. however oh shit <laughs> that day my best friends were not available and but I know that he had other girls that were going to be there as mm -hmm. well um, and there were other girls that were there. Let me just make that very clear. Mm -hmm. So we ended up doing um, the photo, sh the video, the video shoot, mm -hmm. and it was weird because when I first got there, he kind of changed the script entirely, mm. and oh, he, no. yeah, <laughs> 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 and get this. He inserted himself into the oh. video, oh, and you know, the script was like, now he's like my couple or whatever for the video, and I didn't like it, but yeah, I kind of like went along with it, I guess. Um, just a couple days later, uh, I wanted the con I wanted the photos that were taken, I wanted the video that was taken, and he said that he had them done, and that he wanted to meet in person. And I was like, well, no, you can send these to me, you know, virtually, virtually, <laughs> yes. And and here are a few options. And I and I gave him a couple options on where he can send that to me with good quality. And he's like, well, you know what? Like, I'm in your area. Let's meet. Yeah, and I was like, okay, Roger you back. know what? Like, Come on. I'm going to give this guy the benefit of the doubt. Oh. We met in front of a Walgreens. Okay, so <laughs> everything is very public. Let me just say that. Um, but we met in, in front of a Walgreens just because I really wanted the content. And let me just say he only sent me, like, three photos. <laughs> and he's like, oh, no, I don't have the rest done. He really just wanted to meet with me to tell me that he really liked my energy and that Ugh. he really liked me and that he wanted to, you know, move forward with Bruh. me. Are you surprised? I hate that I love Are you energy. surprised? I, I was a little surprised um, just because that was my first encounter. And usually when I deal with um, <laughs> photographers or videographers, they're very professional. So I just thought that this was going to be another professional right. um, encounter. It, it, it okay. definitely wasn't. I ignored him after that. We That's never crazy. talked again. That is crazy. Um, crazy. Yeah. And to this day, I've never posted any of his stuff. Good. Don't Even do though it. he tags me. Don't do it. Mm. Okay. okay. Crazy. So we got some super chats here, real quick. This one. Uh, no rev limiter, 50 bucks. UDY doesn't stay at their videos. I used to intern for, intern for them. That's why it takes so long for them to post. 
The videos just show how unloyal women are when a high value man comes around. Oh shit. Also, most high value men don't have to grip women. Okay. There you go. So, so, so they're not fake. Actually, let's finish the video real, real quick, Chris. Go to the very end of it. Yeah, just so we can end it real okay, quick. so we had the set stage. Uh, she met up with him once. Uh, yeah. They went over some Exchange parameters. Numbers. Exchange contact information. He yeah. showed her the Tesla. And you know what I'm saying? What was that? He was handing her the money the last time we were. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Good catch. Good catch. Good catch. Good catch. Good catch. There we go. Okay. Nice polka dot shorts. Horrible outfit. Yeah. Is that like? Is that? Chelsea at the door reiterated to her that Blake was in a very important business meeting that would be over soon, and then proceeded to walking her to the makeup room. Pause. Chelsea. You talk about a girl that walked her in. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. She's pretty man. bad, man. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is now in the makeup room, guys. Rachel has officially walked Chelsea into the makeup room. Oh, right now, Blake will give it like two <laughs> minutes, and then he himself will walk Aww. into the makeup room. And then from there, my friends, whenever you're ready to go, we can just head over there and just trying to fucking compose myself and try to be a fucking gentleman yeah, you know, are you regretting anything right now a little bit because man like i'm gonna fucking flip oh, like, you regret this <laughs> yeah. well damn come with the flowers Good to see damn. you i got you these flowers oh, you. you look gorgeous by the way We'll leave here in like five minutes. I just have to finish up this business deal with this executive. To keep Chelsea seated there, Blake told her that he was just waiting on some final paperwork that he had to sign. This, of course, was so we could give Michael enough time to make his entrance. He's actually a big sponsor guy. So he's gonna like help me get some gigs for possibly you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this fucking plug, man. <laughs> so you're about to walk in there confronting, right? Fucking and what do you think she's gonna say? She's, she's gonna act fucking dumbfounded by all this. That's Wait, exactly what she's gonna fucking pull. Quick. I guarantee you. Yeah. I want to see what what he what she did, bro. Mad. Yeah, I'm a little yeah, confused. Do? I didn't. Like, it doesn't Chris, seem go, like he even did anything wrong. Go back in the middle, real quick. In He's the middle. Heated. I think it's because she accepted to meet with him. Yeah, yeah like, for like, basically. Aww. But it seems but, like it's in an office. Yeah, yeah it's go, not even. They're go not. Go forward a little bit. He handed her the money. Okay, look. Okay, look at that much. Okay. Go back, Chris, a little bit, and you can see from the screenshots. Oh, back, back, back. Oh no, them screenshots. Oh my god. Who is he? Uh, yep. Can we, wait, can we enlarge that? I've never yeah. been there myself. Oh, Maestro's. I oh, damn. Maestro's. Oh, damn. That's, that's so over good. when he takes your girl to Maestro's. Yeah. <laughs> maestro's. That's, oh, that's what Chris, you did. Chris, Chris, go back a little, a little bit more, <laughs> and then he's going to say what he did in the text anyway, so let's just um, play it from him a little bit. Yeah. For those of you who are... <laughs> Blake ended up asking Chelsea to a dinner date at Mastro's. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Mastro's, don't worry, you're not alone. I've never been there myself, but it's pretty much just a high-end steakhouse in Beverly Hills. Now, Chelsea's response to Blake's offer was interesting, to say the least. But in the end, she ultimately agreed to Blake's invitation. Feel free to pause the video if you guys want to read it word for word. But after receiving the screenshots, I ended up sending them over to Michael and invited him to come over to gather his thoughts and to see if he still wanted to move on to phase number three. Now, Chelsea's response to Blake's... On one of them, it uh, right here. Yeah, um, I like that. So I she's mean. like, you know, tell, tell him I'm going on a date, and then she's Ooh. like trying to like confess herself that you know, it's okay. So. You'll notice how it, he's sending like the long ass exactly. text messages. Yeah, that's right. Well, yeah. not to like, call it a date. Then. That's not why I said who's texting that much. Jeez. That's not normal. Someone's yeah, Chelsea's not as interested Thirsty. as the other. She's like, but she could have just been straightforward. It's not a date. This is professional. What'd you say? End I don't think she date. wanted. I feel like she was afraid she would lose the opportunity. <laughs> mm. she, the you know what I'm saying? She's doing the soft sell of herself. Okay. Yeah, but if you can't bring your man, it's not an opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've had this, Wait, so, this has happened hold on. so many times. Because think about this, right? Everyone. Remember Drake? Yeah. Drake flew that the singer, uh, I think Sharon, and her oh, man yeah. to yeah. the, the, the uh, Caribbean island. Wow. And she still cheated on him. So I'm just saying, <laughs> man or not, things can happen. Yeah, but that's Drake. Is he dumb? Those are <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you can skip a little bit more. So she kind of said to go on a date. Okay, cool. All right, um, so are, are we going to fast forward to this part? Yeah, perfect. All right. Thank you. Say, you got the single car. Yeah. Yeah, because that fucking parking man is shitty. Whenever you're ready then, Michael. Fuck it, just, man. Let's go. And here we go. <laughs> My man said, fuck it. He looks so excited to make the car. <laughs> So with That's phase number three on the verge of completion, I want to take this time to remind you guys to smash that like button if you're enjoying this video. If we can get 100,000 likes, we're going to be giving away some of our new fire... This sh Oh shit, here we go. Uh oh. Oh, oh shit. shit. Look at how he walks. What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Like, what the fuck? Are you fucking serious right now? 
Are you fucking shitting me right now? The emoji. What does it fucking look like? Why do you think I'm here? You fucking traded me in for a steak dinner. That's why I'm recording you. This is actually. What does it mean? You're fucking cheating on me. I just fucking caught you. Yeah, yeah. By sitting here and talking, that's cheating. Wake the fuck up. One camera, two camera. This is a fucking setup. Everything you're spewing to me is fucking bullshit. It means you're a fucking cheater. That's exactly what it means. How am I a cheater? What have I done? What have you done? What have I done? What have, honey, I fucking know everything. You are going on a fucking date with him. Come on. This isn't a date. I'm just trying to get started on his agency. Jesse, I don't know who you're trying to fucking bullshit here, kid. Seriously. I fucking know everything. Don't make me fucking lose my shit. Do not make me lose my fucking shit. This wasn't a fucking. You're full of fucking shit. You're bullshitting me. Really? New York? Just a business yeah. meeting? Oh. Uh, <laughs> he's what? His talent agency? Yeah, he's a talent agency. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, not actually a talent agency. <laughs> 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 oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Holy shit. This, this entire thing, Chelsea, was a, di uh, was, was, was a test. Michael and Blake have actually been working together to help Michael find out if you would or wouldn't end up staying loyal to him. And so we actually had Blake smile. pretend to be a talent manager. We had him pretend to want to sign. He, yeah, he doesn't have yeah, an agency. This is, yeah, not mine. This is not his production studio. This location is actually rented out and stuff. The location where you were taking the photo shoots <laughs> with the shirts, oh, that was man. not real. Yeah, I know. I'm a fucking mastermind, huh? <laughs> really? <laughs> For what? You're a fucking cheating bitch and you fucking know it. Oh, no. Yes, you're right, a fucking so, cheater. Uh, pause you it. fucking traded me up. All right, man, this guy has the, the, the best Boston accent I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. This from Massachusetts 100%. Um, okay. So okay, cool. Uh, that was uh, that was pretty funny, man. Um, <laughs> so, I think or not, that was uh, that was hilariously entertaining. That was uh, great. All right. So, <laughs> if it was, was real, great. take note of how she was dressed as yeah. well, because I think she was dressed extremely modest. Skirt she was. over the knee, high neck. You know what I'm saying? Oh, she was. Stockings. Stockings and like. Good point. You know, what, you know what I'm saying? But also, like, I think his reaction. He could have been a little bit calmer. He yeah. was like, "This is inappropriate," but instead, he's like, "You're fucking." Like he ran in on them. Doing he kind of looks stupid. That's he did true. look kind of yeah. dumb. I know, like, uh, in that scenario, sorry, you know what, ladies, you go first. You go first. Yeah, yeah, let's let, yeah, let's let the uh, ladies weigh in on it. Um, uh, now that we know whether it's staged or not, I mean, yeah. I, I don't know, man. I, because I can lie, bro. They take a while to post videos. Yeah, dude. So if it was fake, they could, but dude, I'm telling you right, right now, I did pranks, right? Go take the pranks. Nigga, if, if, when, you, when you fake that shit, you could do it right away like that. That's yeah. true. They take months to post their videos. So in my, in my opinion, if it's if it's fake and they take that long, I'm like, why? And not what? only that, what? but like if if it was fake and they were purporting it to be real, like they would have been exposed by now, and Facts. people would have been like had to cancel. And also, he stuttered all during shit. the video. If it was if this was fake, he just like cut it and then not started. Yeah. So was, I don't know. Anyway, oh. let's let's get the let's get the ladies' reactions anyway. Yeah. Um. All right. So we'll start with the uh, Bianca or pineapple. Who would we start with? Pineapple. <laughs> well, who, who went last last? Okay, was... Bianca went last last time. So yeah, pineapple. Here go. Uh, <laughs> okay, I think that. Nowadays, everybody's trying to make it so bad that they'll do whatever it takes to be in an opportunistic situation, even mm -hmm. if it means low-key cheating. Because it is low-key cheating being in a, in a room full of men and not letting your man know what's going on. So I do mm -hmm. think that she was low-key cheating. And one thing leads to another, especially yep. in that scenario. Absolutely. Okay. So, yeah, she's Please not present all. the opportunity to me again. Refresh my memory. Huh? What's going on? What are what we? What are we asking? Please <laughs> refresh my memory. Um, were you present the past? I I, I 20, was. 30 minutes. Re re refresh my memory. Oh, she lit lit. Yeah, I, she's. I, yeah. I was. I was. She's. You lit lit. Presenting with the opportunity, but like. Come on. A woman. A woman went to an agency. No, we're just gonna move on to the next okay. person. Red. Do, oh, just, what do you oh, feel about the situation? It? Oh, okay, okay. Thoughts. Do. You, oh, no, okay. Go ahead. Want, okay. Um. <laughs> no, yeah, I agree with pineapple. Um. Us women and overall everybody, they're just looking for a little clout, opportunities, something. Yeah. And it's pretty easy to fall into that situation. You just got to understand. I, I don't know. I feel like she was set up. Like She was. Yeah. Well, yeah I know, but like in a, in a I way she was that tested. Like, I don't yes. know. Ooh. I like that word, tested. Because think about yeah. this. Would you do that to your man? I would let him know where I'm going and whom she, she I'm... She didn't let him know. I mean, I guess, yeah. You're right. Did no, she not? not right. Like, I'm just saying. She also went to dinner and didn't say anything to her man. Ooh. But weren't they just friends on the trust? No, I think they were. Hold on, hold on. Ladies, uh, each one at a time, Depends. one at a time, one at a time. One at a time. Because I don't want anyone's, uh, it, you know, <laughs> I guess, uh, 
opinions, opinions be influenced. Just, yeah. Influenced. yeah. So, so uh, you, so you think she was uh, not in the wrong? No, no, no. I think she was in the wrong if she didn't let her boyfriend know that she was going out. Okay. No, but she like, didn't tell him though. Oh, just just so you know, cool. she All didn't right. tell him. Puerto Rico. Miss, yeah. Well, if that's true, then I do believe she's in the wrong. But I do feel like sometimes people have business meetings at restaurants. Mm -hmm. And if he's over here renting a Tesla for a photo shoot, why can't he afford to have a business dinner at this restaurant? Right. Mm. But it again, if she didn't tell him, then yeah, she didn't yeah. tell him. Would you do that to your man? Um, I would let him know where I'm going. But to me, it would be a business dinner. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Right. And I would let the other person yeah. know too, yeah. yeah. Okay, so go ahead. What do you no, thought? I I agree. I I didn't know. I didn't I didn't see the part where it said she didn't tell him. Oh, yeah, like yeah. I'm I'm doing a business meeting or I'm going to this photo shoot um, tonight with this person. Yeah. Also, she was in a room with one man and a woman. I don't think she was when you were like, oh, a room full of men. Yeah, that's weird. But she was. There was just one guy. Um, but yeah, if she didn't tell her man. That's disrespectful. You just gotta. It's just. Just respect. Be honest. Yeah, yeah, it's just respect. And okay. she had flowers too, and she's like, "Oh, it's but a she, lot of day. she was just like, yeah. but he gave. She, I'm yeah, sure she, she didn't expect it, yeah. to get those flowers. <laughs> yeah. she, and he, then he her man walks in, she's like, "Fuck." He, like, did, yeah. <laughs> she's he, did, like, he did give oh, it to her. So it was a date. Know. So you know, you never know. You might get some flowers. Okay, Miss Social Media. Um, when I see this, I always think like, "Oh well, what if it was done to me? And if this was done to me, I'd be freaking pissed. If a guy went and did not tell me and went with a woman to a nice restaurant like that for a." business meeting i'd be pissed hell yeah she's okay. wrong cool yeah all right miss lauren in the world of business there's a lot of crazy people before you go into any scenario you have to do your research on who you're dealing with mm -hmm. i have never gone to a business meeting with any male associates before i'm looking them up on google or doing anything yeah. and when it comes to if i'm with a man at the time he's going to know a b c d e f g of everything in the situation because i value his opinion mm -hmm. on it and there was just way too many red flags. I would have never done any of that. Absolutely. It was all ridiculous. Yeah. So how was she going to go to a reputable agency and mm. she'd even Google them? <laughs> Come oh, on. Yeah, right. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Yo, Smart. the chat is spamming her Instagram. So you can get some DMs and post some dick pics too. Yep, there you go. I just want a husband. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay, Bianca. <laughs> um, okay, so a couple things. Holla. Holla. You got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> keep it short. Oh, okay. Um no, go ahead, so go ahead, go ahead. anything that has to do with business, um if you the business meetings that I have been on, let me just say that it's never at night and it's never dinner. It's always either um lunch or like coffee. Um also the text messages super inappropriate. When it comes down to business, you're talking to me strictly only business mm -hmm. and that is it. And the fact that she didn't tell her man about any of this is also another red flag. Boom. Mm -hmm. Red That's flag. It, yeah. boom, boom. Solo, what's your opinion on this, brother? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean, you see this in the industry. I mean, this is hypergamy in action. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And the reality is, like, I, I got to keep it real. Sometimes it's the girls pushing up on the photographers or the videographers. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people don't realize this, but in the fashion industry, number one, there's some beautiful women there, but they're hella insecure, bro. Mm. And when they see another girl getting some shine or clout or whatever, they're like, well, what does she got that I don't got? Because girls might be like, oh, oh, you look cute, blah, blah, blah. But in their heads, they're thinking, mm. oh, she's ugly. Why is she wearing that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, real talk. Like, It's fake. It's true. It is and, so and the reality is Why like. Why even say a comment anyway? Yeah, but but why? that but girls do that though. I know. Yeah, you know it's, what I'm it's saying? It's so calculated and sickening. Yeah. It's and like why just lift each other up? That's what our issue is in this world. Is that women keep putting each insecure. other down? It's we are weak. Look at us. But but see, a lot are. of people don't realize. But women are hella competitive, yeah. especially. Yes. I yeah. Mean, we have yeah. to be yes. to get the high caliber men that we want. It's dog eat dog yeah. world. Absolutely. Yeah. You know. Not only that, the the high caliber men are rare. Versus beauty is common. Yep, true. You know Do you guys saying? find it unattractive when you hear other women putting other women down? Like as a man, are you like, oh, that's not a good look for you? That's Don't be doing that. It's just common though. Like, like and I already it's know. So common. Here's the thing, ladies. Like, like the things that like it's funny because women put each other down more than men do. Like, like men don't put women down. We don't really because men are like th there's consequences if you talk shit about women as a guy. You'll get canceled. People are gonna shame you. You're insecure. Whatever. Yeah. So honestly, most of the time when women get 
slut shamed when they're uh, insulted or they're other talk women. shit about other women. It's other women, man. A lot of the yeah. times, yeah, of course. It's, it's not men. Men ain't slut shaming chicks. Like we're not over here to, to slut shame girls. Like we just mm. tell you guys that there's consequences of being promiscuous. But we love promiscuous girls. We Hell love yeah, it. every single. But day. it's girls that shit on at. each other because. Every time, uh, if, if a girl talks shit about another girl, nine out of ten times, she's going to attack her sexuality. That's the way yeah. that, because women yeah. know deep down that the more men you have sex with, the more you lower your value. So what she's doing is when she says, oh, she's a slut, you shouldn't take her seriously. What she's basically saying is that this woman is not going to be a good investment for you as a man, as a mother, or for you to put your resources into pick me instead. I'm more modest. I am a better woman in general because women know deep down that your value is derived from your sexuality and you know your chastity and but, shit but so on another words. note yeah, sometimes ahead. a girl might bad mouth another girl because she might feel deep inside that girl is prettier than her mm-hmm. but yep. to tarnish yep. her reputation you saw this shit yeah. in high school Judge. college all the time yeah. Yeah. to tarnish her she'll say oh she's a thought or yeah. right. back in the day it used to be bust down yep. so, you know what I'm that's, the, that's the number one way like if a girl knows another chick is prettier than her and gets more attention that's the number one way she's gonna attack her she'll be like she's a hoe don't take her seriously, whatever. You know what I mean? Because they know. But do you, you find you, that unattractive? Like, when you hear that, are you like, well, this girl that I'm with it keeps talking shit about this other girl and puts her down? I don't find that attractive. I'm going well, to, oh, oh, like a woman insulting another woman? Yeah, yeah. Right in front of you. And if you know the woman, if you don't know the woman, whatever I'll, the case may be. I'll be honest, I really, I really don't care. Uh, uh, just, just because, like, men don't for, care about for this. Me, <laughs> for me, I'm just wondering. For me, it's kind of like, okay, if I see a chick and she's attractive, I'm going to go with awful looks. But when it comes to like my friends and my people, I'm gonna see how you react to them. A random girl on the street, I don't know what happened there. I'm not gonna get into that, into that yeah. argument. So I, I really don't care. But mm-hmm. if it's my my sister, my family, then we got a problem. Yeah, the okay. truth is this, ladies. Yeah. Um, men are not influenced uh, as yeah. much in their sexual decisions as women are. I'll give you guys an example. If you guys are out at the club, right, with your girls, and you guys are out having a girls' night out, whatever, and a cute guy approaches you and he talks to you and he asks you for a number. Right, you might like him originally, but if your girlfriends tell you, "Oh no, he's a fucking mm-hmm. piece of shit, he's That's a loser," blah blah blah, yeah. you're gonna be heavily influenced by what your girlfriends tell you. Therefore, the cock block will come. Done, <laughs> right? That guy is immediately disqualified as a candidate. <laughs> Men don't operate that way, though. If a, if a girl comes up to you and talks to you, um, you're not really worried about what your friends think or whatever it is. Like, hey, you're gonna bail on us, whatever. You're just gonna leave with that girl. Men, when it comes to like sexuality, men make their decisions on their own. They don't really need the the hive mind to be able to make a, a decision on the opposite gender. But women do. You guys a lot of the time need a cosign from your girlfriends to be able to make a decision on a guy. And I get it. Like, it takes more investment. You want to be able to get the collective decision, use it, bounce it off ideas, whatever. Because you know, sex is way more risky for you guys. But men don't operate that way. So to answer your question. Um, if a girl bad mouths me about another girl that I already am fucking with or I like, I'm like, you're just a dumb hoe. I don't care what you got to say. Right. Yeah. But, but women, I can see where you're coming from. Women will take that into account because women are hive minded in general, like they're collectivists. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like not sound like an asshole, but women tend to be more communitarian than men are. So for you guys, it does matter. That's why I always tell yeah. guys, if you're going to talk to a girl, right, that's with a group of friends, you need to win the friends over too, because even yeah. if that girl likes you, you got to. she's going to, or, um, her friends are going to heavily influence if she's going to deal with you or not. Yeah. No matter how much she likes you, women care a lot about what their people think because no girl wants to get shamed the next day at brunch. Where were uh, you at? You were going fucking that guy, you dumb hoe? Like, they, they don't want to get shamed like that. Yeah, I disagree. So, I feel like I, if yeah. a man fucks someone who is deemed not cute, you will be shamed by your friends. Tell me you're yeah, not going to get, like, when you're when you're in the group chat, it's like, oh, bro, he fucked, like, so-and-so. Like, she's, she's so You're conflating fucking. a man having sex with a man uh, taking girls seriously and giving her a relationship. Yeah, here's the no, thing, I'm right? talking about, like, you just said well, that you're going to no. show up to brunch tomorrow. But, it's like, oh, you went home, like, you don't know. I think you look better if you, if you mess with a... Uh, Hot or hoe? Is that what Men you're doing? Okay. They say, "Hey, you got her okay. pants." No, let her finish. 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 And if you told me it's not, I've seen group chats. Thank I know what, I know what the fuck Boys you guys talk, are talking about. Guys unless talk. you guys just don't ever talk. Always. Ever. You know what I'm saying? Always. Also, something you said earlier, I just wanted to like grab out before I forget. Yeah, sure. You said a woman would be would want to be like, oh, pick me instead of her because I'm a higher value woman. You use the word pick me. Do you know what a pick me is? Have you heard that term before? It's yeah. when women basically try to, to uh, how do I say this? A pick me girl. Yeah, pick, yeah, like appease yeah. men. Is yeah. that is that the, I feel like that would be the kind of woman that you would go for, like a woman that kind of just agrees with whatever you say and doesn't really disagree, even if you know that they have other beliefs, but they're doing that to appease you. 
Does that like the code okay? So uh, let me answer the first. Uh, yeah. The, so, so, so the first thing. So you were saying that uh, guys will make fun of each other the next day. No, I'm saying like they'll talk about it. You're like, no, oh, no, like you no, need your. I don't need no, my friends' permission. The, the to, point like, is this. The, the, what I'm trying to say is that, like, your guy friends' opinions are not going to influence whether you have sex with the girl or not. You're gonna do it mm -hmm. regardless, regardless of what they say. Like, and then just men, deal with the consequences. And, 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 and here's the thing. And if she's hair. hot, yeah. and if she's hot. They're gonna give you a. Uh, uh, they're gonna give you a high five. If she's ugly, they'll clown you. But it ain't gonna matter. <laughs> yeah. But like, what I'm trying to say is that, like, a group of guys goes out and he finds a girl. He's not gonna check with the guys. But like, yo, I like this girl. I'm gonna leave with her. Or whatever. He just leaves. It is what it is. And the guys aren't gonna shame him for it. With the women, however, like they if won't she let leaves, her leave. Yeah, yeah. They won't let her leave. Okay, that makes. And then, sense. and then, the, and not only that, well, not only I'll take it a step further. Not only will they want her to not leave, they will shame her if she actually does leave and fuck that guy. You bailed on us for some random dick? Yeah. Oh, at brunch the next day. So girls don't want to deal with that bullshit, so they're just not going to fuck the guy. They're going to go back with their girlfriends because they don't want to deal with the drama. Because girls know, yeah. when you go on a girl's trip with like three, four, five guy girls, it's going to be like a lot of cattiness, a lot of bullshit, whatever. This is why so many women travel alone nowadays. I, I know how, I'd be studying you women. You guys be <laughs> traveling alone a lot, so you don't have to deal with the shaming and, and, and the, you know, and the slut shaming and everything from your female friends. So that that's the difference between men and women. Men don't need the, the 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 hive to agree before they make a sexual decision. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they might have a group chat laughing at them after, but the point is that he's not going to not do what he wants to do based because off of what the guys say. But women will 100% not do something that they want to do based off of what their friends say. Um, and then to address the other thing about pick me, mm -hmm. um, it's not that uh, men like pick me girls. It's just that women that w women that are more agreeable are far more it's attractive subservient. to men. Yeah, because whether women want to accept it or not, uh, women, uh, when they're in a submissive role in serving a man, that's just the way things work best. It doesn't work the other way around. Men lead, women follow. And I know women hate to hearing that word submit and serve a man or whatever it may be. But the thing is this, if you serve your man, right, and he does better, if you help your man grow, you're going to grow too. Because if you help him build his empire, then you're going to win alongside it. But it never works the other way around. If a woman builds her empire, well, and you're following her, well, she's going to find a man that she can actually follow because women aren't built to lead, period. There's no matriarchy that's existed to, 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 through this, uh, you know, time. There hasn't. It's always been a patriarchy. And that's not to say that men are better than women. It's just that men are better at certain things. And leadership tends to be one of them. So, you know, there's a reason why if a woman, a common woman, marries a king, she becomes a queen. But it doesn't go the other way around where if a queen marries a dude, he becomes a king. No, he just becomes the dude that married the queen. And as a matter of fact, the queen ain't even going to look at the regular dude because women aren't <laughs> wired to look at men that are below them. Men, women only look at least at peer level, if not higher. Have you have you not seen the Princess Diaries? <laughs> okay, that is, that, is, that is fictional, right? <laughs> so so yeah, even Aladdin couldn't couldn't uh, couldn't get uh, Jasmine until he became a sultan himself. So what were you saying? Uh, hey, shout out to my mom. Hey, hey. She's she's watching. I just Whoa. saw someone talk hey, to her. Hey, hey Marianne. Hey, shout out Marianne. to your mom. Hey, Marianne. <laughs> <laughs> but but that, does that kind of like make sense? Like how men don't really need like That's a co-sign from their That's amazing that voice? you made that Disney I, I do, I, yeah. I do agree with that. I think that, that that has to do with like the kind of friends you keep. Right. Um, because yeah. it's not all friend groups. Mm -hmm. Although it probably with is With women most. or men? With women. I do believe it's oh, probably yeah, 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 most. Yeah. But yeah. I, I don't think it's all. Especially in Florida. Especially down here. I also think too, like when a girl tells me, "Oh, he's not good for you," I will do whatever it takes to prove her wrong. Sorry, I will. Oh, really? Yeah. I, if it is my best friend telling me he's not right for you, sorry, I know deep inside he. Might, uh, I don't know, but if I know his true self, <laughs> I, I would oh probably prove her wrong. I, that would be my goal to be like, "No, you don't know what you're yeah, talking about." Yeah, but that's about. that's that's assuming. Mm -hmm. See, I love how like there's so many things in play. Like that's assuming she's your best friend. That's assuming you know the guy well enough. I'm saying this. Right. If, like if you stranger. take a girl's trip. <laughs> To but Vegas. This is why I tell men all the time on this podcast, there's a group of girls, bachelor party, whatever, 10 girls, whatever. Don't even bother going out to talk to them because let's say even if the girl is that you like is feeling you, someone in that group is going to be a fucking uh, mama bear or going to be a cock block and she's going to say, oh, no, no. And what's going to happen is even if she likes you, she doesn't have enough investment for meeting you at the club or whatever to leave with you. She might, She's going to go with her friends because she doesn't want to get shamed the next day. Unless you know your game is size, some girls may leave with you, but the thing is this, the friends are always going to override the attraction to the guy. 
Oh, yeah. see, I got Almost good friends. Always. They said, go do your yeah, thing, girl. Same. I was like, but that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's assuming girl. best case scenario that the friends enable it. Sometimes they don't. I don't give a shit what they say. I'm going to do what I want to do. Okay, but you're one of the you're, rare ones. You're, that, you're, you're an anomaly. You're an anomaly. Most Literally, girls don't two, wanna... two weeks ago, I had a guy come over that they all don't like. I don't give a shit. I that's like you, that's I you, told though. him two that's days later. Most women You're speaking generally. I get it. I'm an outlier. Most women don't want to go with that. You play video games. You know what's funny? In the club, right? To get over that To get over that problem. Make sure you're with a certain amount of guys that can match the amount of girls. That way, when you go talk to girls, no one feels left out. Yeah, they, can be when you feel left too, out, yeah. they will cock block all the time. Yeah, yeah. girls yeah. feel left out. That's another thing. Like they'll cock block sometimes yeah. just because they're not getting attention. Actually, me, me and Fresh was was in the same uh, <laughs> situation like last week, right? Yeah, it was me and you, and we had like seven girls. Yeah, seven and then, girls with us. Then we had to go through the whole process. You know, go. <laughs> you got because you got to play the, the game and talk to each girl and make them feel special. Because if you don't, yeah, you be like, what uh, time is it? It's time nah, to go home, girl. girl let's go. Yeah. So you gotta play the game to make sure everybody feels comfortable. Yeah, man. So that's that's what it is. But like, yeah, yeah. you're an anomaly. Most women aren't gonna de- want to like, deal with that I confrontation. Get it. Girlfriends after. are good, right? I I have fewer because I'm looking for a lifetime partner, and I'm not gonna let external influences. Mm-hmm. Get in the way. Yeah, that's yeah. good. That's good. Yeah. Absolutely, that's good. Yeah. But uh, yeah. most, yeah. most girls don't. Yeah, most girls. Can I say that I'm like the, the most girls though? <laughs> because if I'm I'm oh, talking. Okay, okay. I was like looking like okay. Who's <laughs> 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 Can can I say that if I if I'm if I'm looking at a guy and I'm like oh my god like he's really cute and my friend says oh but like he has big ears or something like that I'll be like oh my god it's I didn't right. notice he does have big ears <laughs> oh, I hate that and yeah. then that's it yeah. as okay. women I, I, I will be very what? honest with that yeah right, so, so thank you Bianca, for being honest about thank it thank you <laughs> the friend almost soldier fifty bucks. I'm sorry, but that story was long. <laughs> Get to the point where you lose your uncle Ben Roy already. Yeah, okay. Me? Yeah, oh it was, was, was kind of long. Uh, King Chris, 50 bucks. <laughs> Shout out to Myron Gaines, Fresh Prince CEO, Chris Progson, and Trey. 500k party on the way soon. My dude sold TV at 84 in the, in the house again. Get this translator crypto course. Great value. Shiba Inu and Safe Moon to the Moon. Thank you. Go Shiba. And Shabba Hussein, 50 bucks. Shorty sitting on the left hand side with the curly hair and a white shirt is goddamn beautiful. Yo. Red. Aww. There you go. Yeah. 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 What's, your, what's your Instagram? It's she ain't gonna respond though. No, she ain't gonna respond. Oh, you wanna respond? <laughs> she ain't looking. What? What you mean? She ain't looking. She ain't looking, <laughs> right? Beautiful. What? What's I your, said thank you. Yeah. What's, your, what's your Instagram? You don't need to be a stay dog. What? <laughs> Huh? What's your Insta? Right, no, okay, man. my Instagram is divinely red. I'm sorry, there were like two different conversations. Going cool. On. Uh, Kaylin Graham, fifty bucks. <laughs> Off topic. Just clarifying. Blue Top said earlier to zoom in on my picture. Myron said it's probably an avatar. So my previous comment was saying that it's my real picture. Thank oh. you so much for the thank you so much for the tip, and also thank you so much for clarifying. I might need you to do that one more time because I still don't really. One more time to her cash. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah, that's, that's okay. So yeah. hey, uh, he changed it. Did you change it? He did. He yeah. changed, he changed, changed it. it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't. No, it was different. It was like green. That's probably the same one. Yeah, I think I think that was it. So, all right, ladies, we'll let you grill us now. Um, so, you got a question for us? I have a question. Um, okay, well, hold on. Bianca, do you have something one first or no? Uh, I'm going to sit on it and think about You're it. You're going to cool. sit? Okay, <laughs> all right. go ahead. Would you ever pay? Would you ever oh. go on seeking arrangements and pay for the shine? The shine. The shine? Oh, would you pay? She means she means she, would she's you go on the vagine. She's using a poor ad term. <laughs> yeah. Would I you mean, go on some arrangements or have and, you? and, and I mean, be a sugar dad in some way or, or try to proposition someone I like directly? I would tell guys to go on seeking arrangements because you're, uh, you, they're on that site. You have a high perceived value, but I'll say don't pay. So what you and do let's is just call it essay. But I'm asking if you have done it. Essay. Essay. Call it essay. I'm asking if you guys have done it. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, never. I ne- <laughs> no. Oh, have, we, have we ever paid? Have I you ever, never paid. I've done Bumble Premium though. She's asking if you pay for box. Yeah, for the oh no. Yeah. Because yeah. I hear people always say like, I would never pay for that. But then I, 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 I see mean, them. If, I mean, are we talking? Is it include dinner? No, no, no. Like, like you, you saw a girl online. You pay for. Hey, hey, you know what? Come over and smash for like some money. Would you ever do that? You no, could literally no. just buy a pocket cat. Yeah, pocket oh my God. poon. Oh. Pocket poon. Oh. <laughs> no on sale. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Adam and Eve. Oh, I have a question. So, all <laughs> that's right. So, uh, that's, that's such so I guess it, the fresh, you want to tackle it first. So, you want to tackle it first? Why you don't pay for box? I mean, here's the thing. Like, yeah. the tons of girls that are horny that are willing to do it for free, bro. Like, mm-hmm. you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, oh. if you're not meeting them <laughs> in the field, right, that's obviously with what's going on. I mean, there are tons of girls on these dating apps. And even, bro, at the end of 2019, 2020, I was going through a tear on Hinge, bro. Like, the the situation, the the, the beer thing mm-hmm. slowed it down. But 
You know, I mean, it it really like I don't know, like imagine just like you know the wine by the bed, and then you pull out your wallet and like here you go, here's your three. <laughs> like, there really? we go. You know what I'm it's, it's strange. It's definitely strange. strange. See, for me, like if I don't have that uh, genuine burning desire from a girl, I'm not even into it because it, think about this, right? I've seen guys pay for it, and like they come out and it's like they've lost their. It's kind of like they come out and they're like, damn. <laughs> I just pay money for something that I shouldn't have. And my, my thing is, like, solo, if I can get it for free, why am I going to pay for it? What's and that it, saying? It's like, why have the cow when you can get the milk? For there you go. But the biggest thing here is that, like, when guys resort to paying, they kind of, like, how to put, how to, how to put this? They, lo- they lose themselves because, once again, you depend now on your money to lead the way to get sex. And at that point, it's like a dark hole that you go into. And what mm-hmm. happens is, if you go down that uh, path long enough, one, you start to resent women. Because now you're just paying for your carnal desire. And two, you see women as objects, literally. Mm-hmm. I mean, we do anyway, literally. but it's a whole new level of like an object. Mm-hmm. So now, respect for your family, your, your your siblings, your girlfriend, it's not even there anymore. So exactly. I just feel like at some point, you got to say, hey, you know what? Let me st- let me step my game up. Maybe level up in life with finances, uh, mindset, uh, maybe fitness as well. Because I'm telling you, it's better to attract than chase, right? So when you when you are uh, working yourself as a mm-hmm. man, you're going to attract goes to you. And by default, it'll be for free. In terms of like, when I say free, I mean, it turns out you're not paying for it directly, but you pay for like dates, whatever. But the mm-hmm. point is that if guys pay for box, it's a dark hole that you go under, and at that point, you lose. So, yeah, I agree. yeah, uh, yeah. I, we did a full episode yeah. on it on, on why you shouldn't on why you shouldn't pay. Yeah, oh, I didn't uh, see. I'm sorry. Yeah, we did a I'm no, so sorry. That's, that's fine. We did it a couple weeks ago. Yeah, but like, I mean, long story short, like I agree with what Fresh said. It, it puts you in a very bad spot as a man when you pay for box and you start to resent resent and hate women because you see the dark side of them. Yep. So. It is what it is. I say don't do it, but I know a lot of guys do it. They might not admit it, but a lot of men do it because I'm going to keep a stack with you guys. A lot of women are very difficult to deal with. Yeah. And uh, they just, they're not paying you for sex. They're paying you for to leave, quite frankly. And look, so uh, that's what it is. A lot of guys do it. And also, but, a, lot, a lot of guys that have money, they'll pay for it because their time to them is important. Yeah. Now, in my, in my humble opinion, if you're rich, you can get it for free. But hey, you know what? Yeah. My power to you, bro. Yeah. A lot of guys pay to not deal with the bullshit, man. Because it, it is whether yeah. uh, women don't. Just uh, let me go around the room real quick and ask this. I think I asked this, sir. Yeah, you you guys know that might have been on the show, but I just want to know real fast. Uh, what percentage of men do you think are sexually active with women? Oh, 25. Oh, 27. 27? Oh, yeah. 65. 65? Okay. Yeah, because we're the gatekeepers. <laughs> Miss, uh, in the 20s. In the 20s. Okay, you guys probably did some studying. Yeah, only only <laughs> about only about 10, 10 to 20% of men are having sex with like 80, 90% of the girls. Mm. So a lot of guys, uh, think about it, like, there wouldn't be an, no offense to you. There wouldn't be an OnlyFans industry. There wouldn't be mm-hmm. um, there wouldn't be pornography. There wouldn't be all these industries designed right to sell female sexuality because it's very difficult for men to get laid. So you know some guys pay for it, but you know we tell guys not not to do it. It's in your best interest to just, just self improve, learn the game, and learn how to get it on your own. But when you pay for it, you know it is what it is. I and, get a lot of guys do it. And the, yeah. sugar, the sugar industry is booming. I actually find it kind of fascinating because um, yeah, a lot of sh- it just yeah. shows how much power you have with money. Yep. And how much women are in need of money that they will resort to some things. Which I don't mind, Facts. but hey, it's what it is. Um, All right. Uh, next question. I have, okay. I have a question. Okay. Super, super uh, chats? Who, okay. Super, uh, oh, no. uh, we have the one. That's it. We just oh, got one. one. So, so let's uh, go back to who's, who's uh, well, uh, I think, Bianca uh, still has it. Lauren, you got some? Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead. Because we're going to we're gonna oh, go back around this way. Okay. No, yeah. well, no, I have a question. question. Oh, go ahead. Go first. Go ahead. No, 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 but she could go first. Oh, she could go first. Okay. 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 Because, we're, yeah, we're just trying to go in order. Like, cool. that's yeah. why. So, yeah, Bianca, go ahead. ahead. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so I want to know, what do guys uh, look for in someone that they can consider being a wife? Or, like, what sets a girl apart from somebody that I just want to fuck versus somebody that I want to date Great or question. marry? Great Damn, that's a good question. Yeah, so Great you question. go first, Solo. I mean, you know, if you just want to smash, it's somebody that looks good or depending on how horny you are, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Um, but to be like a wife or, or girlfriend, I, I think the biggest thing that most women lack nowadays is like loyalty. Like, you know what I'm saying? That like being loyal, you know, like Myron always says, back in the day, women got married because of being virgins. Right now, I'm not saying, yo, she's got to be a virgin, but that was a big thing back in the day. And now it's like it doesn't matter. She can have 100 bodies and she's still going to get wifed up, you know, or hubbied up. Um, but I think loyalty is number one. Somebody who is able to raise your children the way that you want to, you know, them to be raised. Somebody who, um, you know, is able to communicate in a healthy manner. A lot of 
modern women nowadays that like to gaslight a lot. Now, I'm not saying y'all, but I'm just saying um, somebody who's mentally healthy, man. A lot of narcissism and entitlement yeah. going around. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. so, like, that mental health, you know, can we meditate together? You know what I'm saying? Can <laughs> I we love that. Drink yeah. some tea, you know what I'm saying? Let's Without, humble each other. Yeah. Oh, um, but somebody yeah. who, you know, is going to add on positively to your life instead of trying to be combative or just create chaos. Mm. You know? okay. So Enjoy. just so. to, I just want to ask him a question now mm -hmm. regarding what you just said. Um, now this is getting to know somebody and oh. that's why you want to have, but what about initial? Beginning stages. I well, guess. well, beginning. Do you want to just mess around with all the girls until you get to know them and then you want to wife them up? Or do you see something automatic? I mean, it, it really depends on the situation. Like, okay. you know, I mean, obviously, um, you know, I'm not big on trying to talk on the phone. I know that's the thing, texting and, you know, Snapchatting and Instagramming. My goal is, yo, I'm trying to get you face to face. Like, I'm trying to see what's the energy like. Is there synergy or yeah. is there opposite energy? You know what I'm saying? How are we communicating? Are you giving me eye contact? What's your body language like? You know, but you're not going to know off the first night if she's girlfriend material right. or, you know, but there are certain things Takes a woman sense. can do. You know what I'm saying? If she comes over, you know, she cooks, she cleans, she goes that extra mile. Because a lot of girls, let's keep her, a lot of girls are lazy. She's like, yo, here, here's my phone. Just order some mm -hmm. Uber Eats. <laughs> That's you know what Gen I'm saying? That's stuff. Spend all so, our money. <laughs> like, like, real talk. And my boy is sitting right there, like. He used to be a slayer. I'm sorry, Nate. I got to call it out. But he, he slayed all types of things. And his girlfriend just stood out by just doing the little things that matters. You know what I'm saying? And, and a lot of girls might not. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to be your housemate. I'm not a slave. But here's the thing. Like, do you want to be happy or do you want to be alone? You know? Right. A lot of men need <laughs> women great. to take care of them. Wow. Yeah. Just I mean, I take care of them. But, cool. You know. Not take care of them, but, you know, clean up after them, you know, cook for them and stuff like that. If yeah. he does it back. So uh, yeah. I would say a woman adds value because um, think about what it is, right? If you have options as a guy and there's many girls there, how does that girl stand out? And I feel like at some point, because you can't just know if she's going to be wifey. So you got to vet her for a period of time. We see at least one year, right? At least one year vetting her for wifey um, status. But you're gonna know some things up front to see, okay, you know what? Let me wait a year later to see the actual potential. So I'll say this, a, a woman that's gonna be um, peace of mind. So when I come from work or like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a business call, whatever. There's no arguments. It's just, we're just cooling, we're vibing. We talk about, you know, future plans and shit like that. And then secondly, I would say a woman has values and has character because a lot of women nowadays, all they can do is literally twerk, and they have no other value. And look, I mean, it's cool. I'll smash you, but I'll never wife you up. And then thirdly, a woman that helps me with my business as well. So adding value. So let's say I have the podcast here with Myron. Um, you know, I'm going to need my, my, full, my, my clothes folded. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm at work. She's doing that. So just adding value in different ways. And that's how you stand up. Because most girls in America, especially, they don't stand up at all. They just come through, smash, and then that's it. And then the girl's like, oh, why are you single? Because... Uh, that's, I don't want to wipe at these three or fours, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like, uh, like recently, um, I was in her doing a podcast and I had a girl, she was standing at my place and she um, had food ready and she had drinks ready and she was just waiting. There you I go. Came home, I'm like, oh mm. shit. And then, you know, she got to go on the club and everything, but she's like, no, I'm gonna say, hey, wait for you. And then afterwards, you know, we can do whatever. So, and then what happens is if you're like that, I'm gonna take you on trips. Yeah, I'm gonna take you I'm, I'm like, gonna like, invite you because now you're adding value. You know what? You deserve to be treated like a. Not queen, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, shit, a cool, cool, cool side piece. <laughs> <laughs> Go, ahead, Myron. Um, I think uh, it depends on what caliber. What are we talking? What kind of caliber of man are we talking here that you want to uh, that you're trying to get? Just, I just want to know generally. You know generally? what men? Yeah, just you know what would what would you consider like wifey? Just initially meeting her, or even just getting to know her. What would set her apart? from just somebody that again like you want you want to have on the side or that you want to mess with versus somebody that you actually want to keep next to you and build with yeah so uh just and i general. hate to use you as an example miss miss portuguese but like i i was listening i've been listening very closely to everything that the ladies have been saying and um an example i would say this a lot of women especially modern day women are extractors and don't necessarily add value back and what I mean by that, a lot of women put them, the onus on the man to impress her. 
So, for example, you know, not not to be, be, pick on you, but a lot of women think that way, and I and I and I champion you for being honest because a lot of women think that way. I need you to pay for the date. I need you to the, like be. I need you to basically be a traditional man, which is okay. Nothing wrong with that. I I think that that's the way it should be because that's the way it's worked for de- generations. However, women want men to be traditional men while they can absolve themselves of being traditional women and they can be modern women, and that's the problem. Is that they want you to be, you know, slay the dragon, get the money, come back. You know, be a, you know, be chivalrous while I don't necessarily have to be a lady. And that's where a lot of guys are not taking a lot of modern day women seriously because they understand that why am I going to be a traditional guy when her roles are negotiable and mine are static? It's not fair. So guys are waking up to this and realizing if I can, why buy the cow when I can get the milk for free, as you said, right? Mm -hmm. So we have a hookup culture now because women created it. (laughs) So I would say for, for women to stand out. You got to be able to add value to his life, not necessarily look at it like, let me add value to my life. Let me get the trips. Let me extract resources. Because a lot of women are very good at extracting resources, time and attention from men and some kind of compliance for, for them to give sex. So I say you need to add value first. And when a woman does that, it sets you apart from all the other women because a lot of modern day women are taught, get what you can out of them. But when you actually add value first, make his life easier and be a compliment to his life, make it easier, not harder. You're going to be memorable for that. So, and, and I hate to say it, ladies. I know it's going to sound fucked up, but little things, cleaning up the place, uh, having food ready, uh, being a traditional woman. And I know a lot of women like to shame that and say, I'm not your mom or whatever it may be. Well, if you want him to be uh, a leader and be able to provide for you and all this other stuff, you need to make his life easier so that he can be even better at being the provider, if that makes sense. Um, and that, that's what it is, man. And then also being cooperative and submissive. You know, a lot of modern day women don't like the word submissive. They think it's fucked up. Well, submission only occurs by uh, consent. You have to choose to be submissive. You know what I mean? Now, I'm not saying you got to submit to every guy. You know, some guys are losers and not worthy of, you know, being followed. But, you know, that's on you as the woman to figure out if the guy is worthy or not. And I think this is why I think it's so important. We discussed this yesterday, why the father is so important. Because a dad is an amazing screening tool and asset to help Mm. you find a guy that's worthy. Because guys will tell you sweet nothings or whatever it may be. Oh, I could do this. I could do that. Dad's really going to put him to his fucking paces. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and that's the importance of, of the father. But the father has been kind of removed from the household, let alone, you know, helping his daughter find a mate. So, and most girls don't ever talk with their dad about who the fuck they're dating, which I think women need to start doing that. Because mm-hmm. the only man that's not going to lie to you in your life are your brother and your father. Because they're not trying to fuck you. Period. Mm, no. So, no, you know, you might want to start getting these guys involved in your dating selection and everything Absolutely. else like that, too. Yeah. But I would say to, you know, being, the, being a traditional woman... Is what is required if you want a traditional man to be there for you, you know. Mm-hmm. So that's what I say. It's cool. funny that you say that because I told Fresh that I grew up hearing a lot of, grew, I grew up hearing a lot of the things that you guys say from my cousins and my uncles and my brother. Mm-hmm. Same exact thing that you guys said, and you know, to me we back keep it real. then, yeah, to me back then it sounded so um, misogynistic harsh. Harsh. and harsh, exactly. Yeah. But now, you know, I'm older and I this, understand that it's true. Um, men haven't changed much over the centuries. Women have, though. You know, as women have made more money, become more independent, become more assertive, etc. Women are the ones that have changed. And since women have changed, they think men have changed too. And we really haven't. We're the same. Like, you know what I mean? Like, men are very, very simple creatures. It's the women that have been, that uh, you know make things very difficult because the divorces are initiated by women, not by men. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. So I would say, you know, just understanding that men are simple and fulfilling his needs. Another thing I would say is being coachable, like understanding that uh, – it, you know what? There's a void in your in your situation here. Let me fill that void without even having to be asked. You know what I'm saying? Or being amenable to learning from him about what he wants. That's gonna make you like. That's how a girl that's like a six lands a high value guy and keeps him as the as the husband. Uh, uh, when these other dimes can't do it. You know what I'm saying? Because being hot will get you the guy, but is it gonna keep you? Is it gonna help you keep the guy? Probably not. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're not willing to put in the work. Yeah. So that's that's what it is, man. Cool. But have you ever been attracted to somebody that? you know, is, is very good looking and has also been a traditional woman or has taken care of you, but yet you still don't want to wife her. Yeah, I mean, you could find a girl that's everything, but you're not ready. It's very rare to find Men- that, though. Mentally, you're not ready for her. Like so. a chick that's bad that's also going to be a traditional woman almost yes. never does that happen. I've met, I've met a few, just that I wasn't ready for it. Yeah, I, that, I, that, very rarely does that happen, man. Yeah. Like, we tell guys on this podcast, too, like, chicks that are, like, dimes and, like, models and shit like that, nine out of ten times, man, like, belong to the streets. Because, they, they're like, it, it, I always say men are as faithful as their options, but women, too, bro. Like, if you, once a woman yeah. gets to a certain level of being attractive, like, 
she was just gonna get offers yeah. from certain types of men, Facts. and a lot of girls that are young and attractive like don't have the the maturity or the or the knowledge to discern a guy that wants to use them for a sexual pleasure versus a guy who's gonna take them serious. So, I yeah. do like what he said though, where he said that he just wasn't mentally ready. Some guys, yeah, some guys, some guys may not be. A lot. Sam, yeah. Some guys may not be. You know. Okay. Um. You have a question? All right. If y'all are so oh, simple shit. and it's no cap, right? There was a song that just dropped called "Build a Bitch." If this, <laughs> if this place so existed, deep. what are the ideal or dream girl that would come out of that place for you, physically? Ooh, I like that. How does she look? For me personally, or, or, or you want me to be you. general with All like how most No, no, no. You personally, men. if there's women in the audience right now and they want to oh, know, shit. okay, I fit, I fit him Put right. Put me on with, the spot. Yeah, build That's a bitch. A great question. Right, yeah. well, I love uh, that. Uh, Solo, you, you go I first. You're the guest. All right. Oh man. She tall. She build short. She blonde. Okay. She... Let let let's start with the physical, man. You know. Um, That's all I'm asking. It's just physical. Something. Just physical. Oh, just physical. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Right. Wait. Wait. Yes. Can I can I go at a spectrum or just just got to be? What if thing? you if you walked into the club and mm -hmm. you went, God damn! Like, what is the girl? What does she look like? I mean, you know, I like that Jessica Rabbit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, does does you know like somebody. You know, it can be slim, thick, or you know, medium thick. I mean, just like don't cap. We all have a type. You yeah, have well, that image you know, in your head. Who? What does she look like? You know, like <laughs> Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> so yeah. 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 no yeah. hair, and hair. Yeah. So red hair. What? The... You know, somebody. She wearing that. purple gloves, like hourglass <laughs> figure. You know, I, I guess. You know. You're capping. What does she look like? So what she does tall, she look she like? Short? Um, I mean, she's you know, like I said, she's about. Let me think. Five five, okay. you know what I'm saying? Maybe five seven. Tall. Um, you know she got she got the, the long legs with the cakes poking out from the back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hair color. Um, hair color. Hair color. Damn. I don't know. It doesn't matter. How dark hair, blonde, redhead. No, no, no redheads. Um, <laughs> you know, just long hair. I like long hair. I like something to pull on. Um, <laughs> you know. I don't know. I like Jessica eyes Rabbit. that are lively. Jessica Rabbit, right? So you don't you like know. dead girls. Okay. You know, Jessica Rabbit. I mean, that was the <laughs> ideal <laughs> body type. That's just you know that's that's just type. Big okay. Yes, yeah, sir. All right. Cool. All right. So I'll go. So Nina, Puerto Rico, mm. and Social. There you go. There you go. He's honest. So I don't know, honestly, because like <laughs> you thought about this. No, no, just because like um, guys collect like a, a variety of girls. We don't have like a type per se, because like we just like hot girls. So I'm in, in my opinion, that. like I could see any girl as a viable option if she's submissive, if she's um, you know, caring to me as value when she's hot. It's cool. So only three hot girls here tonight. No, no. Personal opinion. We yeah, everybody has a preference. I'm in a club. I'm, I'm gonna just go for what I see. Yeah, so. I just want to hear. <laughs> so, I we're go, all hot. <laughs> so if I see a girl on the street, be like, oh shit, you'll be really good. For yeah. <laughs> Go um, we're talking strictly looks. Yes, yes, yes. physical. Uh, so just we're talking just sexual, Straight like not a girl I'm gonna take like... serious for a relationship. No, nope. just in general. Just build. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> all right. So, so in that, that case, um, uh, five foot ten, because uh, I'm a little taller myself, right? So, uh, so I, yeah, like five ten. Um, co hair color doesn't matter as much, but I, I, I like blondes, and then uh, colored eyes to some degree. Uh, lighter skinned, lighter than me, doesn't matter exactly the tone. And then uh, you know, flat stomach, and then the the you know, flat stomach, and then the ass has to like poke out, um, and then preferably <laughs> she works out. You know what I mean? She but, has to do her squats. Yeah, you know, because like I, I mean, I go to the gym yeah. four or five days a week. Like no, it aligns with no your... excuses. Yeah, yeah. And, and then also like it just teaches like um, you know, fitness is just it, there's certain like um, there's certain mindsets that you have to have to be in shape. This uh, and this and yeah, like discipline is one of them. So yeah, so um, so yeah, I would say yeah, from uh, from an idealistic. Uh, body type that, that that's what i'm saying but for me man like i mean yeah having sex is cool man but i've gotten to a point now after like interviewing like hundreds of girls now at this point bro like it's like it looks only go so far man like it's yeah you have yeah. to be in miami for a bit like and I, i'll tell you guys this i'll be honest the bad of the chick the worst the attitude nine out of ten times man like you want to talk about like bimbos that are annoying as fuck deal with a bad bitch man like it's like bro get out of my house like you're annoying as fuck you know and it's because and it's because we live in a world now where like women are pedestalized automatically anyway you take a girl that's attractive that's never been told in her life no that's never been told in her life like yo what the fuck is wrong with you it's and i'm the first one to say it they look at me like i'm an asshole 
it, it's annoying, bro. Like dealing, with, and some of you girls probably have some of these female friends that you have that are like are super entitled, very uh, very annoying to be around. They're buzzkills, whatever. Man, like you guys think it's bad when you deal with them as a women, as women. It's worse when you deal with them as men. You know what I'm saying? Like take any girl that's bisexual. You know what I'm saying? What she what she wants when she deals with man versus what she wants when she deals with with a woman completely different. Men are just held to a different standard. Women expect more. You take an attractive girl, it's entitlement times 20. You know what I'm saying? So we tell guys on this podcast all the time, deal with a girl that's attractive enough but has the personality things that are in place first. Because if you want a girl that you want to be able to take seriously in a relationship, she's got to meet those things first. Like her looks can always fade or whatever it may be. Yeah. Or, you know, you can help her look better. Help her get in the gym, whatever. The things can be fixed. Buy her a booty. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I, I wouldn't would do that. But, but like, yeah, but like in general... <laughs> the most attractive girls have the ugliest personalities, man. Mm -hmm. I hate to say it like that, but it's just, man, m most tens are. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, it's held right? for so long. Yeah. None of anything else mattered. They, like, they, they've just never been right. held accountable, yeah. man. Like yeah. it's just, and and that that um that lack of accountability for so long, twenty years, twenty one years, twenty two years yeah. old. It rots them, man. Because well, yeah, men are hype enough because they just want to fuck. They're not going to tell them what's yeah. good until a man that actually shows real interest and just, okay. just okay. because I'm pretty mentality. Yeah, to I've, I've had so many. We've had so many hot girls on here that I've like shocked, like, bro, you fucking yeah. suck. And it's because no one has ever told them in their life, yeah. shut yeah. up, you're annoying because they're hot. Sorry, was it, you going to say something? No, I was going to say, like, to prove what you're saying, you literally just have to watch the podcast. Some girls <laughs> are very yeah. delusional, yeah. entitled, and arrogant. Miss Lil Pump. Hey, if you want to find oh out about that, I yeah. that is that was crazy. Oh yeah, we had we had hundred k celebration. Yeah, oh, guys, go really watch that video. Well, Wait, it's bigger than that. Can you link that, that video? Uh, I want to see. So it. Ladies, today is Friday. It's Memorial Day weekend. Uh, we're off on today and uh, Saturday and Sunday. Oh yeah. And the chat wants to see uh, some sexy ladies rotate a model oh, right quick in front of the camera. Oh, they want to so, see a spin. Okay. Uh, they want to see that. They want to see that. Right. You know, is that you know, critical to my future husband in the chat? No. Let's go, ladies. Don't see you guys dressed up nicely. Yeah. So pick up the headphones. What do we do? We stand up? Instagram. Yeah, you stand up. Yeah, you stand up. They don't have to stand up, but they, they want to see the other lovely ladies here. You guys here. have to like the, oh. the video first. Yeah, like the video. And then we'll like and give you a 360. Pineapple. Pineapple. You know, Nina has a special treat for us. <laughs> Literally. So she has get the to. likes up to right now. Go. We have how many watches? We got almost 7K and only 3.7K likes. What? That's weird. Yeah, we need we Yo, need, we need, we need that likes. Weird. Right, that no, was so likes. five thousand likes and the ladies would, would rotate and Nina had a special <laughs> something for us. And also have to also you don't want to. we need yeah, you don't want to ladies. Yeah, also on Twitch. But for the I'm ladies on that Twitch, do, right? on Twitch we need twenty gifted subs. Trey, um how much do we have some subs uh gifted already? I'm so bad. Get hype train going, guys. Hype Bro, train. The hype train is going Ooh, right now. Yeah. It's about to die. It's at 30 seconds right now. Guys, keep it going, guys. Shout out to Freezy who donated five mm -hmm. subs. Oh, thank you very much. Man. Yep. Thank you. KSD who donated six subs. <laughs> Mr. Good Vibes 13 who donated <laughs> five <laughs> subs. Yeah. And then sent for rent, man. He's been donating like crazy. Damn. I just thank made you, him a mod because he's been putting it. Give him a mod, man. Chat. Give him a mod. Give him that rent. So huge shout out to him. He's donated probably over like 21 subs this stream. By, wow. By so, but we're five away from 1,600 subs. Get us to 1,600 subs right now. There you go. 1,595 we, right now. We just had Grace California donate. Five five subs. So thank you very at, much. We're we're at six sixteen hundred. You so know what? Gang. Get us five more subs, guys. We'll do the um Nina special and then <laughs> the Nina special. Five thousand likes on YouTube and we got y'all. Yeah. Do All right. For my squad, I do Pineapple it. wants to shake it. And then we got <laughs> and, uh, she's very good at it, guys. So uh, she is very good, very good at it. Check her Instagram. Check her Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Facts. Nina, uh, Shabab Pineapple. Hussein. Um, I won't DM you. I'm at 45k a year, so like Myron said, I'm a ghost to most women. Damn. Facts, bro. Uh, That's NL true. NLX coach, 50 bucks. Never seen so many normal women presenting yourself as extraordinary. And be ordinary, humble yourself, please. Yeah. Okay. I don't... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Home Mitch. Oh, that way? thank Myron, you, brother. Facts, 50 dollars. Thank, thank you. Thank you for yesterday as well. And cool. uh, yeah, thank you so much, bro, for the for the love. Um, okay. So, um, who else? And, 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 Lauren, you asked your question. We got it fresh, and we got yeah. it. We got it on on Twitch. So Twitch, shout out to Twitch. Okay. And on YouTube, we got 4.2k likes. We need five guys. Five thousand likes on YouTube. Likes, likes are free. <laughs> you click on the mouse, the like button, and that's it. It's done. Yeah, guys, so, like the video because I had to take like four ibuprofen before the show. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know why you guys, I was, I literally had to take ibuprofen right before the show. So, okay, uh, Lauren, you good? You answered your question. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Miss social? social media. Um, do we have time for questions? We're all good. Yeah, yeah. Answer oh, your question. Okay, great. Yeah, 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 go ahead. Okay. Yeah, yeah, um, so I was given this advice at a young age, and I just want your opinion on it. Sure. Um, I'm not going to say who gave it to me, but I'm just going to say, um, 
The man should always like you a little bit more than you like him in a relationship. That's what I've been told. Make sure the guy likes you a little more than you like him. I think it should be reversed. Yeah, I think it's, it's got to be the other way around. Because really? think about this, yeah. right? If yeah. the, the woman doesn't respect you, and when I say respect, I mean deep, deep respect, because a lot of guys, they'll love a girl like just unconditionally, like just effortless. You know what I'm saying? Without, without any effort, and they'll put their all into it. But girls have to like, kind of like, um, I would say, go to love a guy. So I feel like in reverse, if you put, if you say, um, you know, girl, the girl likes you more, then it can last longer. Because I feel like, what happens is guys will force a girl to get into like a situation and they might not really want to be into it and they'll leave. But vice versa, if the girl really wants it, she'll try to make it work. Yeah, but isn't there like this thing where if the girl's too into him, he gets a little freaked out and like, I don't want that. She's way too into me. She likes me way more than I like her. I don't want that. So that's why I think it should be vice versa. That's girl, why I think the guy... If a girl's clingy, that's, that's different, though. I'm not talking about clinginess. I'm talking about real, like, love for that person. He's just going to have to love you just a little bit more than you love him. Just the tiniest bit. Maybe yeah. more excitement, though. Like, you're, like, super excited to, like, you share talk this the mic, genuine please. connection. You got to talk into the mic. Share this genuine connection with closer. someone. You know, like, you're confusing, like, the excitement. <laughs> yes. Um. So, all right. I, I get... I get. Uh, so I'm going to tell you why um, it can't work that way. Um... The thing is this, um, <laughs> women date up. Uh, what's so funny? It's great. They just love me here. <laughs> the facial expression. Yeah. Women date up. You oh, I'm sorry. No, she just comes yeah. out with comment and made me laugh. Go on. Sorry. Okay. Um, so women date up. So since women date up, they want a guy who's better than them, right? That's just how it is. You want a guy who's taller than you, makes more money than you. Yeah. It, women look for a superior, whether they want to admit it or not. They really do look for a superior. So if you're superior, you have to act like a superior. And that isn't to say that I'm a better human being than you or whatever, but you're the leader, which means she's following you, okay? Yeah. In order for her to continue to follow your lead, inevitably she has to like you more than you like her. You know what I'm saying? Because unfortunately, when the guy likes to grow more, women are literally designed to be repulsed by men that have lower value than them. Right. So by me liking you more as the man, that automatically shows that I am of lower value than you are mm. because now I'm chasing your validation and it never works that way. The only way that a woman is going to be submissive and feel that she has the best deal and because that's how women operate. I want the best deal. I want the best man. The only way she's going to feel that she's getting the best deal is if she's constantly chasing the man. And the thing is with men is that men are designed to look for what you want a woman that's on your program. Yeah. So for men, if a girl's on your program and doing everything for you, you might not like necessarily commit to her sexually all the way right right mm -hmm. but she's gonna have a place on your team that other women aren't gonna be able to get you know what i'm saying yeah that makes sense i've dated girls that like i was not as physically attracted to them as other women mm -hmm. but they would get i would respond to their texts over other girls that were better because they had a certain place all right you know what i'm saying so a woman's value isn't just sexually it's with other things that she does as well so the woman has to be in a position of, uh, and this is why it's so important for the man to have high value because the woman puts herself in a submissive role where she doesn't have as much leverage as she usually does. Right. The man has the leverage, but that's how women want it because they want the man to be of higher status and women always want to be chasing the guy's validation. That's the only way it works. Women are literally designed to not want to deal with guys that are lower than them. So if you chase her, you guys are programmed to be unattractive versus right. men. If a woman chases you, you're like, all right, this is cute and she's helping me out. Damn, all right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because men aren't used to being chased. Yeah. Women, however, yeah. are. Right. So you guys are literally designed sense. to be repulsed by guys that chase you. Mm -hmm. I've so. never taken this advice, but I just wanted to know your take on it. Okay. I've yeah. heard it a couple of times, so I just. That's how you end up single. But, yeah. I'll be yeah. honest with you, because like you'll, you'll, you, what will happen right. is you, you won't want to because this is another fallacy that women have. If you want a higher status guy, you want a guy that like has options, you're gonna have to chase him because they have the leverage, not you. It right. literally comes down to supply and demand. All the women are chasing the top ten percent of men. And the girls that get on the program and understand he might fuck other girls, those are the ones that get married. Real talk. Those are the ones that get married. How many likes That's we got right. now, now uh, Chris? 4.5. Get us to 5,000 likes, guys. But does that answer your question? I mean, like, does that... I, mean, I, I know it's unpopular. No, but. I'm telling you, it, it puts it hard. into a different perspective yeah, I that I needed to hear. So, yeah, thank you. Cool. Yeah, did a woman tell you that just out of curiosity? A woman did tell me that. A woman, that. woman told you yeah. that, right? It's, 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 and it's not like I, I heard it and I was like, oh, you're so right. I, I had to think about it. And for so long, I've been thinking about it. And now I'm getting into the dating game. I'm like, oh, is that like, I don't know if yeah. that's even I, I, I'll, I'll tell you realistic. this, man. So many women give bad advice that keeps them perpetually single because what a lot of female dating coaches do and what a lot of coaches do in general, especially these men that lie to women, is they tell them, don't settle. 
put yourself on a pedestal, you're the best, whatever. Yeah. There's very rarely introspection. It's a lot of, it's everyone else's fault. It's a lot of blame shifting, mm -hmm. which when you do that, yeah, you might be able to feel yourself, feel better, absolve yourself from some responsibility, but the, the, the problem is this, you stay alone. Right. You stay alone because you think no guy matches up, you're not willing to settle, you think you deserve more than you really do, you have an overinflated sense of uh, where your sexual market value is, yeah. and that's why so many women stay single because they're all chasing these guys and they think they're entitled to them and it doesn't work that way. So Basically, I would say, you're delusional. delusional. Yeah, no, that's so if yeah. you, if, if yeah, you yeah. like the guy a little bit more, ladies, there's nothing wrong with that. As yeah. a matter of fact, that's what's going to keep you attracted to him. That's just the way women yeah. operate. I have yeah. a question, though. Wouldn't that just open the door for him to be able to kind of like string take along advantage? or take advantage? Well, this is where you got to vet the guy to make sure he's not a scumbag. So okay. at, this, at this point, if you like the guy, vet him yourself as well. Don't just take him for what, for what he's worth because right. I... Let's be real here. At some point, the mentality might be, okay, you know what? I'm here to have fun and get lit. That's cool. You got to read You got to read the, the vibe and re, mm -hmm. read the signs there. Don't just be blinded by love. And not only course. that, if he's a guy of a certain value, just understand mm -hmm. he's going to step out and fuck other girls, man. That's the, the, that's the thing that most women can't accept. accept. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they don't want to accept. But if it's a guy, he's making six figures, six foot tall plus, you know, attractive, whatever it may be, he's fucking other girls. So you just, you just got to be... Prepare to deal with that and be at the top of his list that he's the one that he takes you serious You're the one that goes on the dates. You're the one that gets the yeah. attention the non-sexual attention You're the one that he'll sit there and let you cry to him and listen and be on the shoulder That's when you when you want yeah. but a lot of women don't want that and that's cool if you don't want that It's you, gonna be more difficult. You're, you're gonna have to deal with a guy. That's more average yeah. You got to work towards being his bottom bitch mm -hmm. in other words you know I mean? Yo, no, no, no being his being his, his top main, bitch, his actually. From the bottom you gotta call to the, the top. bottom bitch. Uh, and that, bitch. That's 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 if you're a pimp. Yeah, but he's not he's, not he's not having you it, guys. That is the, that's the last thing he wants. We need 400 more likes to have Nina do her special twerk. Oh so shit! Guys. It's really not that hard. Look how many pretty girls you have here. Of, Man, this is attractive in here. It took them work to get us all to sit on this table. The yeah, least you guys can do facts. is just hit the like button. Come on! They flake, they jump over is, here. You guys, find out guys you know what this is? This is a memorial fucking weekend, bro. They could be out partying. They could be out partying right, party right now. I mean, you should probably yeah. should be, but you know, um, <laughs> they're here. It's can whatever. I, can Sometimes I say like something? Though. Yeah. Regarding what you said, I think I I've heard. Um, advice similar to that, mm -hmm. but it's the person that cares less in a relationship holds the power. Yes, absolutely. Ooh, Ooh that's. And a good you want one. the man to always hold the always. power. Yeah. Ooh. You. I'm sorry, ladies. I know it sounds fucked up, but you want the man to hold the power. That's how you're gonna maintain the attraction to him. The right man. Yeah. 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 yeah the key is to finding the right man. It's cool. so annoying. Oh, <laughs> All right. Um. Huh? No, nothing. Oh, okay. Uh, Are we still with questions? Yeah. Uh, does that help? Does that answer? Yes, cool. Cool. 100%. All right. okay. No, really, it does. Okay. Cool. Thank you. All right. Thanks for being open-minded yep. about yep. it. Yeah, sure. No, I want to see Nina's cheeks. I don't uh, me too! Oh, we got to hit 5,000 likes, guys. We got to hit 5,000. We got to hit 5,000 likes, man. Why are we still doing this? They have 5,000 likes, man. They got to like the video. Trust me, guys want to see this. Well, the show's about to end, so I guess you won't you won't see it. That is so depressing. Next time. We just had Uber Mitch. He donated 10K bits. Which is a hundred dollars. Oh, hey, wow. Hey, 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 wow. For that. Damn, thank What's you, bro. So, Trey, what's your name? What Uber Mitch. Uber Mitch? Thank you yeah. so much. You know what? You know what? Because of Uber Mitch, <laughs> because of Uber Mitch, we will do it right now. Do it. Okay. Uber Mitch. Okay. Can you, uh, can you plug your stuff real quick before yeah. you do it? Before yeah. you, so people know where the goods are at? So my Instagram more. is at Nina the Pineapple. My OF is at Nina the Pineapple as well. <laughs> And right now I'm running a sale for Memorial Day weekend. Oh, okay. 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 So please go follow me yeah. and subscribe to my OF and I will treat Seven. you. And there it'll you be go. memorable. Well, yes, right. it will. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I'm going to throw on some music real quick. Uh, wait, 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 hold on. We got, got a special We got Trey. Donate he's, he's the got, house. And then we got another donation. Oh, Lil oh, Mac in the up. building. Oh, oh, yeah. Shout out to Lil oh, Mac. 100 yeah. bucks says, Lil Mac. one always kisses the other you turns to cheat. It's not a new concept. See, Paulson, this is for you, and appreciation for all that you do for us. Thank you. Shout out to the ladies who come out tonight. Uh, Talon, to uh, Bianca, coming we out. Now she brought a friend here. I'm yep. gonna come back. And all the girls that I told to come out tonight, Red, and they, they came through. You know, didn't flake. So good job for Shout that. Shout out to the ladies. Shout out to the ladies. Because you guys wanted Bianca here really bad. 
<laughs> yeah, he's here. <laughs> oh, okay. okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play this music. Uh, Trey, you got the sound stuff going? Trey, mute, mute this everything? plus Woo! because it's gonna Trey, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm about to play some non copyright <laughs> music in here <laughs> for 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 pineapple. But you guys are gonna hear the si the safe stuff because you two. So is I'm mad gonna go right to the corner. Oh, yeah. 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 Hey, but she could go. Just go around. All right, we good? Thank you, Pineapple. Woo! Appreciate it. Good job, Nina. Woo! Woo! Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, what amazing. Thank you. This was amazing. Okay. What so, like? That um, was a cardio. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, and where, where can the people find you again? Because <laughs> I know they're going to want to know. Where's my headset? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Here, talk, <laughs> I'm so here in the mic. There you go. Um, Yo, ch uh, chat loving this. <laughs> <laughs> really? Man. Sorry, so long. <laughs> yeah, so was like, so wait, wait, no, 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 if right, you like ahead. it, then get the likes up. Oh, shit. Hey. You can find me on at Nina the Pineapple on Instagram, at Nina the Pineapple on OF, OnlyFans. I'm running a sale for Memorial Day weekend, so hey, yeah. that's good. you can get <laughs> access to all my content. I also sell Sorry. workout programs, so if you want your girl to have a nice, tight fit booty, I can help her with that. <laughs> and That's ain't lying either, man. Yeah. <laughs> Hit me up on the yeah, DMs. Yeah, she's a shape, man. No she's, uh, she does a lot of squats. So, um, all right, cool. Um, Yo, the crossover is real. This is how you know Twitch game is lit. Black Lemur is now on Twitch, and Sin for Rent just gifted him a sub. Okay. Wow, there you go. Nice, nice. Talk about Lemur. Shout out to Black Lemur. Thank Twitch you. Right thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Yeah, get on. Guys, uh, shout out to Twitch, Twitch. gang, man. Um, okay, uh, did, were there any super chats that we had to do? I, I think, uh... Then we continue on with the questions. Right here? Super chats? No. What? Uh, we got two. We got three more. Oh, okay. Uh, so Fresh, can you read that? I got yeah, so glasses, Observer, blind. Canadian, 50 bucks. Great work as always, Ben. A question to the ladies. What is your vision of an ideal wife in your mind? And do you believe you exercise or chase these values or qualities? Keep your mind beautiful, ladies. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Why do you say it like that? Eight tears <laughs> old, 50 bucks. <laughs> we can the blonde close to yeah. solo... Give him a lap dance. He deserves it. <laughs> oh, the shoot. Must, must be the right. Oh, oh shoot. Oh, 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 lap dance. Hey. Oh, not Next know. time. Oh. Okay. He's back. He's back. 50 bucks. <laughs> huh? What is going Okay, Kaylin Graham. Kaylin Graham. He's uh, he's he's commenting again. To answer, girl next to fresh men want natural beauty, cooperativeness, <laughs> and a nurturing. Uh, we want to come home to a meal, peace, and love. Shout out to Blue Top. Here's another fifty dollars of fresh Dang. fit. Blue Top. No uh, no, no dollars money. unless it's Monday. Daughter, my daughter, Mom, or my Mom, girlfriend. Daughter. I respect that. Thank you so much. Anyway. And, okay. That's one. So and then we got uh, Lanali Lavelle, fifty dollars. I'm just a handsome black man with a foot fetish, and wondering if any of the ladies sell feet content. Wow. <laughs> I can make you custom. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 There you go. Hey, wait. You don't want my feet? I would tuck those bad boys. <laughs> Yo, uh, <laughs> Trey, Trey, so we gift the subs, Trey. 
We got. I think we're train going on. Just gifted twenty subs. Hey. Oh. Thank you so much, man. Uh, Dark Knight. Dark Knight. Dark Knight. Eighteen thirty-eight. Right here. With the gifted subs. Thank, Thank you so brother. much, man. Appreciate that. Awesome, Appreciate brother. That. Yo. Let's get Dark Knight, man. Uh, okay, Miss uh, Portuguese, you can grill us now. Uh, Question for us. What are your What are your thoughts? Any questions? Or questions? Uh, um, I guess we can go off of the marriage thing. Since hearing your opinions about women, when do you think is the best age to actually settle down uh, and marry? That's actually a mm. damn good question, Great question, bro. Okay. I wish more women asked this. Yeah. Solo, what do you think? 21. 21. <laughs> oh, man. Um, Any time from 18 to 25, man. Okay. To marry? Cool. To marry? Yeah. yeah. Wait, settle down so, and marry. Mm -hmm. Did you say okay. you were a Christian before? Who said that? Wasn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said something. You were like, I'm a Christian. Like, yeah. amen. Yeah, yeah, so that makes sense. A lot of Christians get married within that time frame. Um, so uh, I'm going to have to double down what Solo said, man. Yeah. Um, it's not even Christian or whatever. It's that that is when you are in the best negotiating place as a woman to lock down the best the, the best man that you can. Mm. Um, fem, fem, womanism, womanism has lied to women and told them that they could push back the clock. And that you're attractive no matter how old you get and that your career should be prioritized in your 20s and that you'll still be able to find a good man after it's all said and done and you have your master's degrees and everything else like that the reality is the men that women want the high earners the attractive men etc don't care about how much money you earn they don't care about how much security you provide what they care about is youth beauty and most importantly chastity which no one tends to talk about in the west um no guy wants to get a girl or come excuse me let me re rephrase that no man wants to commit to a girl that many men have had. You know what I'm saying? I use right. the analogy all the time, all the, just so I can engage all the ladies here, so you guys know where I'm coming from. Let's say, let's go down into a, let's go into a, like a bizarre world, right? Like imaginary world, right? <laughs> you guys go into the Gucci store, right? <laughs> you get a Gucci bag, all right? You pay five thousand dollars for it. You saw the new Car BDB video. You're like, yo, this shit is lit. I got it. I'm about to be the first one on the block with this thing. Yes. Five bands, right? Your girlfriend comes in the next day and shows you her Gucci bag, same thing you got. You're like, where'd you get that? Well, I got it at some the same Gucci store as you. How much you pay? I only paid $1,000. What? You paid $1,000? What's the first thing you're gonna do? Go back. You're gonna go back to Gucci store, right? Yeah. You're gonna go back and you're gonna say, where's my fucking 4,000 bucks? This is some bullshit. And the receptionist or the salesperson, whoever sold you that bag, oh no, that's just your price. You had to pay 5,000. And you're like, what? And then you see someone else come into the store and buy the bag for 500. Then you see someone else pay 6,000. You see someone else pay 10,000. You see someone else pay free, whatever. And you're like, yo, why is why are the prices fluctuating? And they're like, well, everyone has a different price. Whether ladies want to accept it or not, this is how men look at commitment with a woman. It's commodified to how much are the other guys paying versus how much am I paying? If a man feels that he's paying a lot more for something that other men have gotten for free, it's gonna cause, it's gonna incite a certain rage in a man that I can't even give you guys what it feels like. Because no one wants to overpay for a Gucci bag. And I'm trying my best to kind of give you guys a feeling of it, like that feeling of betrayal, that bullshit, whatever it may be. Take that times 10 is how men feel. Men feel. No one wants to pay $5,000 for a Gucci bag that other people got for a thousand. So, so your chastity does matter. Your past does matter. You know, women are concerned with a man's future. Men are concerned with a woman's past. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? That's just how men are. So I always say the less that you have in your past typically is when you're younger, you know, and when you're most fertile, when you're most attractive. So it's best to cash out when you're still, when you still have the highest value, you know what I'm saying? And find the best guy that you can, because you're going to be in the best bargaining position to get the man that you actually want. Now you could push it back. You could wait till you're 30. You can wait till you have a career. You can wait till you're strong and independent. That's fine. I ain't telling you not to chase your careers. What, but what I am going to tell you is your ability to lock down a guy of the status that you want is going to severely diminish because the girls that are 21 years old that are attractive, that might not have a career, might not be as smart as you are, they might be dumb bimbos, those guys are going to get, those women are going to get those guys, More not you. you. Yep. And it sucks because women have a time clock, man. It's just that society doesn't tell you guys that you have a time clock. At what age do men want to settle down? Because say, okay, I'm 24 now, I'm coming up on 25. What age range of men should I be looking for? Because the men my age don't want to settle down now. You got to go so, older. Yeah, you got to yeah. go older. older. Yeah. You got to yeah. go How older. How much older are we talking? And this, 30s. Like, 30s, yeah. yeah. 30s. Yeah, 30s. Yeah. I feel like most guys have their shit together. Definitely 30s. Yeah. Like 30s. 35 is like... But, um, yeah. 
30s, okay. 40s, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, God. It, there's going to be guys that are young that might want to settle down. It's just yeah. that. Yeah, this is harder. It's just, it's, it's not even that it's harder. It's that a lot of them aren't in a position to settle down. You might not yeah, want to settle true. down with them because they won't have their money together. You know, they won't. Yeah, they don't. The things that make a man attractive to a woman take time to acquire. The things that make a woman attractive to a man are born. You're born with them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Women are born with value. Men must create their value. So mm. the, the perfect age is you want to deal with a guy that's, you know, ideally the most marriages are between seven years, seven years or more apart. So yeah, I say this, marry as young as you can, where you have the best negotiation leverage that you can with a high value man. If you're 18 years old and you're a virgin, you can literally bargain for the top tier guys. Yeah. It's just, yeah. It sounds fucked up to say it like that, man. You but that's how it is. Scientifically, you see that girl? Because if you, wait, if you wait too late, right, past 30. It's called the danger zone, shout out to Kevin Samuels. Yep. Yeah. And that stage, like you said before, you have limited options. Right. However, mm -hmm. I know most girls want to have fun in their 20s, yeah. travel, get lit, you know what I'm saying, get out, let out the Henny, Cafe mm -hmm. Azul, whatever. But, don't look at my phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were looking. Uh, I, but, I was not. But, I don't see I anything. <laughs> but um, what I'm saying is that like, at that point, you got to decide, you know what, do I want to have fun right now and miss my opportunity? Or I'm going to say, you know what, I have a little bit of fun maybe, at the beginning maybe, Mm. And then make a choice. Say, you know what? At 22, 23, 24, all right, cool. Get the ball Now rolling. I can find the guy that I really want. Because if you wait too long, like I said before, you might lose that guy. So Also, cool. scientifically, sorry for women, we do need to hurry that up because we can't bear children at a certain age. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, there sperm lasts forever. Eggs yeah. don't. Yeah. Well said. And, and also, um, what's well that? Well, yeah, freeze them, bitch. I, I knew you were going to say that. Um, <laughs> freezing eggs has a very like, a side effect, some kind no, of No, 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 not even side effects. It's that um, a lot of them don't come. You, you can freeze your eggs, pay 50 bands, whatever it may be. Yeah. Um, you That doesn't yeah. mean you can still bring the children to term. Yeah. No. You might still not, you still might not be able to do it. Not, so, you know, I, I'm not saying put it back in you. You freeze your eggs, and no, if you're too you, old I, to I bear to. children, you would have to get a surrogate. But it, they won't be, but why would it? See, here's the thing. Like, right? that's all hinging on the fact that the guy's even going to want to do that with you. Right. And it's expensive. Yeah. You're, there, that's a cost that you guys both need to agree on. It's freaking expensive. So expensive. True. Like, like, so like that's why all the I'm saying, are really all I'm saying <laughs> is that with, with, with the ladies is that <sighs> understand that your decisions that you make when you're young and beautiful will come back to haunt or give you a better setup later on in life. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So if you decide to put off having children, don't expect a higher status man to hire a surrogate mother or buy you eggs so that you can freeze them or whatever. Mm -hmm. He's going to say, why am I going to do this when I can get a 21-year-old that has less baggage, yep. less issues, and, a bunch and she of can eggs. have kids yeah. and a bunch of eggs? Like, that's how men look at it. Men yeah. commodify relationships with women on, like, almost a financial level. That's why guys, like, there's this crazy rage that comes in if they find out. Like, if a man is about to marry you and then he finds out that you were getting trains run on you in college and everything else like that, <laughs> he's going to call off the marriage because men are just like you guys hate men that are weak and pussy and soft men hate women that have a promiscuous past because no one wants to commit to that seriously i like this on um, twitch they have a poll it just said what age range should women get married winning poll answer was 22 to 25. wow yeah. can, there you go can i ask though being so young or or as they're saying you know you should be 22 to 25 wouldn't you be at greater risk for getting a divorce or not having that marriage last no so actually what they found was women that had lower um sexual partner counts and married younger actually tended to stay in marriages longer because with with women like like the more experiences i always say adversity builds men but it destroys women and i'll explain what i mean by that like so if a man goes through you know trials and tribulations with you know, dealing with women, whatever it may be, it makes them stronger and better. Like men are dealt, are, are made to deal with adversity, whatever. But women, when they deal with sexual adversity, it typically tends to fuck them up. You know what I mean? If you look at like women that like were, you know, for, you know, were very promiscuous in their past or whatever it may be, maybe former prostitutes or dancers or whatever it may be, it, they tend to have some issues with men. You know what I'm saying? Like they tend to be, be able to not pair bond or whatever it may be because women are very malleable based off of their environments. You know what I mean? Like you guys aren't built to deal with adversity like men are. You know what I'm saying? Like men are dealt, are made to de deal with confrontation, everything else like that. So, <clears throat> so more sexual experience for men makes them better, it makes them better like with just dealing with women in general. More sexual experience for women tends to make them worse with like getting, uh, being able to pair bond and you know, have a long lasting relationship and a marriage eventually. So, and they've done it where they they found that women that what, what like um, between one to one to two partners, 
you know, they were able to have the strongest, longest marriages. And then one to five, it dropped off. And then after like 10, it dropped off significantly for, for partners, right? And this is assuming that the women that were polled were being honest. You know what I'm saying? You know, right. we all know women tend to, you know, under <laughs> undercut their numbers. Yeah. The guys at Cancun didn't count, whatever the fuck. So, <laughs> um, so it's not going to hurt. If anything, the less impressionable that she is and the uh, younger that she is, when she marries, those marriages tend to last a little bit longer, actually. You know what I'm saying? For women. All right. Makes sense. So... Cool. Red. And it sucks, man. It, that it biologically it's like it's set up like that, but that's just how it is. Yeah. Red, I can see you got a question here for us. Yes. I've been holding on to this yes. for forever now. Okay, so when we were talking I don't remember what we were talking about, but you mentioned something about not being ready for a girl. Yeah. Um, I have a question. Um, in regards to how men kind of handle that situation, would you string along the girl because that's who you want to be with, but you're just not ready, or would you like just let her go? Yes. And yeah. Ooh, that's a good that's question. A good that's a very question. good question. Solo, you want to answer this or you want me to go first? Uh, you go first. <clears throat> okay, so for me, honestly, like, me. I'll have no upfront what it really is. And uh, I said, yo, it, it, could, it could be an option. It might not be an option. But for now, let's see just, let's, let's see how it goes, right? And I'll set, I'll set the frame like, you know what? I like you. I'm feeling the vibe, but <clears throat> I got to see for myself. And at that point, she can either walk away or stay. But I'm not going to hold on to her and say, oh, you got to be with me. Nah, it's what it is. It's who I am. Take it or leave it. Right. So I'll let her know upfront. But, uh, Myron? Uh, yeah, I mean, I would say, um, here's the uncomfortable truth. Men will say whatever they can to keep you around sexually, mm. period. Nice. They, they, they uh, you know, yeah. I, like I said, I, t I tell uncomfortable truths with men and women and, and men will 1000% sell you a dream, tell you, I love you. They'll say whatever they got to do to string you along. You know what I mean? Um, and what some guys will do even is they'll tell you, Hey, listen, um, I love you, blah, blah, blah. You know, <laughs> knowing that they're not really going to like commit to you or whatever. Yeah. Just right. so they can, they can continue to get the sexual access. Because the thing with men is, is that sex is very difficult to come by for a lot of men. Unless you're a celebrity or whatever it is, you know, you're not going to get sex on demand like women can. So when you have a girl that you're dealing with sexually and you don't necessarily like or want to commit to her, you're going to do what you can to keep that sexual access while you continue to play the field. And what a lot of guys do is they sell that emotion, they sell that Disney dream, I love you, whatever, maybe the promise of a commitment, because women look for security, and guys know this. So, um, you know, some guys will lie to you about that. And, and I guess it just comes down to you knowing, um, being smart enough to know if this guy is serious about committing to you or whatever it may be, and uh, if you're if you're willing to, to wait for him. You know what I'm saying? Does he have the high value to, that's worthy of waiting for? Right. Okay, okay. thank you. Cool. Great. All right. Hmm. You want to you ask a question or no? probably lost. <laughs> okay. just joined yeah, just, in. So this is your turn to ask us a question. Ask okay. a question ask about that you want to know from a male's <laughs> point of view. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what do you boys <laughs> like um, <laughs> consider it? This is a no-go when, sorry, when you are um, dating a female, first yeah. couple steps, and you're like, oh, you know what, this is a, uh, you know what, me and this team are not going to connect mm -hmm. further. That's not you mean what turns us yeah, off? Yeah, what's a draw the line, yeah. And I guess an automatic the disqualifier, yeah. okay. what she means. Automatic, automatic disqualifier. Yep. Yeah, that is a valid question. I would have to say, turns me off completely, it's her energy and her... Ma her for example, I feel like if a girl is too masculine, that'll turn me off. Like if she's like... A bro. What's up, bro? <laughs> like, yo, like, yeah, we should go over here. I don't like... It's, it's like, yo, like, I don't want that type oh. of energy around me. So if she's masculine, I'm cool off of that. For me personally. You? And you? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I'll give you a perfect example. Uh, like uh, the combative feminist from the other day. Attractive woman. But as soon as she started opening her mouth and having that like need to be right in the face of like facts and uh, trying to be, uh, just just trying to be, um, what's the word I want to use here? Non-agreeable for the purpose of not being agreeable. versus Devil's having advocate. Versus having, yeah. uh, you know, a conversation. And, you know, being, you know, that need to be right, that's, that's very unattractive. And women that are combative, masculine, uh, and women that don't understand that, you know, as the man, you're the authority, you know what I'm saying? Not the other way around. And some women really think that they can be the authority or their leader in a relationship, and that doesn't work. That sounds good on paper. That's like what womanism tells women, but it, it doesn't work that way. Yeah, my dick won't even get hard, bro. Yeah. I don't want to anymore. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah, chicks that, like, and, and I'll give you guys on. the example. Like, a woman that, like, is masculine is, like, the equivalent to, like, me coming up to you in the club, and you're like, damn, he's my type. I like him. He's tall, dark, and handsome. Oh, yeah. And then I go, oh, my God, I love your red bottoms. Oh, my God, where'd you get them? <laughs> like, that's the same shit. And yeah, like, yeah, it's the same thing. E even if I'm, like, the guy that, like, comes up to you, like, I might be your type or whatever, and I ask you on a date, and I talk to you in that feminine manner. Oh, my God, you want to go on a drink date? Whatever. You're going to be like, what the fuck? No. <laughs> Fucking good. You know, yeah. are you going to be my, yeah. my gay friend or whatever? And, like, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Women are repulsed by feminine men. 
Well, you know what, ladies? It goes the other way around. Men are repulsed by masculine women. It's just that if a man says this, it's considered taboo. It's considered misogynistic. It's considered you can't uh, handle a strong woman. No. We don't want to, nor should we have to deal with a strong woman because it's annoying. It's a pain in the ass. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. tiring. Yeah, it's, and it's very tiring, too. Men already go out into the world, and we have to <laughs> fight for everything we get. Why the hell are you going to want to have to fight for a woman? You know what I'm saying? Uh, Shaggy Cyrus. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> so, okay. um, so that's what I would say is a deal breaker. And that's a deal breaker for a lot of guys, a guys. woman that's very combative and not cooperative. Yeah. You know? Huh. Miss Pineapple, your question. Bing, bing. Um, what do you think is the most beautiful personality trait a girl can have? Oh, mm. love that question. See, it's a positive Solo? one. You've been quiet this whole time, man. What's up, bro? Yeah, I'm so I, I, don't, I don't even know how to explain it, but like, it's it's kind of like how a woman treats somebody that can't do nothing for her. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, yeah. like, for example, let's say you at a restaurant with a woman. There's the type of woman who will be like, yo, she'll pull out her purse because she used to be a waitress or something and she'll tip or whatever. Yeah. Then you have the other woman like, oh, this service is so bad. Like, oh, you're not good, blah, blah, blah. You know, like, it's how you treat other people. Like, right. that, that to me is hella attractive. Right. Yeah. You know, because as you guys know, I'm, I'm not the best looking guy, right? But I, I have a personality. You're a handsome individual. Well, you know, <laughs> my mama says I'm handsome. <laughs> um, Pause. But one thing about me is, like, even with you guys, you, you already know, like, yeah. I like being around good people, good energy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if you have a woman who's like, ugh, this guy's this, or this person is right. that, this and that, that says a lot about, you know, her character. Mm -hmm. The best thing I can I can say is what a woman does alone really tells you what she's about. So if you ever meet a woman, Myron, this is for you, fresh, just say, hey, what do you like to do by yourself? <laughs> a lot of guys, like, th that may seem like a stupid question, but it's actually a smart question. Very good it, question. It lets you know, that. like, what she values, what she does. She, I like to watch the Kardashian show and Real World, the uh, Husbands of Atlanta, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. And The Bachelor. By the way, I couldn't finish the last Bachelor role. Even though it was a, the first black guy, I just yeah. couldn't do it. It was so bad. Right. You know what I mean? I haven't so once watched the episode of The Bachelor. Me neither. I, I couldn't do it. But, yeah, basically it's how a woman treats others and... You know, because yeah. that'll be a reflection of how she'll treat you. So, Gratitude. Yeah. Wow. And can, can I just say, Solo, I need you to think a little bit higher of yourself. <laughs> you no, can't yeah. just oh, say real. you're not a handsome guy. You are handsome. Your personality <laughs> makes up for a lot oh, more. Yeah, same. be well, confident. Well, well, you know, she wouldn't give me a lap dance. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 she has nothing to do with oh, That has nothing oh, to do with your love. Oh, oh, I don't have a nice Confidence oh, is oh, internal. Oh. Is that a victim? You got called out. I did get called out. <laughs> but it's not you, it's me. Oh, it's, that's what, it's, that's okay. what they all say. <laughs> <laughs> she she, she can do that. That's, that's, all that's all I had to Guys, say. Guys, if you ever hear that, I mean, that means it's you. Oh, yeah. Trust me, it's you. No, I'm just, I'm no. shy. It's yeah, okay, yeah, you no. can do it off camera. I won't tell nobody. Ah. <laughs> so, uh, time for a question. I would say a feminine woman has character. Because I feel like a lot of women nowadays, they don't um, have any character. They just look good. They get catered to. And they don't develop any, um, how to put this, um, integrity as, as, as a woman. <laughs> so I feel like a woman that can be a freak in the sheets, but also a lady in the streets, I can fuck with because at least you understand your role. And if you have kids, I know on a subconscious level that you have character enough to take care of those kids. You get what I'm saying? But yeah. a freak in the sheets with her man exclusively, Only, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So. Love that. Dude. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Um, Dude. Um, uh, I would say... Uh, Loyalty is very important, but the thing is, is that I think um, women conflate male loyalty and female loyalty, and, and they're actually very, very different. Female loyalty is not banging other dudes, and when I say not banging other dudes, I'm saying like fiercely avoiding any type of situations that can even implicate that she bangs other dudes. I'm talking about dressing a certain way, conveying herself a certain way, having a certain associations, whatever it be, and I completely understand that like, you know, if your guy isn't providing, right, and you have to work, and maybe something that you do for work requires you to, maybe you have to be out there, you have to be friendly, right, you have to be whatever. I'm the type, like, my thing is this, if you're going to dictate to a woman certain terms, I don't want you to be doing this and that, you better be able to, like, be prepared to, like, financially uh, destroy that issue. So what I mean by that is, like, let's say me and you were dating seriously, right, and you oh, worked at the club. I would be like, you're not working at the fucking club no more. You know what I'm saying? And but but I would obviously have to like take on the financial burden for that, right? You can't expect a woman to acclimate on your program 
and not be able to eat. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So you got to be prepared to, uh, like, you can have your boundaries, but you better be prepared to, like, kind of make sure that those boundaries don't come up as the guy. You know what I'm saying? I always say as the man, as a leader, it's going to sound fucked up. You guys might not like it, but I always yeah. say it anyway. Women, when left to their own devices, are inherently self-destructive. They need a man's leadership, period. That's why I think the father is required in the household to protect the, the daughter from herself. Then, if the, once the dad is done, that's why the dad is so, you know, he's a screener to give her to the next guy because the next guy has got to be able to take that torch and protect her from herself. So, but we live in a society nowadays that, like I said, women are empowered and they do they have all these like you know womenist agenda liber sexual liberation whatever even though that gives you guys more liberty and more you know ability to do whatever you want it doesn't make you a better wife it doesn't make you a better partner ironically the things that have made women empowered actually have made them far worse uh for far worse for like uh, a marriage yeah you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so like it's it's turned women from traditional women to modern women which modern women are awful for marriage because they're going to expect you to basically adhere to your you know, masculine uh, roles while she can absolve herself of her feminine roles. So my thing is, if you want to if you want to be the leader and dictate certain things, you need to be prepared to, to, you know, make financial sacrifices to make sure that you're taking care of her because you can't be the leader unless you're leading by example. Bam. So that's what Bam. I would say there. I do, so, I do feel like to rely to like give up a job. Now you no longer have a source of income. You rely solely on this person for that. And as you said many times, mm -hmm. your man will most likely stray, right? Because that's just nature. And even if they don't care, they're going to stray. It's going to like affect you. What if you no longer are in a relationship? You're left with nothing. That, isn't that like a risk that like, the, like these women should worry about? I'm not saying like you're wrong. I'm just saying, isn't that like a massive risk? And that's why that doesn't work. You mean like, so you're saying like him going out and banging other chicks is a risk? No, I'm saying no, no. the idea that your the relationship would end for any reason. Because she gave up her livelihood. Because she gave up her livelihood and now, and now solely well. relies on you. And it's not like you're her father. So like you could just be like, all right, good luck. You're yeah, not married. Yeah, and that's so, and that's that's that and that that is that is a risk. There's a risk with everything in life. But, you that, know what I'm but that's not like an invest. It's it, I want to try and look at it as an a investment, but risk. it's a massive risk. Yeah. So I feel and like it no woman's a lot. Would, it's, yeah. yeah. I feel like no woman would want to give up like I'm not saying my girl can't well, are you saying me personally or like when you're dealing with that caliber of guy? When you're dealing with that caliber of guy. Yeah, I mean you could still work, you know what I'm saying? But like if you're gonna have a kid or whatever, most guys are gonna want you to like probably take care of those children and I think a babysitter yeah. is, is bad. But once you have a child with a guy, the state's gonna save you anyway. If he divorces you, he's actually gonna get fucked up. Oh, okay. <laughs> really? You know, the state, we, we have a bunch of like conventions mm -hmm. to hundred percent punish men for doing that to women. Yep. Or or maybe uh, you leave the current job that you're in. I'll take care of you, and you can find somebody that, uh, or uh, uh, finds a job that is, I guess, acceptable. No, I'm saying like, to to stay home and like take care. And well, yeah, yeah. but also to stay home. I, I and would take say care like, like I, I would say like just being like the woman needs to be like the most attractive traits. Going back to her question is be oh, the woman being like fiercely loyal to the point that she's not going to put herself in a position where it can even be implied that she there's some infidelity. Like, she right. respects her man to the point where she dresses modestly in public, she doesn't act like a hoe, she doesn't have hoe characteristics, she's not yeah. out here entertaining male friends, she's not doing things that are counterproductive to the relationship. Because a lot of women have bad habits, modern day women have bad habits that are not conducive to long-term relationships being successful. Wait, man, another one is if she goes to a, a modeling shoot, she tells her boyfriend first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She Back. should you bring go. her boyfriend. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But, like, but, but if I was to say me personally, like if I, if I was if I was like uh, to take a woman seriously, I would absolutely like, I'll take care of her because I would not want her to be involved in any of that thought behavior to make money. I'd be like, nah, you ain't fucking doing none of that shit. Of course. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, and then, and then obviously the most important thing is the children. Yep. The children come first. You know what I'm saying? All right. So. You you also said though, like the way that a girl dresses and the things that she does, but you met her that way. Ooh. Like, um, you're saying like if I met her that way. No, you did meet her that way. Uh -huh. If 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 a girl is dressing a certain way, she's acting a certain way, she works at a, a certain location, mm -hmm. you met her that way. Yeah, fantastic. No, that's that's a good point you made. She's better be ready to change. Okay. Yeah. Oh, if she, yeah. no, no. I just wanted to understand. No, 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 yeah, no that's yeah, a great okay. point. That's a great point. And, and, and a part of being submissive and being a woman that's now off the market is you now have to change. Yeah. Because, okay. yes, I get it. Be attractive and do what you got to do when you're single to get the attention. But now the car is no longer for sale. 
Can I give you some advice? Right, that, yeah, sure. Instead of using the word change, I think you should say compromise. Because mm, I think relationships yeah. come with compromises. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't have to change 100%, but mm. you can compromise to make each other happy. So mm. in this... It's a better choice. I think it's no, a no, better no, you, choice. Ladies, ladies, you ladies, change. This is the difference between I, how I men and women communicate. Right. You guys don't like the word change because it makes you feel a certain way. No, that it's change is exactly. permanent, but compromise yeah. works so. together to build the same common ground that you guys could work together on. No, it's change it's because changed. now, because it's not it's not compromise. It's change because that her dressing in a sexual way, her having that type of lifestyle, whatever, that's all going to have to change. Yeah. Okay, so there's no compromise. It's just changing. Think about this, right? right? If you find the right guy. And you really want him, you're gonna yeah. change no matter what. Absolutely. So the compromise yeah. isn't right. even, though, isn't, isn't and, even in the vocabulary because if, if it's the right guy, you're gonna change no matter what. And 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 I no guess. man should even think of that yeah. with, with compromise because the thing is this: men have to have the standard, women rise to it. Period. Because remember, ladies, ladies, you're chasing his last name, you're chasing his security, you're chasing his commitment, which means you got to get on his program. This whole compromise thing and this let's meet in the middle and 50-50 partnership, this is all a bunch of womanism garbage that leaves women single yep. because they don't like the way a word sounds and they don't like the you know how it makes them feel. There's a difference between how men and women communicate. Men communicate overtly. We say what's on our mind. We speak direct. Women don't like to hear it because women aren't used to speaking direct. You guys always it, speak in pseudo language. It's not that I don't like to hear it. I've just seen it work in my personal life. It all begins in the home. It's what you see. Are you single? You grow. Yes, but I'm also 23 and I have a lot to learn and I see how my parents grew and they compromise and they've been married 30 years. I see what works and I take that and I, that's what I learned from. And you might, you guys might come from a different home and different exactly. parents and different perspectives. She's different taking advice from a I'm successful taking advice relationship. From Absolutely. a perspective that I saw in my home that's healthy, that was secure, and I'm going to take that and I'm going to drive with it because my parents were married for 30 years. He's going to say it's can not I, the majority. Married. Can I tell you? That? It's not majority, but <laughs> that's why I said that. That's that why I said that. Your your, your um, origin of of, of yeah. influence yeah. is yeah. one thing, right? Right. My origin of influence is 75 years of marriage. Mm -hmm. So when I tell you change is a real thing, it's because when you change for somebody and they see that change, then it becomes a compromise. I have a right. Question. So I agree with you. Yeah. I just, I just, for me, I would rather compromise than change entirely. Well, also remember, remember the, 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 remember the context of the question. You met her this way. She yeah. was right. involved in. She dressed this way before. She was involved in this lifestyle. Whatever. It ain't right. no compromise. You're changing. Yeah, you're changing. Right. You're right. not. You're not going to be in those circles anymore. You're not going to dress that way no more yeah. without me there. You're. You're. You're changing. It's not a compromise. I get what you're saying. Like, yeah. Your Your parents might have had some situations where they compromised. You know what I mean? But then again, mm -hmm. respectfully speaking, your mom is made from different cloth than women today. You know Absolutely, what I'm saying? Yeah. Your Absolutely. your mother came up in a time where women were probably traditional, men were traditional. Yeah. That's an old playbook. That playbook doesn't work anymore. Now you have to make women change yeah. nowadays. Because I, I'm, I'm going to keep it a stack. Many mm -hmm. women have bad habits that make them bad investments for some type of long-term relationship that is going to cause you pain in the front end. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, sorry, yeah. in, the, in the back end. So she's going to have to change. There's no more of this compromise with modern-day women. You have to change bad habits in a lot of them. Hold on. Stop the show. Yeah. Stop the show. Oh, yeah, we'll stop okay. the motherfucking show. <laughs> okay. Sin for Rent just donated 100 subs. What the fuck, bro? Hey. That's crazy, hey. dog. Hey. Sin for Rent thank in the building, so dog. Thank you so much. And I think, Holy hey. smoke. And, and yo, thank you so much for that, bro, because these discussions need to be had in a yeah. respectful manner. Like, And this yeah. isn't... To, hey. I'm I, not offended. I, Don't I worry. Think, I think compromise yeah. is a fantastic word. I just think that with a lot of modern day women, and then the context from what she was telling me, yeah. she has to change. The woman has to change. You're right. Yeah, yeah you know? totally. Okay. So, I, see uh, what you're uh, I see what you're is saying. Not a bad thing? Yeah. No, not it's at all. Not, it's not, not at all. Ti walked in and said, "A man can have whatever you like." <laughs> 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 and then, my like, job, drop off the face of the a man. Planet. I've always said it, man. Like, if a woman tries to change a man, it's going to cause a problem, right? But if a man changes a woman, it's going to be good because here's the thing. A man will change a woman into something he can love. A woman will change a man into something she will grow to resent. Yep. Because women wow, don't like to be in a leadership position. They just can't. If you, if, by a woman let, make it, changing a man and him actually adhering to that and changing and following her lead, he becomes less attractive because he has now basically actualized it that he is not sure in himself and I have to follow a woman's lead. And what does she do? She responds biologically, this motherfucker's weak. He let me change him. I'm moving on to somebody that ain't. Shave hey, your beard. Can I, can I add on to yeah, that? Yeah, please, and Solo, a, please. And a lot of women don't realize, just like women compartmentalize, I know I'm butchering the word, men. Men do the same thing with women. So if a woman is, you know, a certain type of way, how she likes to dress, 
we're going to put her as side chick status or mm. friends with benefit status or the girl that we Facts. call every Thursday night we get yeah. drunk status. So a lot of women don't realize that they're shooting themselves in the foot when they want a commitment from a guy that they may be casually seeing. They want something serious. But then the guy's like, hey, you got to change this about you, this and that. And then that's where some women are like, no, I'm not going to do that. And, you know, this and Yo, that. Yo, as a matter of fact, and, ladies, let me tell you this. If a man tells you, I need you to change, that's a good sign. Yeah. It means he's ready to invest. He wants to see you do there you better. Go. He, Somebody he, who loves like, you wants yeah. to see you yeah. do better. Like if a man tells sense. you, yeah. I need you to change this. Because here's what a lot of women think, right? So if, if, if a guy meets a girl and says, listen, I don't like you dressing like that. Or, hey, I don't like you hanging out with these girls, whatever. A lot of girls will look at it like he's insecure. He's fucking toxic. He's di small dick energy. <laughs> what you should think instead is this man's prepared to invest in me. Mm. Because he's telling me to do these things and change because he's ready to. It, most of the time, guys aren't going to tell you to change bad habits about yourself until they're ready to take some kind of step forward. Yeah, mm. You know what I'm saying? So if he yeah. tells you that, instead of looking at it like, little dick energy, what's wrong with this guy? You need to think like, all right, he probably wants to start taking me seriously. When he doesn't tell you anything and you guys have been seeing each other for a while, that's when you need to be He's wondering what the part. fuck is going on. Yeah. Part. What's going on? So I need you to look at it from the ha glass half full versus the glass half empty. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. Can Super I chat? have a question? Super chats real quick. Yeah. Huh? Super chats and then someone, ha Bianca had a question. Oh, so yeah. I always look around. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because yeah, 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 Bianca is a very soft spoken. Yeah. Uh, real quick, I'll read these, Bianca, and then, then, and then, and then we'll answer your question. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Red Pill Mike, $50. Picking a woman who has frozen her eggs and needs a surrogate pro to procreate. Mm -hmm is one of the lowest demonstrations of value that any man can ever commit to. Very true. Bam. Very true. Shadow Link Action Vapor. speak loud. 50 bucks. Shout out to FNF crew. Fresh, Fit, Chris, Trey, and, re and the returning girls, Bianca and Miss DMV. Been watching hey, for Ms. a Pineapple. while. Pineapple. She's been here for yeah, a minute. Yeah, Miss Pineapple. Been watching for a while, but had to donate to the RP Wealth for a super chat. Thank, Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Uh, we got Shabob Hussein, 50 bucks, loyalty. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you, brother. You. And uh, the Watcher, 50 bucks. Ladies, don't overthink men. Most men just want authentic and genuine woman in order. One, number one, do you still look good fresh <laughs> out the shower? Number two, is she respectful? Three, does she genuinely want to make our life better slash easier? Number four, does she or will she entertain other people? There you go. Yeah. Crypto, uh, crypto, crypto will, 100 hey. bucks. Shout out to Crypto <laughs> Will. Thank you, brother. I always tell women who look to, to look at the top 100, 100 wealthiest men in Forbes and look at the women they are married to. They look like Instagram models. Simply put, no. Smart men know looks is a depreciating asset. That's true. Uh, DS2, 50 bucks. I get what she's saying about compromise, and it works with an average man. But I believe Myron's talking about high-value men. Uh, men. Mm. As a high-value man myself, dating me comes with certain rules, to be honest. There's either my program or on to the next. Yeah, and I should I, I should have prefaced that and let you know that yeah. it's it's men of a certain status aren't going to tolerate certain right. things. They're just yeah. like, nah, I'm moving on. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. get on the program or, or get out. You know, His way or the highway. Yeah, like Pretty average much. guys, they might compromise with you. Like, you know what? Yeah. It's okay. You can have your girls' nights out, whatever. But other guys will be like, no, I'm Hell just going nah. yeah. to go on to the next girl. Next girl. Um, wait, wait, hold it. on. Fresh and fit mods. I love you guys, but you guys should member up because I see some of you guys not members. I know you could support us. So let's get it. Let's show an example. Okay. Cool. Um, and then any, anything else or any other chats? Okay. Or no? We're, We're going to go, go to Bianca. You have a question, Bianca? Okay, I have go another ahead, Bianca. Question. Yeah, I just had a really quick question regarding what you were just talking about. Yeah. So you want a girl to change. What about, uh, like, would you still be just a, as attracted to her the way that you met her versus when she changed? And what would you say to a woman that has changed because mm -hmm. you asked her to change, yet you're chasing girls that look the way that she did before she changed. Ooh. Okay. No, Bianca, th these are great questions. Um, <laughs> so, so number, so you're asking me this personally or like on a, on rate of like guys in general, how we would think, cause I can give you my personal answer, but do you want me to answer for like guys kind of like in this? Same... I just, I want to hear, I want to hear both. Okay. I want to know, I want to try to understand what you, where you guys are coming from. Okay. So you're saying number one, she, ch she changed for you. Am I still going to be attracted to her? Just as attracted to her. Yes. Absolutely. Because what, she, what, cause the things that I'm going to tell her to change are only going to make her more attractive. To right. You. So okay. to, to me, because what's going to happen is I'm going to uh, get rid of situations that might put her in a compromising position for the relationship. Right. So that's, that's number one. So her following my lead, remember submissive women are attractive. Submissive men are not. If a man goes on a woman's program, she might initially be like, oh, my God, thank you, babe. But she's going to grow resentment. So for a, right. for a man, a woman that's being submissive and cooperative and follows what he says is very attractive. So I would say the attraction is going to, if anything, increase. Um, going back to what you're saying, like, okay, well, what about me stepping out and having sex with other girls? Or, or, just, or 
chasing girls that looked the way that she did before you asked her to change. Yeah. So, so now she's looking at you like, I changed for you mm -hmm. because you wanted me to change. But yet, you know, you're messing around with a girl that dresses the way that I used to dress that you told me to change for. For. Okay, so uh, no, 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 perfect question. Okay. That's a, that's a good question. I get exactly where you're going with, and what my answer to that is is that sexual attraction versus relationship attraction are two different things. Okay, you know, so like men have that carnal need to have sex with attractive girls. I might smash these other girls, but I'm gonna come home to my girl. My girl's gonna be the one that she can cry on my shoulders. She's gonna be the one that I'm gonna take care of. She's gonna be the one that I'm willing to fight for and die for. These other chicks are just like, eh, whatever, smash and bust a nut. Get that post not clarity, go back to my girl. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's the difference with men. Like women have a dual strategy, men have a dual strategy too. So like, you know, you have the hot guys that you want to have sex with, right? That are like attractive, whatever. You got that, that like they're, you know, these are the guys. Then you got those guys that like are kind of beta, but they have like that that security. Like they're this guy would be a good husband. Men have that dual strategy too. This girl, she might not be, she she's hot, she might have changed for me, whatever it is, but this is wifey. You know what I mean? Okay. And men are willing to compromise on looks if the girl is loyal and has other redeeming factors about her that make her a good wife. But when it comes to like smashing girls, whatever, th these girls, you might be sexually attracted to them, but they're not going to necessarily like take the place of the girl that like is on your program, if that makes sense. Yep. You know what I mean? Because And for men, it's even more pronounced because men can 100% bang other chicks and still love their wife the same. For us, it's literally like taking a piss. That's literally what it is. You need that release right. sometimes. And the other thing, too, I'm going to give you guys the uncomfortable truth about men as well. One woman is never going to be able to satisfy a man's insatiable thirst for sex. And the reason why is because men want variety. There's a reason why if you look at a music video, you look at a VIP section in a, in a nightclub, whatever it is, there's girls of different shapes, colors, and sizes. Men love women of different colors. You guys asked Fresh earlier, what's your ideal woman? He told you. Uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm open to other things if she meets certain requirements. Men like all different colors and varieties, so you're never going to be able to satisfy him sexually. And once women accept that and understand, okay, you know what? I can help him get other girls and or I'm involved in it, or I accept the fact that he's going to have sex with other girls, but he comes home to me, that's going to make life a lot easier because then you're going to be able to be able to understand it's just sex. It's nothing else. One woman is never going to be able to satisfy a man's sexual appetite, period. Cool. Uh, m members, real Thank quick. You. Yeah, we yeah. got three new uh, ones. Because we got three new ones. Hey, I see why the chat Shot loves you, Bianca. Ronald uh, Saluki. <laughs> a new member, Ronald Sal Saluki. Uh, thank you so much. Okay. Uh, Ulysses Guerrero, Guerrero, new member. Thank you. All right. And then uh, Sofa so Spy, new member okay. as well. So, thank you, guys. And uh, Juski, thank you. And Roland, thank you. So, fire around here, and then we can end the show. Cool. So, quick, quick questions for the girls. And, you know, and, and quick, uh, good questions by yeah, Bianca, bro. Questions. Damn. So, thank real you. quick, fire around, yes or no? Spare or swallow? Start here. Oh, it's a. Oh, that's. <laughs> it's not that simple. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes or no? Yes Can or no? Can we pick another um, question? No. Yes or no? Spare swallow. All right, let's go. Fire wrong. Let's go. Spare swallow. I said swallow. Cool. Swallow? My nigga? <laughs> oh, swallow as you stare into his soul. Oh. <laughs> okay. Got green eyes. Listen, this is. Wow. Spinners okay. are for Damn. quitters. That's hot. Okay, cool. I rub it in like a lotion, actually. <laughs> you rub it in? Like a lotion. Wrinkle cream. Ashy. Okay, so you absorb it. I absorb it <laughs> into my skin. Okay. Swallow. All right, my nigga. It works as good <laughs> conditioner for curls. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There She's we only go. 18. Okay. Stop correcting. 19. Yeah, my 19. mom is watching this right now. Okay. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> Right, yeah. mine was too. I hope she's asleep now. Yeah. No, she did. She did. Mom, go to bed. She like okay. just commented like. And then you. <laughs> Come on, Nina, you got her. Oh, it's a we all answer. Oh, we all answer. <laughs> None. <laughs> oh, you, oh, shit. oh yeah. Oh yeah. You got a boyfriend? Oh, she yeah. doesn't do it. She doesn't do it. What? Yeah, she's right. Oh yeah. I don't Wait, remember what? we uh, grit on that. Wait, I have a. Okay. She doesn't give BJ's. Yeah, she doesn't. No do it. sloppy toppy. That's crazy to me though, bro. That's awesome. Yo, we that's have uh, a <laughs> Josie, <laughs> bro, that's new member, thank you, fam. Shout out to uh, Matt B, uh, Spencer, yeah, and Spencer. Joe B, three new members, all the mods in the chat. Become a member. Shout out to y'all, man. Yeah, Yay. thank you so much. We love you. Um, Can I okay. ask one last question? No. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> oh, yes. I've been no, wanting these, no, are, no, these are good discussions, <laughs> yeah. man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Quick. Um, remember how we were talking about a girl, that it's okay for a girl to change for a man? Yeah. Um, would you, as a man, genuinely change because you love the girl? And no. You want, no? Okay. no. Never. <laughs> All right. Um, cool. That's so I have something <laughs> to say. Huh? Sure. So I, oh, like I understand the whole dynamic of you know if you want a high value man you're gonna have to put up with his cheating because I 
there's high value men Put up in with my him having exercising so options is the better okay, phrase. Okay, because there's high value men in my family and mm-hmm. I've you know, I've seen the whole that situation happen all my life. Mm-hmm. But do you also understand that that inflicts a lot of emotional pain in a woman? You know? I think that's why it's important to be upfront about it. Yeah, you got to be honest and, about and, it. And on this podcast we tell guys if you're going to run that uh, that polygamous polygamous lifestyle. Don't lie. You got to be honest about it up front because some yep. women will accept it if you're high value enough, and some women won't. Yeah. And but you should let her have the choice. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? To stay or walk away. To stay or walk away. Yep. Do you okay. feel a little bit bad? No. No, because it's up front. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So, so you told me. Brutal. You don't think you're hurting plenty her Plenty of these feelings? relationships. I just got back from a trip. That's a, the exact scenario. What? It's like to if you don't like it, like then that. you leave. Yeah. yeah, brutal honesty means you have yeah, the choice. Yeah, but if you're yeah. taking care of the kids and and you're you know you've given up your career, yeah, but her, you don't her, her life, life is set up, and that was her decision. If he was honest with you from the jump, but I think even if you're aware of that and you agree to that, it's always gonna hurt. Then don't you can't agree complain to it. A, about a situation you put yourself into. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I get where Nina's coming. Like she's yeah. saying, like it, it's still gonna hurt. I would say, like oh, the best yeah. thing is, like just you know, just know if you accept that in the beginning, that, yeah. that it's gonna come with some with some pain. But in exchange for that pain, you get that security and that provisioning where you're you're taken care of. Yeah. And remember, what you allow will continue. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There you go. The I understand, Nina. Shout out to Maury. My job. Oh, remember. <laughs> oh, ladies. Let me, let me shout out to uh, my members. Yeah. <laughs> shout out. Uh, shout out to, to Maury. Maury. By the way, our mods are. Thanks for the kill life. Phones on. Shout out there. And then last one. Oakley. Do you guys not have a Discord? Thank you, fam. And then oh, King so Chris. Thank you, fam. Have a Discord yet? No, not, not yet. yet. Okay. I saw we might make one, but. Um, we yeah, we thought about making one. Uh, yeah, it's a good place for community, you know. No, King no, Chris, we got thank you. Community here. Damn. Oh, um, guys are joining in. Thank you. Guys. Yeah, yeah, for joining in. Because, because Chris mentioned it. Yeah, thank Joke you. Chris. Thank you to all the mods. All the mods that got y'all. So, ladies, last question. Lamp or girth? What? Oh, yeah. I like this one. Lamp or girth? I like this one. So, lamp or like girth? Thickness. Oh, I get what you mean now. This is such a hard question. Um, yeah. That's just... Length. I I think that if you know how to use it, it does not matter. Okay. What what would you prefer, though? (laughs) Here you go. What would you prefer? (laughs) Now I'm, like, double thinking. (laughs) Uh, This is is easy. This is tough. It's tough, though, because it, it, it does different things. Yeah. Yeah, you can't pick one Length or the other. Length does something different so what versus makes, girth. What makes you come then? <laughs> you. Well, we're asking the tough questions right now. Here we go. Come on, man. Who wants to be a millionaire? Um, I I guess. Oh, that's God. hard. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to say length and it be like this thin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. It's like sticking a pencil up there. All right. <laughs> it's uncomfortable. Oh, dear. Then what next. Two? Yeah. Okay. Next. John Doe, welcome to the fam. Okay. Right. So Thank you, John Doe. And uh, DS2, thank you. Super chat. Okay, Lauren. Length. See, that was so simple. Nice. So simple. Thank you. What? Okay. Length. What? Length? Because it okay. keeps it right and keeps it tight forever. Shut <laughs> Okay. I'm going to say girth. Come on. Girth? Yeah. yeah. My yeah, nigga. For All right. sure. All right. But you can't have a chode, so. Oh, yeah. Yes. There we go. Okay. See, there we go. That's a possibility. I haven't heard that That's what I'm saying. That's a possibility. Okay. Like, no chodes. Can't have a chode. Miss Puerto Rico. No chodes. Length. Length. Okay. I'm gonna go with girth too, but no chodes. No please. chodes. Okay, my chodes. nigga. It's like something else. It's a different type of. <laughs> it's yeah. I, I, you know what I mean? Like I was gonna say girth. No girth? chodes. Absolutely. Before she. Can I get a shirt that says no chodes? <laughs> 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 no chodes. You're making that for you. Think that. Okay. And Nina. Girth means how wide. Yes. 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 Well, yeah. yeah. Wide. Thickness. Um, wide. I think length. Length? Okay, but what cool. if it's what? like a pencil? So but what if it's a pencil? It's the same thing. Same thing. No. Same I mean, same I mean, like, I think so, okay. That was a great so, question. Thank you so much. I'll read that one after. <laughs> <laughs> Man and Kevin Samuel was bad. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 what the hell, bro? Okay. 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 What did he say? So Maybe super chat. Uh, yeah. Well, read that fifty dollar. Uh, pull up that sort of fifty dollar one again. Uh, he says. Yeah, sure. um, he says something about a Discord. Uh, startup fund for the Discord would be a dub. You know what, dude? That's we'll what we'll talk saying. about that and yeah. get that going. Play horn. We'll talk about that and get that Can going. Can be a YouTube member. Thank, uh, thank you so much for Aaron. becoming a YouTube member. Uh, okay. If, uh, is this one right already? No, yeah. Yeah, we read that one already. All right, cool. Okay. 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 I think we're caught up. All right. Uh, uh, okay, who's no. up next? Right here? Yeah. Sure. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, I get what she said. Okay, uh, DS2. No, we read that um, one already. $50. Yeah. yeah, we yeah, read that one already. All right, cool, no problem. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We did read that one. Okay, cool. So, ladies, last thoughts on the show. 
Last, <laughs> oh my gosh. last statements, comments. Oh. Uh, Soul, you got a last, thank last you. question? Yeah, I love the show. I think it's amazing because I get to see the way that men think versus the way mm -hmm. that women think. And I feel like when I do listen to men um, dealing with certain situations, I take that with me. Mm -hmm. And I use it for future experiences okay. or future conversations Excellent. with men. Right. So I you agree. can always learn from what you're saying. You don't have to argue with someone or anything right. like that. It's really just meant to educate you Sorry. and vice versa. Open Fire. perspective. That's good. Yes. Yeah. Cool. That's good. Cool. Right, Lauren? Lauren? Um, I love that this is a safe space for the average man. I, uh, I know my brother and other friends are dealing with all these issues, and this is finally a place where you can have uh, open discussion without being uh, name-called by a certain community. And it's also um, great to have women like us on the show that are able to have proper conversation and to hear our side of things. We're not we're not all crazy, I promise you that. <laughs> shout out to Lauren, man. Yeah, and Amen. shout out to Lauren, because Lauren's in a very unique position where she's yeah. on Twitch, so she plays games with guys all day, so she sees that. But then also she's a woman, so you, you oh, yeah. see both uh, both perspective, yeah. which is so, great. So Lauren, we need a raid on our channel. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> just kidding. And, no, uh, <laughs> and, and, and you know, and I think it's great also where you know some of the ladies on the panel disagreed with me, and that's completely okay. I don't have any issues with the ladies that might have not like like some of the terms I use or whatever. I think it's important to be able to bring people together. That's growth. Disagree, yeah. Yeah. right, in a respectful mm -hmm. manner, not like uh, Miss Pink Hat from last the other day, <laughs> and our pink jacket, whatever pink her name is. <laughs> And uh, and I think it's important. And like you know, you guys can voice your grievances here too in a safe spot because mm -hmm. yeah, you know because yeah, you guys can say whatever you think. Like hey, well I hate fucking bum ass dudes and losers or whatever. And we hold both genders accountable. We tell guys on this podcast all the time: if you're fat, out of shape, and you don't have confidence, you need to fucking get in the gym. Do it right get, now. Get yourself, get yourself <laughs> together. Yep. You know so. what I'm saying? Like you can't be out here being a loser, expecting a bad bitch. Like it don't work that way. Doesn't you know work that saying? way. Lauren, so, uh, what's your your Twitch by the way? Uh, oh, yeah. The Go Lauren ahead. Turner. And then, so if I find a husband through here, are y'all gonna sponsor the wedding? Actually, you want you want no you want you want some finder's fee because we help. Yeah. You gotta pay us. We want we want a testimonial. Yeah. So, but yeah, if you get husband through this uh, we, we've hooked up some girls with some guys yeah. on here man that's crazy really? from oh, dubai yeah, yeah. Wow. 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 yeah. Uh, cash apps everything Venmo, yeah, man. you oh, name wow. it facts so uh my way. social yeah um i agree i like that you could disagree with somebody you don't have to be so offensive that's what we live in this country everyone's so offended with everything we're mm -hmm. such a sensitive society get over yourself no one needs to agree with you all the time and just be open-minded Holla. Cool. Yeah. We're all different. Awesome. Holla. Holla. Uh, yeah, no, thank you so much for having me. This has been a really, and thank you. really amazing experience just being able to talk to you and be really open about my opinion and sure. yours because I think I have a pretty open mindset. So if yeah, I hear some great points, if yeah. I hear something that I disagree with, uh, you could you could change my mind and I'm open to it. So mm -hmm. this has been this has been wonderful. Cool. Yeah. Well, and, and, and you ladies, you ladies asked me some really fucking good questions, really thought provoking, especially Bianca. Yeah. Uh, you know, you made some good points as well uh, with my with my ideas. So no, nah, it's great, man. It's great. It keeps us all sharp. Cool. So thank you, Miss Puerto Rico. <laughs> I feel like this was a real eye opener. You guys changed my mind on certain topics while we were talking, and I never get to have these conversations with yeah. my friends. Like most of the time, we're just at brunch getting drunk, and then yeah. they're just trying <laughs> so to. So it's nice to have, to have these in-depth. And, in and, and the other thing too is is um I always say this like you're you're a very attractive young lady. You, um beauty a lot of times comes with like issues where people aren't going to be genuine with you they're going to lie you know i feel like girls lie to each other a lot yeah. especially at brunch over some drinks oh girl you're beautiful whatever don't change uh, whatever and and men are going to lie to you because they want to get in your pants so uh this is like one of the few forms where you're going to have guys tell you what it really is you yeah. know what i'm saying regardless of your feelings you know like and i didn't mean to attack you earlier when i said so you want a traditional guy while well, you're not a traditional woman just something for you to think about you know like maybe i don't know make a sandwich and then maybe the, the guy will be you know. <laughs> let's cook together yeah there you go there you go, there you go. we're getting Baby home steps. from work at the same time let's cook yeah, together let's yeah, make the tea together that's the chef there you go, the you, go. The right. you pour the wine i make I the meal yeah <laughs> so there's, you know maybe something in the, in the future you know what i'm saying like uh to help out oh, oh no red Red, your go. Yes, hi. Um, thank you so much for having me again. I had welcome uh, back. Thank you. <laughs> so glad to be here. Um, again, like last time, it was a real eye opener. Um, feels like topics that you're supposed to hear from men aren't very like often. I guess because of the dad situation and households. Um, so yeah, this is a very. I, I love this podcast. I like. 
hearing the different perspectives. And we love you. There you yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks for coming back. Like oh, I said, you're, so you're someone that disagrees with a lot of the things I say. So yeah. it, it's great to bring you back. And, you know, like I said, we could just hear each other out. We could agree to disagree. Yeah. It's fine. So it's thank you. Everything was awesome. Thank you so much for having me. I do think with this big group of uh, ladies, I think there needs to be um, a bigger room for conversation to happen. That's all. But everything else was amazing, and I'm glad we all talk. We all got a chance to uh, speak our voices and let our voices be heard. With all due respect, if you paid attention, it would have been a little bit better. But um, that's that's fine. You know what I mean? Yeah, Wait, you couldn't you ask most questions. You can't. Yeah, you got. You, you, you know missed most saying? questions. Yeah. So you, didn't, you weren't able to participate. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. You know. Nina. I'm happy to be back. It's my third time here, so thank you guys hey. for having hey, me. Yeah. Back. And we'll it, bring you back, Nina. The people love you. Thank you. Um, you know, when you first heard the... I, I first heard of you guys when my friend Jesse was on here and that video went viral. The, when it was uh, OnlyFans and only the fans. tragic um, future of women. Yeah. But I just want to say that a lot of the things that you guys say and just the whole um, um, point of the podcast makes you come to terms with some uncomfortable truths mm -hmm. like Myron has to reality. say because a lot yeah with reality because mm -hmm. I grew up hearing a lot of the things that you guys say and it is true even if it doesn't sound pretty and you know all of us here are going to get some type of um rebuttal from other women like how dare you be on the fashion <laughs> <laughs> they're Facts. so misogynistic <laughs> just you know sometimes listening is one of the most active and productive things that you can do just be open. You don't have to agree with everything that they say, but just be opening to hearing and maybe some of it will stay in your head. And later on in the future, as you get older, you'll understand like what they're saying. Because mm -hmm. I'm 25 now. So if I would have heard you guys when I was 21, I would have been like, oh, mm -hmm. Oh my God! What, they're delusional. Yeah, that's why I'm kind of thankful that I'm here right now. Yeah, that's that's awesome. person. <laughs> and I'll tell you this too: you ladies had me thinking as well. You know, I got to give you yeah. guys some credit as well because you guys were like, "Well, what if I submit to the wrong guy and I waste my best years?" And then I was like thinking, like, "Damn!" When you're bringing that up yesterday, that's what even brought up the dad thing. And then I was like, "That's why a father is so important because your father is yeah. the first line of defense that keeps you from, you know, making bad decisions and being a, a, a you know, a." portion of the state if you know what i'm saying getting arrested whatever it may be so having the dad you know what i'm saying and even in the mate selection process helps you find the best mate because he's going to be able to see through his bullshit you and know? Nina, you brought up a very good point well women <laughs> but it's info right they don't hear it until Does like you? it's too late oh no yeah it's, and if it's too, if, if it's too <laughs> late then at that point there's you know there's no going back there's no going back so you're hanging now under 30 you're hanging now under 25 right so this is you can take this information, do what you will, will with it, but it can help you a lot. So and it, good. it can help others too, because yeah. if we realize this reality of you men, then we can you know better educate other friends that yeah. we have around us mm -hmm. or help us with future relationships. Or just share the video. The thing is that oh, yeah. people so nowadays are just so sensitive. So what yeah. you guys yeah. Triggered, yeah. say yeah. is unfiltered and raw, and it just hurts people's feelings, even though it's true. Yeah. I appreciate that you guys aren't sensitive though. Yeah. Yeah, we like it raw. Wait, 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 what? <laughs> okay, super chat, super chat. Yeah. 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 You guys, you guys, you guys ask good questions bro. to keep me on my game, too. You know what I'm saying? And that's, and that's great, because these are serious grievances that women have to deal with. You know, what if I give my best years to the wrong guy? You're right. Yeah. You're absolutely it right. Sucks. Get your brother, get your uncle, get your dad involved in, in who you date. So, I know it sounds fucked up, but get them involved. Can if I you're serious get, about the guy, yeah. <laughs> start taking some serious investment, get a male involved <laughs> that isn't trying to fuck you. Holla. Um, Kai VR. 50 pounds or uh, euros okay. seems to have been an amazing panel and very civilized discussion despite such a big number of participants was only able to watch the last hour live so I'm going to rewatch from the beginning with my good morning coffee over here in Germany there you go Kai. Oh, hi Jeremy awesome. have a lovely I love morning. the way that you read that <laughs> <laughs> cool uh, alright cool um, no are we good uh, solo <laughs> okay solo last thoughts on the show bro uh, yeah I just want to say guten tag uh, to my um, Deutsche Leute, wie geht es dir? My name is Solomon Jones. Oh, I just shit. said what's up in German to all my. Wow. Wow. Um, you know, I, I just want to say, yo, to see you guys, the growth, because I remember telling you guys, yo, you guys are going to get at 100K. You guys are going to get 100K. And then just to see that happen. Thank you. Like, man. yo, I'm, I'm proud of you guys and just keep grinding. You guys motivate me. And I appreciate y'all having me on the show, man. And uh, follow me on Instagram. Snapchat, Twitter at SOLOTV84. That's SOLOTV84. 
Ladies, get in my DMs. I'm single. Let's go. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Follow him. Guys, uh, Solo is responsible for me at Fresh Meeting, man, yep. and helping me get my first 1,000 subscribers, guys. So, so go show ahead. Show some support. We're going to put all his links below. And uh, cool. yeah, oh, they're already there. Our man there. Uh, Trey in the in the background. Thank you so much for that, Trey. All souls links are below, and all of our guests' Instagrams are also below. Right and so you're tagged and on Instagram in our story, Fresh Fit Miami. Yep. Yeah, we got another super chat here from Little Mac. Um, he uh, says, "Oh shit, right. okay, please bring them all back. <gasps> Love this podcast. Ah. Definitely wifey material in that room." Damn. Damn. Oh. Oh, my Instagram's okay. missing you. from that banner. Oh, we got you. We got you. We got you. Wait, Can we be it, called the IG's wifey missing? group? We should say our Instagram. Yeah, I love should it. Should we be yeah. the wifey group from yeah. now on? Okay. I don't know. So, so oh, there all are, of our IGs are also on our Instagram, Fresh, Fresh and Fit Miami, Miami. guys. Go on Fresh and Fit Miami and find them Follow Myron, Unplug Fit, 2Ts. Follow me, Fresh Print CEO. Follow Trey Talk Sports, our sound engineer, and our producer, Aaron C. Pogson. We'll see you guys. On Monday. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Have we're taking a week off, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you guys. <laughs> it's weekend, Saturday, Sunday, we're not going to do any shows. So Monday is his again for another show at 6 p.m. and then late night. I'm in Miami, bitch. Let's go.